helping to bring you the Wildcat Survivor Pool at the New York State Drill each August. This summer, Billy welcomes fans and firefighters alike to take a break from the grill and stop by Carabas for some of their new summer flavors and recipes. Carabas is also a great choice for catering your next big fire department event, serving big portions of hand-prepared Italian specialties at reasonable prices. Email William Edsel at Carabas.com for info on catering or plan a night out. H2M Architects and Engineers is a full-service consulting and design firm with a dedicated team that has over 200 years of combined experience serving the emergency services industry. No one understands the needs of first responders better than fellow service members, and H2M is proud to count several of their own staff among them. Whether it's a rehabilitation project or new construction, each design considers the responders' workflow, enabling safer operations and faster response times when it matters most. H2M is proud of their long history of client service and consistent ability to meet architectural, engineering, and environmental challenges head-on while offering a practical approach with creative results. Remember, quality response deserves quality design. For more information, please visit www.h2m.com. Fire Rescue Systems has been in the fire industry for over 20 years and is proud to show their support for New York State Fire Department drill teams. Serving the NY area with a complete software solution for emergency service entities, FRS software is efficient and easy to use, making it ideal for emergency situations. With a wide array of fine-tuned and tested modules, FRS provides a modular-based system to fit every department's needs, regardless of size. For more information, please visit www.firerescuesystems.com or call 631-234-1304. Attention firefighters, want to see the latest in thermal imaging? Contact your local MES sales representative to arrange a live demonstration of the Seek Attack Pro, now NFPA certified. The Attack Pro's mixed gain mode allows firefighters to see detail in the hottest and coolest regions of the scene at the same time without freezing and switching modes. Mixed gain simplifies and improves thermal imaging for the fire service. For a limited time, MES is offering an exclusive promotion. Every purchase of an Attack Pro. Ooh. Happy Saturday, everybody. We are at the biggest Saturday of the year in drill team competition live from Deerfield outside of Utica, New York for the New York State Drill Team Championship. We're going to get a late start. For those of you tuning in early, we are now going to get started at 12 noon. We're looking forward to a great day. The track is dry. The sun is out. A little windy, but we have a great day of racing for you to see who's going to become the New York State Champion of 2020, uh, 2023. I'm Paul Suskind of the Bay Shore Redskins. I'm joined by Rob Noonan, the West Sable Flying Dutchman, Tuan Simone, Hempstead Yellow Hornets, and Billy Cornell of the Westbury Turtles. Fellas, looking forward to a great day, Rob. What do you think? Oh, uh, this is great. Not the start we were hoping for, but you know what? Starting around noon might not be the worst thing. Sun is kind of peeking in and out here, and we got the teams warming up for three-man ladder. I can't wait to see. Quest for the Cup is just about ready to go. There's our first reference. What do you got, Tuan? Oh, it's great to be back upstate, boys. I have not been to an upstate drill since 2010. You haven't been allowed to go. I haven't been allowed to okay. go. Listen, I got permission. I worked at camp all summer. It is great to be here. I'll tell you what, I am excited for the 2023 New York State Championship. Like you said, late start. The sun's coming out. The track is drying. Uh, I'm looking forward to see which one of these big four are going to fight it out at the end of the day. Yeah, it's going to be a great day up here at uh, Deerfield, as usual. Track committee doing a good job. The place is already crowded. It's been crowded here since 10 o'clock in the stands. They've been waiting, waiting patiently, and it's going to be a great day of racing. Can't wait to crown a champion today. When's the last time we actually had a drill here in Deerfield for the state championship that started on time? 
I think it's 88. It might be. I'll tell you what. Oh, so it is. 02, 96, was, I think, no? Was it 96 started yeah, on time? Yeah, 96. Could have been. Yeah, 02, yeah. what do we have? Hour wait in 02. How did oh, not wait. How did 96 end? Not on time. Late. Was it? No. Night. That one ended on time? Yeah, it was, I don't it remember. It was that later movie. on, but yeah. I remember the, I remember the flukes dancing to the was, Macarena was, at about 8.30. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah, was it that early? <laughs> I don't know. I, I wasn't racing yet, but I do, I do remember the party being pretty decent because it was ended at a, at a decent hour. Not yes. like 02 when we were here. Yeah. Well, that's right? That went never ended. You know what I mean? But, you know, it's cool. You know, the Deerfield track, it's, it's a nostalgic track for a lot of us up here. Redskins winning in 18, Yellow Hornets, right? Two times up here. Um, but it's just, it's just cool to be back here in this setting, in this facility. It's the seventh time that Deerfield is the host site for New York State Championship. The track looks good. I hope it keeps up. The return road is going to be something we got to keep an eye on today. Um, great job on the uh, happy hour show, guys. Kudos to you. I was driving up last night after work, and I was uh, catching up on all the stuff you guys had to say. So I think one of the biggest points that you made yesterday was the fact that if you're running in the back of the pack, you have a clear advantage today, and it's, it's going to be interesting to see how the track conditions play into, uh, into account today. And that advantage kind of grew with the rain that came this morning because right. there was some rubber that was put down on this track the other day. During the happy hour on Thursday when we were broadcasting, though you didn't hear it till Friday, there was plenty of rubber put down in the spots it had to be. But that rain that came Thursday and then last night kind of washed morning. a lot of it away. <laughs> so the, the, the first few teams and Riverhead being on number one on the line is going to be pretty interesting to see what happens. And you're going to see a lot of drivers paying attention. Yeah, I think you're going to see a lot of drivers up front that are running towards the back of the pack. You can see a little bit of the remnants of the rubber on the road from the happy hour the other day. There was actually a little bit of discussion, we were told, in the captain's meeting. There was a, a request to do a couple of dusters. That didn't necessarily uh, come to fruition, so we're running with what we got, and hopefully we're getting started shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, last call, last call on the Wild Survivor Pool entrance. Last call. So yeah. this is how we're... Uh, if you're home and you want to get in that Wildcat Survival Pool, you got a couple of minutes to, uh, get to send in. it in. National Anthem is the cutoff. They were getting close to 250 entries uh, just a little while ago. The highest they've ever gone is 300. So I'm thinking they could potentially be approaching that. We're going to get you some numbers, and we'll give you updates, kind of almost contest by contest of where we're at. So let's talk storylines today, right? So, I, you know, we have a little note sheet. You guys touched on all of these things at the Happy Hour broadcast the other day. So it's going to maybe sound a little repetitive, but for those who didn't listen to the Happy Hour show, right, here are the storylines. First and foremost, my opinion, this is the diamond anniversary of the New York State Championship Drill. It's the 75th one, yes, right? Uh, yeah, th and 35 years, 35 years since the first time they had it at Deerfield, the 75th overall where we're going to crown where we're going to crown a champion. So That's 75 right. years ago, what happened in Rome, New York? And well, they, we which is right next door to here. 75 yeah. years ago, they uh, I don't know if they completed that. One. <laughs> yeah. now, they, Rome burns by fireman fiddle. <laughs> well, if you go back to the history of racing, you know we're we're on like se year 77. So there's been a couple right. of years where there was none, and I think yeah. one of them was in Rome, right up here in the Utica yeah. area. So 49, 89, right. and 2020. So yeah. those are the three that go out, right? Right. So 49, I'm not really exactly sure was why. A, That's like a, a World War II. It was a punishment. It was a punishment for, for, was right. a punishment for 48 fire. That, that was what happened there. Which kind of led to the formation of our association. Right. right. 89, the Dust Bowl, obviously, and then 2020, COVID. But, but, you're, but you're right. Get back to talking about the storyline. We're on, we're on our diamond anniversary, yeah. and and the top of this score. Top of the score sheet's going to have a lot to say about what happens goes on today. Yeah, top yeah, 15 Paul, teams. going in and out. We'll work on that as we uh, go across the day. It's been a it's been a little bit of a challenge getting uh, this production to you today. So kudos to those who've worked for the last couple of days, Chris and uh, and Artie and Steve and the rest of his uh, staff really working hard. Yeah, to, since you brought it up, hey guys, uh, Chris over in the truck, and I just wanted to let everybody know data is a little choppy here in Deerfield, New York. <laughs> It's been about three or four days of craziness to try to get this thing to run at the quality that everybody loves. If something goes wrong, please, I apologize. We'll do everything we can to get it up and running as soon as we possibly can. I promise, I promise, I promise. Okay? And, and i got to just tell the people, because, Chris, you won't say it, but, uh, Chris, you won't say this, but you, I just heard you guys were on the phone with Verizon trying to get them to boost the signal in the area. Like, there's a lot goes, that, that it's a labor of love, truly, for the, a lot of people in that truck back there. So thank you, guys. Hopefully the broadcast is coming out clear to everybody for the uh, 75th anniversary yeah, of quite our honestly, state these, championship. These guys have been going at it since yeah, Thursday. Right. Right. Let's just, uh, let's get that's all just that's all just to make excuses when when this thing drops exactly. out and then exactly. <laughs> when, when you have to listen to this don't on be so mad right. don't be so mad when you have to listen to the state drill on Wednesday you know why but <laughs> while while we still have the people the Wednesday, top, the Wednesday, <laughs> Wednesday 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 <laughs> Wednesday. 
the top of that <laughs> scorecard top. is going to be uh, quite interesting, especially top. what we just talked I about know. with the track conditions. Exactly. And, and my, my favorite line from the uh, Happy Hour show, you went from backpack to fanny pack. Yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of Chris Murphy right there. You got all the heavy hitters up in front just by look of the draw. You know, you, you look, you got Point Pleasant 4, West Sable 6, right? You got Bayshore at 10, CI at 11, North Lindy at 12. I mean, it's going to be real interesting to Rinky see. Rinky-Dinks, Western. West, West, right, Rinky-Dinks 15. 15 yeah. Western is 16, right? How, how does this fall to Islip? Right, exactly. I mean, Islip exactly. to me now is me sitting, talk about sitting in the catbird seat. Yeah. They're going to get to watch whatever happens come apart or stick together and know what they got to do. Yeah, first time that they're running in uh, running last in earlier. Usually they put the shot up first and have, have to come get them. Last year they were the first to the backpack. Now they're sitting in, the, like I said, catbird seat. Ice of Wolves obviously are going, uh, that's another storyline, going for the uh, the back-to-back. -back. You know, they, they get over the, the off the schneid last year. You know, they were top five six years in a row going into 2021, and they finally, you know, were able to win in 2022. You know, if you look back in, in streaks and state drill history of, you know, a top five finish without a state championship, the Ice of Wolves almost took over the lead uh, with that. You know, most top five finishes in a row without without winning the, the, you know, for those of you who like stats, the Lindenhurst Snails are the owners of that record. They've placed top five seven years in a row from 78 to 84 without a win. But the Wolves and get the win last year. If you're on Lindenhurst, you're like, Wait, that's, oh my, yeah, that's pretty good. But then again, you're like, damn, how did we not just win one of those, right? right. I know. It wasn't until yeah. 87 but, they got over that. But but we've seen a number of back-to-backs. Uh, most recently, what, North Lindenhurst? Correct. And, prior, and, and, prior to that, West Sable. I might be missing somebody else. CI before that. And it's speaking of North Lindy, what's their streak of just top fives alone right there? Oh, this is fantastic. So that's another, another storyline for the day. The North Lindenhurst Piston Knockers have placed in the state drill for the for the past nine consecutive state tournaments. There have only been three teams, excuse me, two teams to have, uh, to have gone over 10, right? The Patchogue 40 Thieves, uh, you know, they, they did it, uh, you know, geez, in the 70s and 80s. Uh, they placed top top five, 10, 15 years in a row. That is the, uh, you know, the, the most there, right? <laughs> that is the standard there. And then, you know, North Lindenhurst comes into this one with nine looking to go uh, double digits there. So that's definitely one of the storylines here today as well. Not to mention the fact that they have a scoring streak that could turn 43 years old today. They have scored in every single New York State Championship drill since 1978. Wow. Chris. And they put the streak on the line yet again today. Well, listen, they, between state drill scoring streak and tournament scoring streak, I know they go back years and years and years, probably the the biggest or longest scoring streak we've seen. Uh, is, I don't, is there possible to be a longer scoring streak than the North Lindenhurst Pistonogs have right now? It goes back to what? 1979, 78, 78, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just insane. And there's been a couple times it came down to buckets. But <laughs> and yep. they were scrambling. Hey, maybe the old guys, if we're going to go down, let's go with the old guys, not the team running buckets now. And they, yep. and they pulled it out, and they pulled it out. But that streak's insane. But their streak in state tournaments, very impressive. So so they're looking to go to 10. You know, West Sable has had nine. They, they went 0-4 to 12, placing top five overall. West Sable also has 12 from 1991 to 0 top five. So if they, they don't place an 0-3, if they do, then they would have taken Patchogue off the board. But Patchogue, 15 consecutive top five finishes between 1978 and 1993. Ken North Lindy get the 10 today. It's hard to do. Listen, you that many. It's it's hard to come into top five. You know, you. That's why it's so special. Yeah, it's it's. A, Listen, it's I've really been on, great. I've been on teams where we 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 believed we were solidified in the top five after the first four races, and now we're going for gold. I've also been on teams where hey, we got four points. We're going to buckets. If we hit our bucket shot, we're coming down yeah, the track. That's right. And it's <laughs> and it mattered a lot. So sure we got it does. So we got yeah. Islip back to back. North Lindy obviously going for the win and a top ten, a top five finish ten consecutive years. How about the Flying Dutchman? They, I, this is going to sound silly. They're in their longest championship drought since the era between 1975 and 1994. They haven't won a stage drill in six years, which is their longest drought since that era. I know that sounds crazy because they have 13 championships. Do they find a way to get over the top to be, to get back to their glory days today? Um, I I heard the predictions on the happy hour drill. I know Noonan didn't want to make one. <laughs> I heard Paulie's prediction. They, they they come out a lot as heavy. Um, if they can find a way of scoring hoses today, I think that's going to be the, the wild card for them. If they get some hose points, big hose points, yep. they're going you know, to be right in the mix. I based that prediction on my eyes and what I was seeing, and I thought they were running pretty well. I thought Billy Houghton has been as good as he's ever, ever been. been in the last couple of weeks, and, and Michael getting a grasp on the drops there in the hose races, like you just said, Tuan. Yep. 
If they hit oh one of those races really big, they can run the last three. The Flying Dutchman have not scored in C-Hoes one time this season. Watch well, today. And they've scored twice in B-Hoes. If yeah. they can score big in <laughs> those host contests, I mean, it's, it's going to be a and race. And then one interesting part, that B-Hoes is the shot of the year. And so that's right, the B-Hoes shot the 781. And, and, yeah. that's, and that's exactly it. Um, as, far, as far as Central Islip, look, they have been the team to beat. If I had to make a prediction, I would have made, I would have picked the Hobos to win today. I, I like what they've been doing. This this kid, Richie Arnett, this climber, we used to call him Hobos Climber jokingly, but now he, he he's earned the right to have his name spoken. You know, <laughs> if you just look at his stat line for one drill, the Hunter, he goes 622, 511, 865. I mean, CI invites six. Uh, excuse me, Hempstead invites six thirty-four, five hundred two, eight sixty-three. Craziness. Climbers dream about those oh numbers, God. and he's doing I, it. I was just going to say, Twan, that's probably somebody could put it together if you haven't already. But those three stat lines, there's probably not one or two or three other climbers that have ever put a stat line together in a yeah. day like because that. Because he's I, because he's got the heavy three-man time. Right. Yeah, Chucky Doyle's probably done it, but not with that sea ladder time. No, no, you're right. Mikey Maris obviously done it, and I would put maybe Billy Moon, but he might, probably didn't have the, the three-man ladder time like that. Oh, in one day. He sense. did, but I'm saying all in one. How about, how about A-Rock? A-Rock would yeah. be in that, obviously. Yep, absolutely. I'm remiss, I'm remiss for not saying A-Rock. Absolutely, that's an A-Rock type of line. And the JoJo, too. Well, guys, while the Chief's coming in, we just popped up our Venmo tip jar for the first time today. If you've got Venmo, we uh, have had a lot of success with this. I'll let the Chief speak, but you see it on the screen, everybody. Uh, help, help us out. It's an honor for us to host this event. Especially this year, the 75th anniversary of the state drill, and for us, the 35th anniversary of the first time we enlisted this back in 1988. It's a, it's a, we're a department strong with tradition, just like fire medics. And today, I wish you all a day full of respect, tradition, brotherhood, and sisterhood, just like the fire service today. And I uh, wish everybody a safe and healthy competition. And uh, have a great time. Thanks for being here, Jerry. Chief, on behalf of everybody, thank you for the call. Everyone did an incredible job. I'd now like to turn my phone to a man that makes it all happen. Please give your attention to Gary, the step my teammates, my firefighters, all firefighters, our supporters that help us out a great deal that puts this thing on. I can't explain to you how proud our department is of this facility, where your city is owned by the firefighters themselves. Not the fire district, the firefighters. We bought the property, we built everything here, and about 85% of it we did it with our own hands. Even the blacktop that we were standing on, we, we helped put down. We had a professional company put us down, but everything underneath that, everything you see around you, was trees, just like you see them on the far side of the forest here. We had to clear the whole property. We had a super heavy equipment moving dirt. We built the buildings that are behind us, other than the firehouse, we built them ourselves. The group of guys that we had back in the 80s was fantastic, and it continues on today. We did it all with fire company fundraising functions. Not one penny from the taxpayers to serve here. I want to thank my fire fellow firefighters for being here and helping us out and our, our friends from around different fire companies and, and past teammates that are here help us put this thing on. I want to recognize a couple of people in particular. We have today special guest Harry Penny. Harry, Harry has president of the fine organization as I was. Harry, during the time that we were building this thing, was the, the glue that made us continue. Gave us the chance. And believe me, if you ever saw the movie uh, with uh, the Continuous Baseball movie, if you build it, they will come. That's a, this is our dream. Feel the dreams. If you build it, we, they will come. So the fire department, thank you, Harry, yeah. all the board, Mark Jaffe, all the board, uh, Bobby, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Hey. Kind of here, but, uh, what a great group of guys, and they gave us the opportunity to do this. Uh, this is the Raymond P. Rusty training facility, the name is Ray Rusty. Uh, and through the years, we've had a lot of friends that were up with us, and a lot of friends out here standing on the track and in the stands. We've had a lot of people pass and have gone, gone their way to the beyond. Um, we miss them. Some of these, some of these uh, incidents are tragic, and we have a tragic incident. Over a round year ago, with uh, Billy Moon. Yeah. If you saw some of our shirts, they're in his memory, uh, with the moon in the background. Unfortunately, we're sold out of all the souvenir shirts already. You can reorder. If you really want them, let us know. Have a final way to get them to you. But uh, we've lost a lot of guys that. 
a lot more Lancaster. Great interview with Gary Stephanus on the yeah. Happy Hour Show. A lot of great knowledge yeah. there. You can't do more for a place than what he did for this place.
something about that national anthem at the State Drill, boys. Let's, we're going to get some racing on now, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a long wait. We've had to weather the storm a little bit. Well, we're going to get it on right now with three-man ladder. Let's get this story. Let's get this race. Let's get this day. The 75th, the Diamond Jubilee. I said Jubilee. Let's get it on the way, baby. Uh, we, 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 listen, right before three men were starting, we were talking about storylines real quick. West Sable, yep. we're looking at them. They haven't placed... They haven't won in six years. Does Point Pleasant become the second up place, the upstate team to place top five overall? Spencer puts the only team to do it, 90-01-03. Can the Rinky Dinks get in top five and be the Nassau County representative? North Belmore hasn't placed top five in the state since 1969. Yeah. Oyster Bay, maybe. Looks like we're ready to go, guys. We're going to start with that number one team on the line, Riverhead. We're going to look uh, try and give you some split times. Yeah, we'd like to see that third man and three-man ladder get in that 420 or better. I yeah. mean, and I've been yeah. saying it all year, three-man ladder is His back. back. Uh, earlier in the year, we gave, we gave that second man split time and how important that was to get out of the way of the third man when you got a good guy coming behind you. You know, we, we were talking about five sixes, like the gold standard. Yes. But if you can get up there in five eight and give some room to that third guy. So, yeah, a couple things there, Paulie, 100%. Okay. Second man giving that third man as much ladder as possible to climb, and but we want to see that third man. We see somebody getting in better than that 420 numbers. All right, here comes Riverhead in line right Expect now. The possibility for a scoring shot. Pete, publish Pete leading the charge up here. First man up the ladder today. All right, our tournament has be officially begun. We've got a little miss on the first man at the bottom. They're all kind of just walking their way up to the top to finish the shot. 11:59 a.m. First shot. Little See shout out to uh, Mike Argenia right there calling him off. It's this be his, his last day tournament. Yeah. He's, gonna, he's gonna hang it up after the day. He says this weekend or Labor Day. So look. It's gonna get. It's gonna start going real fast huh? here with the with the front with the fanny pack, but. If you're looking at what teams have run this year, Islip's put it in the 6-1s, the Hobos the 6-2s, West Sable and West Hempstead's put it in the 6-3s, and the Red Onions have put it in the 6-4s. The other main teams here, Hagerman, Carl Place, North Lindy, Bayshore, South Hempstead, they're 6-5 or slower. So we're going to look at Islip, CI, West Sable, West Hempstead, Spencer. Play. All right. There see we what go. they can do. North Babylon's off. Second man gets out way, way early. First man has a little miss at the top. He's one stepping it up now, and here he goes. Yeah, a little struggling there just to complete the shot. Dom Albanese finishes it off here for the Bucktails the right butts, here. That's right. I was about to say, Deer Park, North Babylon. All right. Farmerville and on the line right now. They have, they're they bringing the sea truck today, right? Yep. They got it the out of the North Bills. And we'll see Dom driving it later on today, so it'll be a fun time. Farmerville on the line right yeah, now. Yeah, Farmerville's put it in the 6 eights this year, boys. That's their fastest <laughs> of the year. I mean, you know, maybe they'll just set the bar with that right well, now and let's see where we some, go from there. I mean, you know? off the top of your head, I don't know if you know, but what are some previous times that were... Did 6-8, has 6-8 scored in this state tournament in Deerfield? I would say no, man. Last year we had a 7 score uh, for the first time since the 1970s. That's I hope crazy. we don't see that again. But a 6-8 scoring. Good start. Mm -hmm. All right, Farmingdale off clean. I'll get back to you after the shot. And they're on. Justin, 428. Nice looking climb. All right. I think that's their top shot of the year. I think so, too. 682 was the best. Let's see what you they got. Could, you could see it on Justin's face, right? The determination. It's state tournament day. Bested it by 12 one hundredths of a second. 670, yeah. that's going to set the bar right now. I have a good question for you before we get to point right away. What, mentally, you get that? Yeah. Mentally, there's a huge difference between a 670 and a 669. Yeah. Right? You run a 69, you're like, hey, man, I, I think we could score with that. 70, you're like, oh, I don't know. Is that going to hold? Yeah. Paulie, yeah, getting, getting back to your 680 question real quick. That 705 in 1975 scored fifth place. That was in 1975. Yeah, a right. six eight hasn't scored in that right, time period. Was right. Big shot here for them. P pickers are off. Third man in four thirty five. Nice job. Ah. Who's that young buck out there for point? I Pleasant? don't know. It was just Jack wondering. Nichols, the third man. He switched up with Mike Passer, who's ha nursing a little bit of a hamstring problem. And that and that's their fastest time of the year. Yeah. They, their fastest time prior to that was a six ninety three six nine. So they made a switch, put it in the six eights. Oh. Jack Nichols, rookie player. This guys, Paulie put together some stats on the uh, on a drill here. And three-man ladder, you've seen uh, 6.15, North Lindenhurst, the best uh, time to be run in a state drill here at Deerfield. And, and you've had uh, nine shots below 6.39 or better. So 
Was that 615? That was with Chris back in the day, right? Yeah. I, I, that was 1996. You, you're talking about that last shot by Point Pleasant. I, it, he probably lost it on the ground, you would think, right? Did anybody uh, get his in on that? Belmore is off. I had 435. Okay. Right. No, no, that'll Little do bottleneck it. at the bottom for Belmore. All three them. climbers getting their way to the top. Real close on the grab. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice job, though, for uh, Point Pleasant at 680. And, uh, eight point nine zero eight ninety. And the rookie there. Uh, All right, here we go. This is a huge shot for these Flying Dutchmen. They have scored in every tournament this year in three-man, except for the Joe Hunter drill. Lifetime speaking, they have won this contest 14 times, the most of any other team. They've gotten better every week. All right, they're off nice and clean. Both Maras on. Billy Hopton's got a good climb going. He misses towards the top. He might have clipped Maddie's foot, too. Yep, you saw it right there. It looked like the foot and the hand at the same time, Rob. Damn. Right. So now that's gonna, you know, they need those host those host times later on. Nine point three six. Nine thirty six. I'll tell you what, I slipped in a very similar spot in 02, man. That's a that's a heartbreaking slip. I know the feeling. Yeah, he had, he had a nice in, got good momentum. I, exactly, man. You don't typically slip midway up. You're, you yeah. either miss the grab or the in to slip there. It's, it's a tough slip, man. I've been the there. But listen, they'll rebound and be back. Turtles on the lines are practicing. They ran a 6 4 in practice. So let's see what they do here. Oh, were, they game were they practice champs again? Like the uh, practice champs. Oh, Everyone's a practice champ. Yeah, I told you we were 13 time state champions in practice. Billy, third man, eating up way too much of the line. He's going to practice. He's going to, as soon as he puts his knee forward, he might clip the light. 671. Second yes. man gets out way too early for Westbury. Yep. He is right on top of the first man. They get in together. Third man's in. Got a nice climb going. He had to slow down, though, to get lost out of hands. the way of the first and the second man. He lost his hands right there at the top. Yeah, second man got a little earlier there. 11. All right, here's Spencer Ford. Another good uh, three man ladder team here. Yeah, you go back. You go, well, yeah, definitely. You go back to that West Sable shot for, you know. The, there's eight races in the day, right? Yeah. And we talked about consistency. And West Sable, they, obviously, they got to score in six or seven in the eighth, just like CI or Ice Loop. I agree so with that's you. That's one down. Yep. Yeah. Red Jack, Onions have Josh a Marshall out here. 644 and a 655 to their credit this season. How much more props would Josh Marshall get if he was racing on Long Island, right? Yeah. All right, we're off. He's coming in hard. Josh Marshall and he toes oh. the third rung at 417. Kind of goes right through the ladder. There goes one of my Wildcat pools. Wow, we just saw three uh, three good teams throw, give it away. Well, this is, it's that time, right? Stay tuned. Listen, you don't like to make excuses here, but... How effective or de detrimental? And this might be what you were just going to say, Tuan. How detrimental is it when you, you're coming here thinking you're starting at 9 o'clock right. and you That's sit around till noon? That's exactly it where sucks. I was going with this. It sucks. You know, if you've, for anyone who's ever run three-man ladder out there, it's just it's a mind F. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And yeah. you've got to now wait three more hours. Now, look, some people would disagree with what I'm saying. I was a little bit of a mental midget. But, uh, <laughs> but you. It's, yeah, you know, you, you, nerves are a thing. And in this contest, it's quiet. If you need the ladder contest to, to get your day started, it's, right. a, it's a pressure shot, man. It really is. And then you got to wait three hours to run. All right, Copeg's off. Let's it's see what they got. Chris Brandt yeah, coming in hard. He's in at 441. Oh, he's climbing good. Nice shot there for Copey. I tell you, I think if he tops this 670. That's going to be a nice shot right there. They're going to like this. They're in. They could be that's, in the mix. That's their first six of the year, Copey. if it's a six. Six point eight four. All right, 84. Six, eight, eight, I thought a little, little bit, a little so, better than that, so I thought. So far, we're at the antithesis of three man is back. Yeah, I know. But you know what? Once again, we... we We've seen this the second half of the year, how a lot of things have fell into Bayshore's lap and they capitalized. They have an opportunity right here. If Bayshore can get on the scoreboard in this contest. They got yeah. back to back it's, six it's, sixes in the last two big, drills. It's so. big for them. That'd be big for them, for sure. All right, CJ Gravinsky, third man here. Keep an eye on him. All right, nice clean start for Bayshore. First two are in. Oh, slip at the bottom at 4.13 for CJ. That's the end time you were looking for. But I, I thought maybe the second man stuttered a little bit as CJ got there, but he definitely he missed like the rung there and got in sideways. CI a little... Not coming little, to the line. Yeah. Oh, there they go. Taking his time. The Central oh, Hope, Hobo's making an entrance there. One minute. Will... Will we see the birth 
of the phenom in the stage drill. Now, Richie Listen. Arnett has been amazing all year, no doubt about it. It's but stage drill time. How Let's about see this? He, he's coming to the line. There's nothing on the board. I bet he expected there to be some numbers when he got there. Still run Is the mentality changing in that? I don't, right? know, yeah, I don't think so. The 674 will first place right he's now. He's got so. five shots under his belt faster than 634 this season. <laughs> Obviously, the team, Eric Miller, second man, right? Well, you're running with three third men. We say it a lot. I know. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, all right, they're off. Hobos are in. Jake and Erica on. <laughs> Richie's oh. in. 408. There we go. I'll tell you what, it looked like Richie had a slight stumble midway up, but he recovered. Oh, yep. 100%. It's going to be the fastest slip recovery you've ever seen. <laughs> what? Uh, did you see what I saw, Paulie? Yep. Did, was there a slight stumble in the middle? Absolutely a was. Absolutely and it's was. And it's a 624? 624 with that. Maybe it wasn't as bad of a stumble as I it looked. Actually, I actually had that feeling inside me he was slipping when I saw it. I'm like, oh. But he didn't. He That's the it. sixth fastest Deerfield three male ladder shot. All right. A lot of, a lot of those low six. But listen, Ooh, North Lindy's up. Twos. North Lindy's up. This is a big shot North Lindy. Yeah. They've had a lot of trouble with the first man this year. He's in and up. If he can All right, Kevin Kinley in, 435. Hey, if he beats the 670. Hey, good to have the Czar back after getting electrocuted on the first man there. <laughs> Jesus. 88. Just gets so 24, 70, 80, 83, 84. Can we get back to that hobo shot for a second? Yeah, I'm do telling it. you, I know it's, uh, I, I, I don't, I'm trying to think that I blow. The West I'm trying to think that I blow the call. Did it look wor worse than it actually was? Because you don't slip and run a 6-2. It looked like there was a slight stumble. I thought it was through. a hesitation. I think you guys are making a little no. bit more it, of it. I thought it was You know, we're at a different good. angle here. Look, it nonetheless. very slight. Listen, I thought he hesitated. It's tied for the 17th fastest shot in the state drill history. All right, Raiders are off. First man might have gotten out just a little early. He's in and gone. Justin Deke. Third man in, 475. Oh. Misses about two or three steps up. And they finish it up. You know, we're looking at a different angle, boys. You know what I mean? But it is a top 20 shot, 624. It's a top 20 state drill shot. What a view we have over here from this side. Uh, Archie built for us over here, guys. Baldwin Tomcat. It's a team we haven't seen a lot of this year, but it's good to see them out up here. Yeah, Baldwin, you know, a couple years back, you know, we set it at the Nassau County Invitational. Oh, the Nassau County Drill is not really an invite. They won three-man ladder that day, six eights, but, you know, obviously a different group of guys today. And Tommy Fitzsimons, you were saying what? Uh, yeah, that's right. Thank you for that reminder. Yeah, Tommy Fitz, happy 80th, uh, 80th birthday. 80th birthday. He looks fantastic. Past president. He looks fantastic. Still out there doing his thing. Happy 80th birthday, Tommy Fitzsimons today. Octogenarian. All right, All right. Tomcats. All right, they're off. Third man gets out a little bit late. Ooh, second man misses on his end, kind of toes it, and goes right into the ladder. He put his arm through to his shoulder. All right. Overtime, Baldwin. Overtime. Here's a team, North Belmore. Big shot right here for North Belmore. This, this is going to fall right into their lap. Wide open. Yeah, with the exception of CI, is this, is this event playing into their lap a little bit? Uh, 688 is their best of the year. I don't know if they got this they, in, their, uh, in their bag, though. Well, right now, if they go sub 680, there's a shot for them to score with the way this score, the scorecard looks. Oh, sure thing. Still got your Westerners. You know, there's still plenty of teams to play. Yeah, the Tell Rascal, you, yeah. Rascals can play with the 680. Obviously, the Ice of Wolves down on the scorecard. But nonetheless, the track is clear for the North Belmore Rinky Dinks. Looking to place top five in the state trail first time since 1969. All right, Nick White leaves it already in second. Here comes Joe. All right, here we go. Rinky Dinks, Joe Cochran Finish. in 422. A little slowed up nice by the recovery. first man. Nice recovery by the first him. man. They kept going, but. Uh, yeah, Joe Cochran really, uh, he didn't slow down. He's just a touch, but just got in there. For North Belmore, 6.96. I think he needs a little bit more room in front of him. Yeah. What's his mount there? 22. Mm. All right, West Hempstead comes to the line. They have been having a fantastic three-man ladder season. We got Joey Marcherano running third man. 
636, a new personal best. He ran it at the Hempstead Invite just last tournament a couple weeks ago. 655 prior to that, 658 at the Hunter. This is a we talked we, we talked about the youth. We talked about how they've come along this year, gotten better at each drill. Great opportunity for the new guys to score in three-man ladder to state drill. Master Nacho, Danny Broom in front of uh, Joe Monterano. Here they go. All right, they're up. Big jump for Joe. Look at that. Second, third man are tight. Joe's in 425. That's a good shot. I love how he finished strong. He really does a nice job of that. Really went for the top rung there, and it makes a difference. Five for West Hempstead. Six point five seven six. Six. Second place. Right. So basically, they run their run. That's been the consistent shot all year, and right now it's sitting in second place. Up to the lights. Number 17, <clears throat> Lyndon I, I, would, I would almost want to want to rewatch the West Hempstead start there. Were they all off the line at the same time? I thought maybe there was a little bit of a, a jam between Joe and Daniel there. Two and three were a little tight, Which yeah. might have caused that difference between that 6-3 to a 6-5, but nonetheless, second place right now. Well, here's the snails around. Kevin Rivera, just up from the juniors right over here. All right, here we go. Lindenhurst. First man got sucked in, made a good recovery. 438 on the in. A little bit of hesitation on really the Really made a nice it. recovery. You're right, Rob. Yeah. I mean, they haven't run a six all year. That looks like six eight, six Five nines there, potentially. Six point eight five. It's gonna be outside the money. Yeah, first man Kevin Rivera. He really uh, ruled the roost for the uh, junior uh, circuit this year, and just yeah. came up after the uh, championship the other day. Where who won that title, that Paulie? Huh? Was that Bayshore that won that title? Yes, Bayshore. Congratulations to the Junior Redskins for winning the. Uh, the state championship for the junior side. And today's Pi Callahan's birthday, and the Bay Shore Junior Redskins yeah, would Pi like to Callahan. wish Pi a happy birthday. Yeah, there you go, Pi. So Miller Place, uh, they're one of the teams that put in the six sevens this year. Ken Miller Place. Yeah. Miller Place today. First time they would ever score, right? That's we right. talked about that. Yeah, that's another storyline today. They're looking to be. Oh, oh right, first man, man gets out way late, but I, that could be made up, though. All right, Anthony in 410, pretty good in. Oh, he oh. had to stop. First man swipe his foot out of the way. First man like leg was his foot out of the way. Kind of in the way. Oh, that hurts. So they, I think, guys, there's an example of where that first man got out way yep. too late. Yep. You know, you always have a chance to make it up, but at the very end, he still was just in the way. And right. Came back to bite him. And it's not at the start. It's at the end a lot of the times because he just gets caught. All right, Gary Penn, the only post-entry in today's drill. Leonard's time was 7, 685. All right, our post-entry for the day. Great Bend is off. Mark Palmerville with Third the jeans man on. In, 470. Nice job. There you go. Great bend. Did he just come from work? He always wears those jeans. It's, it's just fun to watch. He's a nozzle man. Great hands. Watch him win it. Watch him. Win it. <laughs> Where's awesome. his pager? You know, guys, I, I'll, let, I'll let Chris announce the next team. I was always taught when you get into the ladder, you're not supposed to really grab the ladder until rung number nine. Sitting here from this perspective, there are a lot of guys who grab seven or even eight. I, I just, it doesn't make sense to me. It like, grab nine. It doesn't look like they're carrying the momentum. When you, when you, when you can do that, when you go slower without right. momentum, you, you have, have to, to start grabbing the rung. And that throws everything off all the way up top. Yeah. Well, if you're not, a, th that's why approaching the ladder is so important, right? Your last three or four steps as that guy to get on. Right. All right, Roadrunner's up here. See that first guy grabbed low. The second guy grabbed low. Third man in, 428. Good climb right there for Anthony Courier. Yeah, look at that right there, huh? He finished strong. I, I didn't see that one coming. No, no. me neither. Eight, four, That's seven. Best shot of the year for Port Washington. Port Washington, six. Wow. Nine, nine. Uh -huh. Hey, nice job. 99. They got a six. <laughs> the slowest six ever run. Despite being the worst six you can run. Yeah, worst six ever. What's our uh, lucky dog, guys? So, you, so you're telling me What's fifth three? place? Oh, we got to look through it. I think it's 84. It is 683 by Northland. No, Rangers, right? 83. 83 is right. right. It's on the screen right in front of us yep. here. You, so you're telling, you're telling me the third man for Paul Place is back at school. They're normal. Yeah, third man. The Julia. guy that ran, he ran a 659. It's the second passive shot in their history. He's not here today. Right, here we All go. Right, see if the frogs, can they go without their normal third man? Oh, Hard to do. Man. Third man in six, yeah. uh, 450, but a little bit yeah. of a miss. And any misses yeah. is grabbed. Yeah. They're probably going to get red flagged. 
Chris Moretta, the Metal Lander Climber, running third man of the forum. Or not. Correction, correction. There will be no time for call, please. Play the grass and hold rule 1301. So. Up to the lights. Number 31. So one of the reasons I've been saying three man is back is obviously because you saw the six five six fours. But the real impetus of that comment was because last year we saw four sixes in the state drill and three man. We hey, have right. nine already today. I mean, it's not really saying much because some of them are six seven or slower. Well, most you of them know what are, I mean? yeah, right. except for two. But at least it's better than four. Yeah. Oh, come on. All right, here comes Patchog on the line. Yeah, we're on the bottom half of the scorecard. Heisel Wolves waiting in the wings. South Hampstead maybe could squeeze a point. Gamblers maybe. All right, these are off. Vanilla Jammer oh, bringing up the rear. First man gets in, oh. gets sucked into the ladder. I don't know if he necessarily missed. It was more of a hesitation. All three guys are really bunched together. Did he shut it down after that? It looked like he just shut it down. He missed and shut it down. Because he was uh, starting a quagmire. I think they went out of sequence there. Yo. There will be a no time for Patchog. Out of sequence rule. Zero one, no time. Yeah, he's he's never had a good line of the climb all year in three man. Uh, yeah, over. that's too bad. Uh, yeah, you want to see what he can do, right? Yeah, I love this. He, he gets on great. Gets on great. We never get a chance to see him. You know, guys, one of the things you said on the broad, on the happy hour broadcast was if North Lindy can get in there with a sneaky six out of ladders, right? They're they're holding one point three man ladder that's... right now with that six eighty three. And, and you can't overestimate or underestimate how important one, one point. point for them could be at the end of the day. Here's Especially main, when they're not used to getting it in this spot. It's main transit up by Buffalo, Amherst, New York. Slow pokes. Third man gets out a little later than he would have liked. Agree. Kind of gets into the ladder a little bit hesitant. 497. Yeah. Jeff Grazer finishes it up. Time for main transit. 8.34. 8.34. Sneaky shot here for the Hicks coming up. They, they can throw up a six in here. Hicksville. I haven't seen it this year, but like you said, Hicksville does well on this track. They scored a bunch of points here the last time we were at. Yeah, Hicksville's had a great history at this drill. Oh, if you think about the 35 years, you know, the seven times now that we've run here, the six previous ones, Hicksville's done well. Their last six was at Labor Day last year, 679. So it's not that far removed from their last six. All right, they're off. Second man got left in the hole a little bit. Dougie Chiz, third man, he's in 427. A little missed by the second man. And, and the second man, I would, I would argue, slipped because he didn't grab the ninth rung first. He's grabbing the rung seven or lower, and that throws you off. It, it, it throws, you're crouched on the ladder. Yeah, back when I, I climbed, it was at least nine, maybe 11 I would grab. Oh, no doubt. Not 11. But think about the speed you carried. <laughs> Sorry, Billy, you sucked me in today. You never, you never climbed once in your life, did you? Yeah. Was, was, that was, that was that ladder lying flat on the ground? Is there a donut? <laughs> I, I, there climbed, a donut? I climbed third it was, man. It was after he climbed. Ham I climbed third man at Riverhead. I even showed you that at the tournament that I day. Did. <laughs> you, you would've, you would've, I think you would have placed that there, right? Almost. Monte Cristo on the top rung for you. All right, he's <laughs> falling <laughs> Dale on the line. They got that tall third All man. Right. They're all first man in a little bit quicker than the other two. 465 on the end. Third man actually grabs how to see. He was he was not gonna wait. He goes, I'm supposed to grab when I get there and I'm grabbing. He was not waiting for the second guy to go in sequence. He passed him like you pass a truck on the highway. I don't think he went. I don't think, I don't think he knew, Paul. Nope. He went right to his destination. What, no good? <laughs> That's my best run of the year. You know, we're creeping a little closer to the ice of wolves, and you've already seen it at the Hunter, where CI put up a heavy 6-2, and then the wolves come down with a 6-19. Oh. Do we see any kind of similarity today with the uh, ice of wolves I, running you know, the I, I, you know, I don't know what's going to happen, but you, you can't foresee CI getting a five-point lead. Ooh. That's a lot. That's you. Yeah, right. That's a great point, bud. All right, here's North American on line right here. A potentially a five-point lead over every other of those big four, with yep. the exception of North Lindy, if they can hold off for one, is North American. Right, stop jumpers making it way too much. Here comes Nick Morzillo, 435. And he finishes it. Can, can we get that shot? Now, North Lindy's got to be playing the, you know, they don't want that monkey wrench. Obviously, Isop's going to do what they're going to do. They might put up, a, it might be a moot point with Isop running, you know? Three, one, seven, 31. But if Isop does miss, then they're going to be playing the game. Who's going to beat the 683? Wow. Right? Yeah. Three, six. Oh, three, four. Red Devils. 
then it goes to the consistency. Can CI hit in all eight races? Because if they yeah. do, that almost locks them up. Another they thing. can be locked up after three man here, fellas. Yeah, right. <laughs> Another thing that's starting to develop, you know, we talked about Point Pleasant wanting to come down top five. They're in fourth place right now with that 680. Right. You know, some and, and think about how what a windfall that would be for them because Huge. they had nothing all year. This is their best I run know. of the year and they're going with the new kid. And their best contest coming up. All right, free put on the line. First man eating up a lot of that line with his foot. Too well, much. Well, but he stretches way back. <laughs> it's like a slingshot. Yeah, he slingshot himself out as the Red Devils are off, and he misses hard. Yeah. Came in there and like a towed slingshot. that first rung. And yeah, Adam Katz uh, actually buried that one. Felt yeah. painful yep. from here. Former, former Tomcat up there. Yeah, you can see him wincing in pain. We've been there. Overtime. Overtime. Big shot coming up here. Here we go, boys. One of our big four teams on the line. They have scored in three-man ladder, either first place or second place every tournament this year, with the exception of the Hempstead invite. They should, you know, grab four points, but put it between a 624 and a 657, really, if you play the racing game like you talk Hobo, about. Hobo Poland. Nation watching you know I mean? with bated breath. All right, here come the Wolves. And we're only in the first race, fellas. Oh, All right, right, I think like first, first man gets out. Tommy out a little bit early. But Josh Casey can make it up. Oh, He's in 418. Yeah, Tell Tommy, a, a little tenth of you, but lost at the line I, right I think that could I, be a player. The little bit they lost right there. Oh! It's a player. Now listen, that's a point right there, yep. boys. That yep. is a one-point swing with yep. one one-hundredth of a second. Right away, my mind goes to that 94 stage for a West Sable, yes. North Lindenhurst show all day. That's, how much did how much did he lose? Of, uh, on of course, the... I'm getting way ahead of myself by saying that, but you just think that's one one hundredth of a second that yep. could be one point that could make the change at the end of that. Absolutely day. true. So that knocks, Let's see if we can remember yep, it at the end. Right. Yeah. Hey, hopefully it comes into play. Right. That knocks that Lindenhurst out of the points here. It does, but yeah. that leaves Point Pleasant fifth? sitting in fifth. With that, what was it? Eighty six eighty. Well, you know, you got you got he's dice up right What's here. What's he dice up on the ship, Billy? Six ninety. Six ninety shot of the year. Yeah, so that's he can do it. Still. I don't know how much they practiced ladders the last couple of weeks. Off. All right, here comes Benny the Jet motoring. All right, Benny He's the on. Jet in 413. Oh, a little miss in between the second and third man, right in the middle of the ladder. I tell you what, man, I am getting a little excited right now for those South Hempstead Rascals coming up in a couple teams. Boys, i got to maintain. And, but just think about that ice up shot quick. 9.71. 9. We'll give Selden they're due, or Ellesmere, if they're on the line, but those rascals have a chance. Tommy G gets up just a touch they early. some points yep. here, guys. They put it in the That's six hundred. That's two hundreds right there. Absolutely. That's the difference right there. Oh, boy. He, he had a full step on the other two guys, I thought. Yep. Oh, it made the difference. It was, but, that's, you know, I don't know if he would have made the teens, but it made a difference. But Josh, Josh did some job closing the yeah. gap at the end there. All right, here we go, Ellesmere. All right, Wanderers on a ladder, third man in, 485, a little bit. I think he loses his hands a little bit at the bottom, and he's oh. not, he's going to miss the grab. He didn't hold it. Come on, Sally boys, come on. Can I be uh, unbiased for a minute, or biased? You have to be biased. Uh, biased. <laughs> All right, so these guys have run a 667 this year. It's a slightly different team. You got TJ Maul running second man for an injured Will Schroeder, but that's okay because TJ climbs in buckets. The, th this is their chance. These kids are good, man. They're good kids. They get the racing game. They put in the time. Can they get some points in three-man ladder? Man, I would be happy for these most guys points, right now. Most points for the Rascals ever is four points in a state drill. They've done it twice. I don't think they've ever scored in three-man. All right, here's their chance. Fifth one, place in 93, One point, one yes. point. Here we right, go. They're off. Come on. Up and go. Ryan on TJ's right. front. Oh. Right push, push, push it, Ryan. Push it, Ryan. There it is. Nice looking job. I like, his, I like the on. grab there, guys. Yeah. The, the finish was Give great. Give me something. Give me 6-6. Six, six. What do you got, boys? Give him a button. I know we're not allowed to say it. Right. Come on. There we go, baby. That's in the money. That That's could play. That could place. play. Listen, that, that great shot there. I like. It. Listen, it's not the greatest number. Can we know play. six, six, that's, eight. That's but that for that group of guys right there, I'm. Um, uh, 
I, I hope that takes points because you know what? For that group of kids, they've been working hard. I'm happy for that shot right there. That is a build-on shot for those Sally boys. Man. You only got three teams left, I think. Yeah, so. two teams. Two teams. Two, two teams. of them ain't racing, yeah. So Farmanville is going to go there and Lucky Dogs uh, with a 670. Here's Oyster Bay. All right. 670, the time to beat. Does Oyster Bay have it? Third man in, 434. Jim Segley, a nice job. A little late grab by the second man. I don't know what he was thinking there. And the third man was like way back to get the top rung. Five for Oyster Bay. 7.117. That's going to give Five. South Hempstead the uh, point at minimum. Yeah, Seabreeze, a little uh, accident there. Seabreeze would have been a contender in this contest. I was uh, good bad. all year. You know, here comes Hageman. Now, Hageman has an opportunity. They're a top five contender. You know, that when you lose Johnny on the flap, they lost a huge part oh, of their boy. team. And ever. the second half of the year, they've done a much better, and they're a contender today. Did Points that, here would be huge. Did that guy run three, man? Or no, this no, no, no. But okay. he's just, just, you know, when you lose, you know, the big so parts of your team. I'm just saying 655 to their credit with yeah. this three-man team. So it's open for the Hageman Gamblers right here. Casey Aaron and Brendan Dunham. Here we go. Good start. Brendan, nice job. All right. Hageman approaching the ladder. Anyway, Aaron's Third on. Third man in, 435. Here it comes. That's going to play. Nice looking shot right there. 70 the number. It's going to be close, boys. Actually, I'm looking at my watch. Five for Hageman. Six for A lot Just of people of ended up in that 82 range. It's a shame about the Seabreeze injury, injury, right? Eric yeah, Monk's his Eric name. He Monk. put it in the six oh. fours. I know. I feel bad, man, because that could have been a tournament. It's, it, it opened up right for him for that third place shot. Yeah, he could have slipped right in. Exactly. Taking three points there and uh, too bad for Seabreeze. But how about West Hempstead getting three out of that contest and then the Sally Boys getting two? Yeah, that is the most points South Hempstead's ever taken in three-man ladder. They took fifth place in 1993. Um, and, and so hats off to those guys. But listen, here's the story of the day. The Central Ice of Hobos putting a 624. That's a top 20 all-time shot in the state drill. The Wolves, one one hundredth of a second. Does that point come into play later? How does it affect the outcome for the top and, five and, for the and, day? And, one one hundredth equals a point. And now it's time for that favorite, famous part of the year that I love when Paul gets to present the trophies and do everything that is all Paul. <laughs> that is the 11th overall win for the Central Ice of Hobos in the three-man ladder contest going through oh, our 75 next. years now of uh, three-man ladder history. West Sable, the only team ahead of them with 14 wins, but that is second place. Uh, Richie Arnett, that's his first first place uh, ladder climbing trophy. Uh, and I, and I, it was one of the storylines this morning. Is this going to be the day that we remember the, the, the birth, so to speak, of, of Richie Arnett as a, as, as a state drill player. He's already shown it, and he's going into his strong contests. So all year long it's been there, uh, Islip Central Islip, back to back, back, and uh, here we go. First one, uh, <laughs> one event down in there, right there, 5-4. Congratulations to, to Richie Arnett, Josh Kaysen again once. They've been doing it all year. There's nothing like scoring points in three-man ladder in the state drill when you know you can do it. And I'm happy for those South Hempstead Rascals. Hobo Nation, baby, in full effect. Points, number 37, Iceland. Third place, three points, number 16, West Hempstead. There's Eric Munt right there. Two points, number 31, South Hempstead. Yeah, Sally, boys. One point, number three, Hey, Farmerville Bandits grabbing a point there as well. Yeah, I was just going to say, and that could play into them later because they could run the hose game. We know that. It's just a matter of is it, <laughs> is it the good hose or the real good hose? <laughs> Listen, the 2023 state drill, we're under. We're, uh, we're you know, we're, what's the word I'm looking for? We're underway. I couldn't think of the word underway. We're underway. We're looking forward to a great day. The sun is shining. Right. Let's give it to Paul. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Murphy. A fast start there in three-man ladder. I know you guys have been consistent all year, but to bring it to the state tournament, what did it feel like? It's just another tournament. You know, we've been doing it all year, so it's nice to get it done today. As running in the second man position, what, what is the type of goal that I know you started the second half of the year in that spot? What's the goal for you to get to the top of the ladder? Like, do you have a time in your mind so they give Richie the full ladder? No, he can climb next to me, so I'm not too worried about him. Do you ever see him when he's climbing next to you? You don't. You don't. We thought he had a little hesitation. Did he say anything about that? 
No, they said he was the clean climb and take the time and the points and move on to the next one. My bad. All right, good stuff. <laughs> Winners of three man ladder here at the state drill, the Central Ice of Hobos. Congratulations, fellas. All right, and with that, we are underway at the state drill. The sun is shining, the track is drying. And, uh, you know, we'll be back in a little bit with some B-Ladder live on top of the arch at 2023 State Drill, where immortality is next on the line. <laughs> <laughs> instantaneous on-scene electronic personnel accountability system used by FDNY, New Rochelle, Eastchester, and many other fire departments nationwide is now available from Systems Definition Incorporated or your local Motorola dealer. SDI is a well-known software application developer for FDNY and is the company behind this game-changing patented technology. SDI has paired with New York Fire Departments, including Central Islip, to solve the challenge for accounting for members who respond after the tones go off. And new this year, SDI has integrated SCBA data from your Scott SCBA systems. This new capability will further improve fire ground safety by providing pass alarm and air remaining directly to the command post in an easy to view format. Track your members and organize your fire ground activities with a proven solution designed with the New York State Volunteer Fire Department in mind. For more information, visit systemsdefinition.com. With over 30 years of service in the fire industry, High Tech Fire and Safety is proud to be the longest running sponsor of the New York State Fire Department Drill Team's live broadcast. High Tech has been honored to serve as master distributor for Morning Pride products, including state-of-the-art bumper gear, USAR gear, EMS gear, helmets, gloves, hoods, and boots. In addition to Morning Pride gear by Honeywell, High Tech also provides quality products, including Genesis extrication equipment, CMC rescue products, and Mercedes hose, providing your fire department with the highest level of support and service for all your personal protection equipment needs. For a personalized demo or to speak to a certified sales specialist, call 631-777-5170 or visit hightechfireny.com. Carabas in Central Islip is now owned by a member of the New York State Fire Department Drill Team's family. Billy Etzel Jr. has spent his summers on and around the track for his entire life helping to bring you the Wildcat Survivor Pool at the New York State Drill each August. This summer, Billy welcomes fans and firefighters alike to take a break from the grill and stop by Carabas for some of their new summer flavors and recipes. Carabas is also a great choice for catering your next big fire department event, serving big portions of hand-prepared Italian specialties at reasonable prices. Email William Edsel at Carabas.com for info on catering or to plan a night out. H2M Architects and Engineers is a full-service consulting and design firm with a dedicated team that has over 200 years of combined experience serving the emergency services industry. No one understands the needs of first responders better than fellow service members, and H2M is proud to count several of their own staff among them. Whether it's a rehabilitation project or new construction, each design considers the responder's workflow, enabling safer operations and faster response times when it matters most. H2M is proud of their long history of client service and consistent ability to meet architectural, engineering, and environmental challenges head-on while offering a practical approach with creative results. Remember, quality response deserves quality design. For more information, please visit www.h2m.com. Fire Rescue Systems has been in the fire industry for over 20 years and is proud to show their support for New York State Fire Department drill teams. Serving the NY area with a complete software solution for emergency service entities, FRS software is efficient and easy to use, making it ideal for emergency situations. With a wide array of fine-tuned and tested modules, FRS provides a modular-based system to fit every department's needs, regardless of size. For more information, please visit www.firerescuesystems.com or call 631-234-1304.
Attention firefighters. Want to see the latest in thermal imaging? Contact your local MES sales representative to arrange a live demonstration of the Seek Attack Pro, now NFPA certified. The Attack Pro's mixed gain mode allows firefighters to see detail in the hottest and coolest regions of the scene at the same time without freezing and switching modes. Mixed gain simplifies and improves thermal imaging for the fire service. For a limited time, MES is offering an exclusive promotion. Every purchase of an Attack Pro comes with a complimentary apparatus charger. Head to www.mesfire.com for details and information. Integrated Wireless Technologies is proud to be the exclusive Motorola dealer for New York State Fire Department drill teams. IWT offers the full line of Motorola products to fire departments as well as David Clark headsets and sound off signal emergency lights. IWT is your one-stop shop for custom engineered radio solutions, licensing assistance, dispatch solutions, and top-notch reliable service with fully insured technicians. Start off your next radio upgrade with IWT. Check out their website at www.goiwt.com. Looking for something exciting and educational for the whole family? The Nassau County Firefighters Museum in Garden City has something for everyone. Kids can play on the fire trucks, dress up in gear, and spend an interactive day learning fire safety. For all of you New York State Fire Department drill team enthusiasts out there, come visit the Great Neck Alerts Vega Sea Truck and the Hewlett Smoky Stover's B Truck on display at the museum alongside classic films from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. An educational and interactive experience for all open seven days a week in July and August. Visit them today. For more information, check out ncfiremuseum.org. Long Island Firefighters Legislative Committee was formed by Suffolk and Nassau firefighters to fight for what matters to you. This organization acts as a conduit to our New York State and federal lawmakers to ensure that firefighters across the island are protected and treated with respect. In past years, the Long Island Firefighters Legislative Committee has helped to usher in the Ambulance Recovery Bill into law, which will deliver a much needed new stream of revenue to fire departments big and small. For more info on the Long Island Firefighters Legislative Committee and how you can help, contact Bill Thies at 631-466-6069. Long Island Firefighters Legislative Committee. Since 1973, Fire News has been a proud supporter of the time-honored tradition of New York State drill team racing. As they approach 50 years covering the fire service throughout New York and beyond, Fire News is honored to continue as the official publication and online coverage of the New York State drill teams. Look for ongoing coverage in Fire News on firenews.com and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The Titan Group is the trusted name in apparel customization industry as a one-stop shop for all your drill team and department needs. As always, we offer all our in-house services, screen printing, embroidery, sublimation, and graphic design. Take advantage of our custom online ordering system. Simply choose your products, choose your logos, and have your members pay online. All your orders are separated upon delivery. Browse our vendor catalogs at www.titan.com.
celebrating with a glass of champagne tonight if they win. That's funny. <laughs> Just letting you know. He is. I'll tell you what. I, I took is he drinking little, milk? Yeah. I walked around camp because we talked about it. Like, you had a three-hour delay. Like, and that plays mental games with some people, not all. I, I looked at Richie. He's just kind of walking around, kind of like nonchalant, playing a little cornhole. This kid's just, he's cool under pressure. And, and what you're seeing here, ladies and gentlemen, listening at home, is it, it's, it, it's a great story. 624-506 by a 20-year-old kid. North Belmore, ranking games. Running for the CI Hobos, who already, as you know, have 11 state championships to their credit, going for 12 to try to inch closer to the West Sable 13 number. Number, and this kid just, you know, just does it week in and week out. I've been texting with Ryan Murphy about him, and Ryan Murphy made the joke that this kid's been breaking records since the junior, so it's all the same. You know, oh, yeah. what it is. He, you, know? Right. You, nailed, you nailed it. He's cool as a cucumber right there. You know, it's like, nah. And you heard Eric Miller say it down there. He's yeah. like, ah, it's just another run. You know, when you, when you get a group of kids, and you know Eric Miller, he's not he's not like he's 40 years old. Right. You don't usually get young kids that can stay so calm, right? Young kids are excited. I was exactly. excited. And now we try right here for North Belmore. That's right. The now most consistent ladder team all year long in terms of scoring every time. Seven years, uh, seven tournaments in a row they've scored in yeah. both BMC. This is a ladder. huge moment for these ranking things. All right, here comes North Belmore. Let's him go. They're right on his six. Little warm, guys. I'm waiting to hear this number. Oh, I don't even know. Do you count? He grabs the beam as he goes for his grab. Guys, 252 in the ground inside the six foot mark. Wow. That is too much. We said all year how hot they dropped them, and there's always going to be that fine line, right? You can keep dropping them hot, but when you go a little hotter, a lot of times, so I it's will not say, manageable. I will say this Joey Corcoran handled it. It was the diggers who rolled, and the ladder got crooked on him. If he was in, ready to go. If that, if that ladder's straight, it's heavy numbers. But now we're going to turn our attention to the West Hempstead Westerners. So off of their third place finish in three-man ladder, you know, they've scored recently in three-man ladder, not in the top three in quite some time. Now we go to B ladder with them. Daniel Brome climbing this year, his first year climbing. He's put it in the five several times this year, and, uh, you know, what do we need to get in the mix right now? Six 13s are on the board, 566 holding up third. So the door is wide open for these Westerners to maybe potentially squeak out a point. 577 is the fastest they've run this year. They've done that twice. Identical numbers two times. Yeah, there's some room for improvement there too. Dan, Danny Brown doing a nice job. First time I was uh, this, uh, climbing this year, so Let's see Dan if Danny Brown can do it right here. Yep, Danny Brown and his. Uh, Excuse me, Kenny Brom in his 31st year of driving. Started driving in 1993. All right, here go the Westerners. Kenny probably holds the brake, but he puts him in a good spot. Daniel, they're laying him in nice. Good grab. He was going to give them every opportunity to complete that race the yep. way he drove it. Yep. 276 in the ground, but they didn't have the momentum they needed. 5.90. 5.90. It's hard when you start the breakout that far right. to then get momentum. Because a lot of times, uh, a lot of times that truck will break down, and now you got to hold the brake to get in there. And just think, the further you away from the arch you start the brake, that speed you haven't gotten up to. So can your truck get to speed within 55 feet where you want to maybe start that brake, 54, 53, 52, as opposed to 50 feet where you might start it in Central Islip or a lot of the tracks that we run on. Yeah, like Ridge, right? Ridge stops. Yeah. Uh, Linderhurst Snail's coming up. 590 sitting in fourth. 613 tie. Westbury and Bayshore for fifth right now. How many 5 you think they've been running the state drill in history? Quick guess. Linderhurst? Quick, no, no, no. Ever. The Berlinerst? No, overall by five O's the ever world state drill. in the history of the world in Berlin. 30. The answer is... Go ahead, Paulie's thinking. 28. 37. Today you just saw the 37th. Almost at 40, for those of you who like weird stats like that. All right, so here come the snails. Oh, oh the goes down. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, as soon as they stepped off the yeah. thrower, he never got his legs under him at all. He never stood up. You it's like his ankle he, went, right? He slid. He almost looked like his ankle's taped up. I'm wondering if he's running hurt a little bit. I think bit. that's his socks. You know, and the viewers at home can see exactly what we're seeing. We're right in that same camera 
angle. Everyone's all right. He's getting a round of applause. Yeah. He's going to shake it off. But, yeah, he came in. I, he never got his feet under him. He was sliding in second base right away. Yeah. And when you're one of those, either the diggers or the climber, uh, that's just a oh. rough feeling because there's nothing you can no do. time for Lindenhurst. Failure to... Yeah, they switched their team around a little bit this year. Uh, Otto was not found within tolerance. The 13 West Ice Flip has been disqualified. Right. Get a new ladder for the state right. driller. Number 18, the Miller Place Extinguishers. You wonder for something like that, what was wrong with their ladder? I'd be so curious. Have they run ladders this well, year? Keith Kirby just stepped in. He's a new thrower, first time out there throwing this year. Uh, he was hurt earlier this season. So, so. what did he do, cut the ladder in half or something? I mean, I don't what know. was wrong with it? Oh, for uh, West, West Ice Flip. Ice Flip. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, no, Linnerhurst, yeah, like I said, if you're a digger and that ladder goes from your shoulders to your waist instantaneously, it's a scary feeling. Yeah, I saw Ryan get off, he was ready to go, and all of a sudden there was no ladder there for him. <laughs> Guys, I'm hearing there was no volume for the CI call. Do we reenact it right now? Do, do you wanna... I don't know if it's possible. <laughs> oh, my God, Richie, oh, that's the man. I'm pretty sure you could have heard that in either being transit or... <laughs> all right, there goes Billy Place. <laughs> Going to be right on the six. Nice job. Uh, right. I think that's their climb. best run. That's their best run of the year. 272 sure. in the ground. That's a really good number where they put that ladder right there. Place. Five. Seven. Seven. Oh, it just misses a team record. One one hundredth off their fastest of the year. And oh, yeah? team record. Yeah, 576 is their team record, which they set uh, at the Selden Invite. Where does that put them, Twan? That's probably third fourth no, that's, place that's fourth fourth place yeah, yeah fourth, right now, fourth yeah. place right now yeah right they're still trying for that Number first 19, point the great bend cobras they're so, looking for that first state drill point yeah so they're I, gonna need some help little shout out there to uh, adam kalen from uh Kutchog. i texted him earlier this week to create a file of when every team scored their first ever state drill points so he did it he did it in like a half a day so you could go on that list and look, when did the El Hornets score their first points in the state drill? When did the Frogs? When did the Roadrunners? Yeah, he, we, something else. <laughs> we have nine, 94 teams have scored in the state tournament. Miller Place could be the 95th today. They, they have a couple six places over the past couple years. They could be the next new team to score in the state. The only sad fact about that, Tuan, is, is 94 teams have scored and it's only 35 here. Yeah. <laughs> Well, come on, we're talking about 75 years of history, this being the diamond anniversary of the state A couple drill. years from now, we're going to be playing Survivor. <laughs> the 75th state drill, where the racing gods are born. Uh, great bend on the line. No, we don't, we don't like that one, right? We don't like that tagline? No. Okay. Cobras! Hold it. Yeah, it's going to be a straight ladder. That's a tough job by the entire ladder team to have to get the ladder up there. Climbers. Yeah. Working hard to get there, he does. Woo. Not a climb for me. Nope. <laughs> and your four deck gets a climbing. And thank God the ladders when I was climbing were out a little bit more. Interesting fact for all you people at home. Fort Washington Roadrunners. All of your announcers here. Their teams raced in the first original state tournament 75 years ago. That's sure? right, that's right. Everybody who's represented here, we all scored in that first state drill. How about, how about that? That's a great stat. <laughs> For us. <laughs> and, and, you know, I, and, and, Paul and, none, and, none, and none of us were around for that one. <laughs> I climbed. It was seven decades. Is that on your uh, immaculate grid? That's going to be. <laughs> we do have a state drill immaculate grid that we'll show to you guys later. We're going to wait till after the hose test. Six boxes. You're going to have to guess the year and the team. Paulie Suskind has one with nine boxes, and he is the answer to all yes, nine. Yes, I am. We'll share that with you guys. <laughs> no, we're not sharing At the that parade one. tomorrow. <laughs> Actually, eight of nine, right? That was he, only eight. He, eight he even nine. made a mistake on his own immaculate grid. Yeah, yeah. I did. It just goes to show you just how difficult those are to create. It was the one where I said second best good looking. I got that one wrong. It is windy. I don't know if you fellas can hear it at home. I don't know why I just said fellas. Paul it Washington, here we go. Gonna Going be deep. Through. Oh, boy. They're okay. underneath two. The oh, no, 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 no. They're, hey, they're I, three feet underneath the arch. The climber was going. He, he was, was halfway up. I give him credit. He wasn't stopping either. If it wasn't for the angle of the ladder making him not be able to climb anymore. Outside the safety zone, rule 13-0-2. No time. 
I gotta tell you, he was gonna keep going. That's the best he's ever gotten on a ladder in his life, and he looked good. <laughs> the best, the best three steps he's ever had. Oh, yeah, Alex Mustak is doing the climber there, and he he got on great. <laughs> no time for Port Washington. All right, here's the frogs on the line right here. So they have their climber there, Billy. They got the motorized like, climber. In okay. the, but the uh, the digger shoes, he hurt himself earlier this year. We all saw him. He wears the beautiful shoes, obviously, but. Uh, too bad, yo. Obviously. <laughs> Not the year we like from Car Place. Uh, we expect it from the year started from uh, Car Place. Nice tumble at Central Ice Slip there. Sent a couple guys to the hospital. But here we go. Frogs on the line. Mike Gaddish doing the driving. Nick Natale, Danny Dirty Driscoll. Let's go. All right, frogs roll off the line. Right on a six, Climber misses on his mount. Hey, get it, get it, gave him a good drop, right in the right spot. Two good nine, momentum. 294 on the ground. Not really comparable with those two sevens we've seen. Pat Jog, 40 Thieves. 31. Pat 40 Thieves. All right, so first place CI, 506, 523 from West Sable, five. 66 Copeg. Then we go to 577 Miller Place and 590 West Hempstead hanging yeah. around right now. Patrick looking, Patrick looking to put the fives for the first time this year. Six over they ran to the county. So that, that five could be attainable. Again, you know, Vinny doesn't get a good ladder most of the time for these guys. So let, let's see if they give him something to climb. It's windy up here. We got a monsoon blowing through up here. It's crazy weather, man. We go from rainy and cold and muddy to hot. And now it's windy. And now windy and hot. Oh, man. <laughs> they want you to have the full experience. That's it, right? We're getting a... <laughs> Snowstorm tonight. I have 450 sheets of paper here. They're just going all over the place. Oh. That's Bay Show Woman SE truck up in the background. You got a rerun for that? <laughs> All right, here we go. 40 Thieves. Every NFC truck. <laughs> Going to be a staircase. Climber misses on the mount. He recovers the finish. Not much of a grab, the way that ladder set up. For right. Yeah. He's grabbing pretty much when the, his arm is at his shoulder. Point. His feet might have been off on the end after the slip, but I, I saw that though, Rob. Main nice crowd for the state trail. Just take a look down the, the side from us here in the, the bleachers. I don't know where north, south, east, west is where we are right now, but the side to our right, it's pretty packed. That's the south side, I guess. I, I thought it was the south, south side. I, I thought it was too, I just wasn't sure. Yeah. Hey, a little shout out here, Rick Bennett, Manchester throwing a ladder today for Maine Transit. Yeah, how about that? How Mike, about that? Hey, Mike Carl doing the driving, Tom Grazer climbing. Maine Transit, we hosted a tournament in a couple of years up there in Amherst. Great facility up there. Ricky coming over from Dansville. 726 every night. Or Heads over to practice, member of the Dansville Fire Department. How far apart are they, Paulie? Uh, according to him, it's like a 12-hour drive each night to practice, but it's probably about half hour, 45 minutes. Oh, no, 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 no. I literally drove it the other day. It, it, it's it's, hour, it hour? is all of an hour, and that's an hour moving. Right. <laughs> that's, that is no joke. They, they practice one night in the evening. Well, Wednesday nights they practice, and it's the only time they can all get together. Here we go. Main transit rolling off the line. Pretty much comes to a complete stop. Two feet outside the six. Climber making his way to the top. All right, nice climb. All right. Nice and smooth. 321 in the ground. Hot drop. Man transit. 7.26. Back to back. 726s. Yeah, look at that. It's the hey. chance of that. Put that in immaculate grid. Shot of the year for Man transit. 33. Uh, Hicksville, Hicks. By three quarters of a second. <laughs> All right, Hicksville on the line here. Doug Chiz. Last time we were here, Hicksville hit the board, right? Yeah, big, big, big shot. Uh, this may be Doug Chiz's last state drill. That Is that might, what he's that talking about? Room on the street. Yeah, he's, he's getting older and he's getting beat up, and he says, you know, the. The aches, the aches are getting achier. <laughs> you know what? Think about all the guys that he's probably raced with without having a consistent team around him. 
you know, you, you got to give him credit for putting up some numbers once in a while. That I'll tell you what, impressive. 2014 here, we ran a 520. Yep, and go. that was third place. Yep, okay. they also 537 for second in 2018. He's got a fifth place finish uh, just last year. And I know one year put it in the five ones at Essential Ice of Invite. So Dougie Chiz has been doing it for a very long time right now. Good climber. If this is a swan song, let's see what he goes out with. Gonna be deep. Yeah, Straight good. ladder, it might be good, yeah. but Doug has to hop off. They're checking to see if it's even good. Uh, I was just gonna say, if you're gonna try and uh, finish it right now, no, I would walk doing? slow so he says overtime shortly. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I think that's, that's, that's a really tough climb right there. Yeah, 278 in the ground, all the way in there, guys. Well, that's old uh, school. That's old school. We're gonna finish this contest. We're here. You don't usually see a Mr. September doing that. Yep. <laughs> Heck, what you climb, Paul? Uh, you know, would you yeah. climb that? I was Mr. December. <laughs> It's shaping up for North America here. They, they can't run that heavy shot, but they, they can throw a mid-five up there. Fellas, we only have five fives right now. That's it. It's just that, that that's the contest today, right? It's kind of one of those one of those things. We've seen a lot of teams go under. I'm curious to see how it's going to look in the sea ladder. You know, we still have the Ice of Wolves coming down the track. We got, uh, you know, South Hempstead that could play a little bit with that top, those top five numbers. Obviously, the Wolves can play with the first place number. Yeah. Or Sabine Hager. But Hager it'll be interesting yeah. to see if... The, if, you know, the Wolves, we said, had an advantage running in the back. I haven't seen the track really improve. You still see a lot of these teams yeah, sliding. I don't think it's been in. I, listen, the teams that uh, that know how to run it, for the most part, have been running it correctly. Correct. All right, here, here come the stump jumpers, Paul Wilders. Chief Paul doing the driving. All right. Paulie leaves them. They go straight down. It's somewhat of a straight ladder. Nice job hey, on the climb That's there. fine for AJ. That's a nice little run for the All stump right. jumpers. Would have loved to that to see that out another two feet on Me the too. six foot mark. Merrick, five, nine, four, five, nine, outside. four. Just outside the top five. Hey, good, good effort though. Nice job there for some jumpers. AJ always a good player out there. Great kid. Though. Sucks. We said run a five, you get a point. They did, and they didn't. <laughs> The free board, <laughs> Red Devils! I felt like they could have got to the ground a little bit quicker, Paulie. Yeah, I didn't think he had a lot of momentum a at that point. Bit. He held it probably just a hair too much where they didn't get all that momentum. But then again, maybe they don't handle it, right, if he lets it go. Definitely thought that truck had a lot of speed coming down the track, and then he, uh, you know, like you said, held it. And, not, you know, just outside the top five of those North Merrick stump jumpers. Uh, Freeport Red Devils. Yeah, I love that logo. The Little Devils. <laughs> yeah, remember that? Yeah, old, the old Bayport Red Devil call by uh, Bill oh, Rouse. Scott Donnelly doing the driving here for the Red Devils. Adam Katz, as we all know, the, the former Tomcat doing the climb today. Russ, yeah. Russ Ortiz, uh, Russ Thorne for him. I hope he iced down his shin from three men. I was just going to say that, Paulie. Ooh, yeah. Right. That's gonna leave a mark. Good read. Here we go. Uh -huh. Ooh, holds the brake too long. They're two feet under. We've seen a lot of that today. It was almost like he was braking, and then he goes, "All right, I'm gonna brake even harder." Like I heard two brakes, right? Outside the safety zone, rule 1302. No time. That was like the shot they had in Hempstead a couple weeks ago. There, when he put him right through the arch. No good. So we have something interesting right here. Islip, I don't think they're on a breakdown. What I think happened, because they're next on the scorecard, right? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. we're having East Islip come to the, no, Selden. 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 So East Islip, I think what this is, is at the return road, at the start line, it's a very narrow area. And on the side of the road is a lot of mud. And I think everybody's out of sorts. Guzzlers! And no, no driver in their right mind is going to want to go oh. off road to pass somebody and into the mud. They said in the driver's meeting if that was going to happen, that the officials need to be lenient to let them come down as is. That was my next question right there. Like, how, like so you can be lenient with the order. Yeah, huh? well, based on what the situation is back right, there. Right, right, and I've seen this before, too. It happened in CI when we ran there. I may have been, I don't know if it was 12 or whatever year we ran there. And the back it's road back was there, so yeah. crowded. And I just parked right on the corner over there, too. Yeah. The 558 at the county for these guzzlers. Uh it's Selden. Yeah. Selden going to be deep. Another team. That, I thought it was, yeah, I, that, we've seen more teams go under than we have go into the pit, I think. Correction, please. Uh, that, was, that was Selden. 
Yes. Number 39, the yeah. Sheldon Slowpoke, no time. Rule 1302. Threw me Sheldon, off there. No time. You know, it's funny. They have that similar tall front end of the beach truck. I yeah. didn't really look closely to say there was the Slowpokes out there. But it begs the question, where are the Guzzlers? I guess the same deal, right? I know, yeah. I know that they have not practiced ladders in a couple weeks. Up the lights. Number four. Because of work schedule. Uh, so we, yeah, we, they did talk to us about that, and he said uh, there would be no B ladder today. But then we have different C ladder. Uh, to me, you just got to go out and run. So yeah. that, Norm going. Normally, you'd think it'd be the stay other way around. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, you yeah. run B ladder before you run C ladder. Right. If I want B ladder a couple times, I, I the tell first, you what, first shot of the county was. I've got Benny Kleiman on my team. Do I have two guys that can put it in the ground? One guy can throw it with what's up there right now. All he needs to do is run a 5.7. 5.90 five five right now. Five <laughs> what nine. is it? 5.90? Yeah. I can't that's, agree more, Rob. And, and listen, just, that, that's, just lengthen the break. Put it in the ground at three flat. The kid climbs at 2.7. You're scoring. Yep. 100%. They call me the Wanderer. The Wanderer is on the line right now. Pat Wickham, the climber. These guys hit 1982 with a mini pumper scored a point. That's the mini pumper the right stage. there. Just cut, down, cut down a ton and doesn't have the boots hanging off the side. <laughs> that was great. They had the, 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 the fire gear on it. The... Uh, the light bar on the, on the, on the yeah, roof? the light bar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So this is Ellesmere, the Wanderers. First time out this year for the uh, Wanderers. All right, here they go. Just outside the six. Climber is in, slowly making his way up to the top. And he finishes it. All right. Hey, hey. 302 in the ground. 302. They'll be happy with that one. Absolutely. Four, three. 43. For not running all year? Hey, not bad. Everything went right. And I think, I think that I think that solidifies Ellesmere as the Northern Champions this year. So, boys, here we go. The Hobos are looking to go to 10 points right now, unless these Isa Wolves can get ahead of that 506. They ran a 509 at the Hempstead Invitational just last week, two weeks ago, whatever it was. Here we go. Johnny. Yep. Yeah. What is? Josh Kaysen's best climb, do you know? I believe it is a 5.08. All right, Ooh. so he'd have to break his own personal best. Yeah, I believe that's a 5.08. I have that in group me somewhere. I love his conversation I've had with him. Those white shoes on Josh out there, they're really, really <laughs> sticking out at him. He definitely put some bleach on him, it looks like, like because... Really white shoes Johnson out there. <laughs> yeah, he is. He shined him up for today. He's hoping for a touchdown dance right. after this one. Here but, comes but, Watson. Uh, listen, the other thing, 523 is second. Can you go? You don't have to beat the 06 to keep pace. Yeah, you got to keep playing. You know what I mean? you got to keep playing. And then 66 is third. Yeah, that's right. Two fun diggers out here to watch. Taggart and Kennedy. Tommy G doing the throw. Here, come, here we go. All right. Well, Mikey Wellen rolls him out. Leaves him with some mo. Josh is in. Wow. Oh. Oh. I don't know if he's going to catch it, but boy, it's a nice looking run. I, I, is that playing with West Sable, maybe? I had 256 in the ground. Well, they were out. Out. Five point two six. Third place. Five twenty six. All right. So that's going to keep pace a little bit with the Hobos. Hobos looking to go to 10 unless there's some kind of miraculous occurrence in the next three teams. And that's going to keep the Ice of Wolves at eight. But I think about Ice of Day, two races in. Seven, I mean. Two races in and three yes. hundredths. I three know. hundredths it, of a uh, second. He's killing them. Let's say that one more time. Two races in for Ice Lip and three hundredths uh, of a second are killing them uh, right. from being right there on pace. They're on pace, but not like they could be. You can't blink in three hundredths of a they second. Lo they lost a point by a hundredth of a second and three men, and then they're going to lose another point by three one hundredths of a second, so four for the day, whatever. That's the same, I'll tell you what, that was an interesting there. ride from Mikey Weldon. I thought he didn't yeah. start the break to right at the 50. I agree. I, when he went into the break, I thought he was late. So what tells me is maybe the truck didn't get up to speed, but he left them Hard. Yep. As ho probably harder than anybody's been left today. Well, he obviously knows his truck, and he knew he yeah. had to do that because you're right. I was shocked when he went into the break, how late it was. I'm like, oh, my God, they're going to slide, and that truck just died. And they, they were out the furthest of any team that's put up a potential scoring shot today. Right. Here we go, Sal Hempstead. Yeah, Ryan Marty, you got a five in your Ryan. Tommy leaves him. They're right on a six. On, Ryan Mars in. Oh, oh he misses on that. I'll call it the bang. I didn't think it hit the arch that hard, but that was funny. still tough to climb through. I'm telling you, the rest of the day, he's having nightmares about that. He's yeah, waking up man. tomorrow and thinking about that run. Yeah. 
Not to get ahead of ourselves, but Please, boys. if that CI run holds on, that's six ladder contests in a row that the Hobos will have won, going back to two tournaments ago. That's pretty impressive. That really is. Yeah, you're right. Look at that five, one, two, three, four, five C ladders in a row and a B ladder from last week. So really six in a row, right? It's if you go back seven, to, yeah. yeah, if you go back to a tournament, that'll be eight, eight out of ten. I mean, that's, <laughs> I think yeah. I'm taking five points in. That's impressive. <laughs> and, then, and then, you know, the other thing with the Hobos that we're going to look at, we're just looking at an all-time great potential stat line, 620s or slash line, as you guys called it on the Happy Hour show, 624, like 506, and who knows what's going to happen in c of the way they've been running it. How about Miller Place? Two teams to go. Has the potential to score in this Good new drill, point. 577. Good point. 577, and who's got that 577? Miller Place. That's Try. what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Right? But no guarantee with Oyster Bay no. and Hagerman. The Teddy on the line right here. Yep. The Teddy Boys have beaten that number, that 577 number twice. 560, their best. Only five short years away from winning this contest at the 2018 State, which was right here. Leaves him there in a nice spot. Oh, he gets oh. bottled up at the bottom of the ladder. His feet got kind of caught up on the mounting rung. What a oh, drop. Two. That was a nice drop. I tell you what, guys, 263 in the ground. Yep. That, that's a nice number. Perfect spot, too. Nice number. You know, there's a perfect example. If you think the diggers are just there to throw it in the ground, the digger rolls away. Wow. The Hageman Gamblers. The digger rolls away, and they lose momentum on that ladder because he doesn't have his hand on it to help bring it towards the arch. I thought Billy Murphy did a great job. That, was, that was a best spot. Great job. Two six in the ground with a lot of ball. Didn't get it done. Miller plays one run away, and it's a big one. Hageman can put it up there. But one run away from bringing number what to score? 94, 95 ever in the state drill? What number is uh, Miller Place going to be? 95 they'll be. 94 teams have Twan, scored. Twan's doing his grocery list for the weekend, I think. Yeah, I think it's 95 there, Paul. I think this, you're right. They'll be number 95 if... Opening the fire right now, boys, because I uh, don't remember if it's 94 or 95. It is. It's whatever you say it is. It's whatever I say it is, right? I know. You Just for the listeners at home. 92 if you want. Yeah, 94, <laughs> 94 teams have scored in a state drill. We're looking to go to 95. Miller Place could be the 95th team ever to score in a state drill. Depends on this shot right here. Johnny leads him. They take an extra step. That ladder wobbles. Oh, the climb was doing a nice job to the ladder. It walked on him. Miller Place got to hang out and get that point. And they finally grab that point. Congrats to Miller Place grabbing a point there. Their first points ever in a New York State Championship drill. That's an accomplishment for any team. Scored them on the big day, build upon it from there. They've been close. They've had six place finishes in contest over the past couple of years. So congrats out to Miller Place right there. Like you said earlier, what a nice job of driving by Mike Mara. Let's put our shot up, 523, they ran up front. Come get it, and six around for four points. That's a smart bit of racing by those West Ava Flying Dutchmen. Get on the board. You cannot go down double digits to the Hobos. They're down six. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a lead they have to take yeah, over. This, right, this isn't something back, right? we haven't seen all year. These two teams are already in a little bit of a slugfest. Right now, you got to say that CI's got the advantage. They're throwing a little bit more jabs, maybe a little southpaw shot to the chin. But Islip standing up tall, and... Wes Sabo sitting in the corner waiting their turn. And could, could you arguably say CI is going into their best contest, too? Yep. <laughs> yeah. They've only broken the record twice this year. Twice. <laughs> no, well, there's not too many records that are breakable. Hey, and uh, Mr. Excitement Copig, Chris Brandt gets a couple of points. All right, so we're going to wait for the official word from Chris Perry, and then we'll uh, throw it back down to pay some bills. Guys, while we're waiting, I uh, just wanted to throw out our tip jar. Everybody who's watching at home, uh, first of all, sorry about the audio. That was me. I'll take that one. I apologize, everyone. We switched over from the uh, ads. We lost audio for a few minutes there. Really sorry. Um, so, hey, give me money. <laughs> uh, no, no. Uh, if you want to help us out as we continue to try to improve this, uh, hit us in the tip jar. That's uh, on Venmo, NYS FD Drill Teams. Matt, give them to him one more time. Move the equipment. 5.06, number 11, Central Iceland. Second place, four points, number six, West Sayville. Third place, three points, number 37, Iceland. Fourth place, two points, number nine, Copig. Fifth place, one point, number 18, Miller Place. All right, so there we go. Nice, nice looking start to this day here. Ten for, uh, ten for the hobos, seven for the wolves. And uh, 
Go ahead. Sorry, cut you off. Four for West Sable. And it's the first 10 out of 10 performance that we have seen in a state drill since 2007 when the West Sable Flying Dutchman went 10 and out of 10. They also would go 15 on the table. Now, that's really what's on the doorstep. Can he go 15 out of 15? We're talking Warren Horse. We're talking Chucky e. Doyle. We're talking Michael Mara. Can he do it? We'll be back with some C-Ladder. Live on top of the Ocean 2023 New York State Championship yeah. Drill. We'll be back. All right, everybody. I'm here with uh, Billy Miller from the State of Hobos. Who oh, yeah. We have this. We're not. Don't go anywhere yet. <laughs> I forgot about the interview. We have this. Or one. Not a one. So, what do you base that on? Is it confidence? Is it preparation? I did not know that. This would be cool. We practice every Monday and Wednesday hard. Uh, we got a, a veteran driver hit at time. We got veteran on the back. But, uh, you know, I, I thought Kenny drove a superb. That was going to be my next question. At the veteran driver, Danny Jackson, come to this track. There's a lot of worry about how the track's going to stop. What is Danny Jackson what he does mean to that team. A lot of times we talk about the four guys on the back and they forget about the driver. In this case, you just said it out. It's easy because I think last time I was, we were here, I drove and we almost went under the dark. Danny, he is a uh, big part of our team. We're, we're real happy to have him back. I really studied the uh, video the other night of the just to run and uh, we, we had a plan. And uh, it's nice when the plan comes together. I thank you, Billy. Okay, people, there you have it. That was the B ladder contest. Come back for the C ladder contest. Commercials coming up. instantaneous on-scene electronic personnel accountability system used by FDNY, New Rochelle, Eastchester, and many other fire departments nationwide is now available from Systems Definition Incorporated or your local Motorola dealer. SDI is a well-known software application developer for FDNY and is the company behind this game-changing patented technology. SDI has paired with New York fire departments, including Central Islip, to solve the challenge for accounting for members who respond after the tones go off. And new this year, SDI has integrated SCBA data from your Scott SCBA systems. This new capability will further improve fire ground safety by providing pass alarm and air remaining directly to the command post in an easy to view format. Track your members and organize your fire ground activities with a proven solution designed with the New York State Volunteer Fire Department in mind. For more information, visit systemsdefinition.com. With over 30 years of service in the fire industry, High Tech Fire and Safety is proud to be the longest running sponsor of the New York State Fire Department Drill Team's live broadcast. High Tech has been honored to serve as master distributor for Morning Pride products, including state-of-the-art bumper gear, USAR gear, EMS gear, helmets, gloves, hoods, and boots. In addition to Morning Pride gear by Honeywell, High Tech also provides quality products, including Genesis extrication equipment, CMC rescue products, and Mercedes hose, providing your fire department with the highest level of support and service for all your personal protection equipment needs. For a personalized demo or to speak to a certified sales specialist, call 631-777-5170 or visit HighTechFireNY.com. Carabas in Central Islip is now owned by a member of the New York State Fire Department Drill Team's family. Billy Etzel Jr. has spent his summers on and around the track for his entire life helping to bring you the Wildcat Survivor Pool at the New York State Drill each August. This summer, Billy welcomes fans and firefighters alike to take a break from the grill and stop by Carabas for some of their new summer flavors and recipes. Carabas is also a great choice for catering your next big fire department event, serving big portions of hand-prepared Italian specialties at reasonable prices. Email William Edsel at Carabas.com for info on catering or plan a night out.
H2M Architects and Engineers is a full-service consulting and design firm with a dedicated team that has over 200 years of combined experience serving the emergency services industry. No one understands the needs of first responders better than fellow service members, and H2M is proud to count several of their own staff among them. Whether it's a rehabilitation project or new construction, each design considers the responders' workflow, enabling safer operations and faster response times when it matters most. H2M is proud of their long history of client service and consistent ability to meet architectural, engineering, and environmental challenges head-on while offering a practical approach with creative results. Remember, quality response deserves quality design. For more information, please visit www.h2m.com. Fire Rescue Systems has been in the fire industry for over 20 years and is proud to show their support for New York State Fire Department drill teams. Serving the NY area with a complete software solution for emergency service entities, FRS software is efficient and easy to use, making it ideal for emergency situations. With a wide array of fine-tuned and tested modules, FRS provides a modular-based system to fit every department's needs, regardless of size. For more information, please visit www.firerescuesystems.com or call 631-234-1304. Attention firefighters, want to see the latest in thermal imaging? Contact your local MES sales representative to arrange a live demonstration of the Seek Attack Pro. Gonna have some Polish sausages over there later on with these guys. Uh, how about the Polish beer? He's got oh, a couple of cases. Oh, that Polish beer! I'll definitely cases. have one of those. What's that called? Polacek or something? Yeah, they. Uh, I gotta tell you, they gave me a nice uh, little Yeti tumbler there with the Riverhead Iron Man on the side. Thanks so much, Arjeni, for that. You're like a grifter. You walk around the fairgrounds. No, and no, people just give you things. No, no, that's the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, so we are back. We are live on top of the arch, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that audio issue at the beginning of B-Ladder. I'm told that the call for the CI Hobos is gone forever. We nailed it, too. So boys. we're going to reenact it. It's probably the best call <laughs> It was pretty much the best call in the history of sports. Like, move over Jim Nance and, uh, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Al Michaels. It's yeah, a, the yeah, miracle. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't yeah. even compare. Yeah, Deardorff, you could take a hike. Like, we nailed that <laughs> call. <laughs> and I, yeah, I know. That's the third name I thought <laughs> of out of, every, out of every great broadcast. <laughs> and then you went Dan Deardorff. <laughs> Frank and Alan Dan. It's a song. Wow. It's, a, it's a Monday Night Football song, you know. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. You were reaching on that one, Juan. Dan. Reaching for. Dan, Dan Deardorff. 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 Billy, you're kind of like Dan Deardorff of the crew. <laughs> right? The Deardorff family just went through the roof like, oh, yes, it's relevant. He's still we relevant. We got a shout out. All right, Dan Deardorff, eat your heart out. Here we go. See ya. Wow, truck's running nice. Yeah. He got squirrely at the end and then kind of parked it. It's going to be a tough climb there for Kyle. It wasn't as squirrely as the hamster. The, there. <laughs> the hamster was a lot squirrelier than that. Yeah, it was. <laughs> All right, Kyle finishes it up, and uh, there we go. Head. 1-1.5-7. So can we say that Marco Jenny's going to age out? What? <laughs> is he going to age out like the juniors? Yeah, he did. <laughs> I don't know what his next quest is. No. Hybrid. Ended. He can hold the cart in hybrid. All right, here's Farmerville. This truck really fast as usual. I tell you, it's. let's see how these things run today. That yep. thing looked like it was running pretty well. 60-something yeah. to the cone. I mean, I think they're probably a little slower than that normally. You don't have the cone time I, I, I written in your book? I very well there. I mean, you don't I, have every cone time written in that book? No. What I, the hell I, are you doing all day? Not a thing. I should start writing those down. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. You know, we did the backpack last year. That does not exist anymore. That rule has been taken off. I kind of wish it still existed, yeah, to be too. honest with you, man, because that anticipation leading up towards it is always there at this point. But rather, we have the opposite this year, we have, we where have. they went back to luck of the draw, and we have most of the big teams. Up front. Right up front. But and what so we should do is don't go anywhere. Let's send out a poll. Can we yeah. do a poll on this yeah, thing? I know. Do you like the go. backpack or the fanny pack? It's Farmanville. Boy, they had to leap to get into the pit. 
Oh, just catch themselves inside on that ladder. Well, oh, I think they should have. They lunged, but they actually ended up five feet inside the yellow. Oh, they, they, uh, yeah, if they went straight down, it would have been interesting, but they definitely were farming bill. One, one, three, eight. One, eight. Three, eight. Fifty-five to the cone, which you know, I don't know if that's right. But they're usually maybe a little quicker. Now Point Pleasant's a team that's got to get their day started right here. That's it. They had big money counted in their heads on on B ladder, but listen, they can do things in other races this year. Maybe they haven't done in the past, so they can catch up to that. Their C hose, their B hose, and their pump. Yes, have been better I, than it's been in the past. B ladder is probably their bread and, bread and butter, though. That's definitely. Uh, Tough one to come back from. Yeah, we saw yeah. that 909. Alpha Pound, they're definitely one of the best out there in it. Just didn't bring it today, unfortunately. We saw that 909. They ran at the Central Isle Pin, but that was good for three points there. And that was a nice looking shot. P Pickers, after that 494 on B Ladder in 2019, they have not taken any more B Ladder points since that drill. C Ladder, 894 that day in 2019. And again, have not scored in ladders since that drill. They need to put it together right now if they have those dreams for the top five. And I hope they do it. This team is good, and they have the ability to do so. All right, approaching the cones. Leaves him with some momentum. Mike's in. He's got a great climb going. Oh, he slips halfway up. Oh, my goodness. What I'll tell job. you what, guys. One what of the big job. times we talk about, 618 in the ground. That's a great number. Another number we talk about is transition. Cone to dig. I'll hold all that. For Fine. Four. What time? 984. Transition, guys. Normally three flat is great. They were 285. That's an incredible number. How was that? No, a nine? no, the incredible number is he ran a nine. Oh, 84. And he stopped. He had a full slip. And it's a 984. 984. Yeah, that would have been. Wow. Uh, That'd have been right there with the record. Super heavy. I've six seen Billy eight. slip and he got a, like a 12. <laughs> you had 618 in the ground? That's old school. Dude, that's flying. That's old school. That's, well, the I, B, I, thought the, I thought the B times in the ground were very fast. What do you today. think? 2 4 after that? 2 5? That, that puts you right at Listen, 8 6. Bob Catone could have not have dropped that better. That no. was just a sweet. What was the cone time on that? What's yeah. the cone time on we that? were talking. We missed it. What? 56? 56 and, cone and time. And not even so crazy. Right in the neighborhood. Yeah. All right, West Sable, we're going right at it here, boys. Yeah, fanny pack is Another on Another big you shot. Know, that's it. This Send is... us a message. Did you like the backpack or do you like the fanny pack? Right. <laughs> West Sable, four points out of B ladder. Missing three-man ladder. They're down six to the Hobos. Have not run an eight in this contest yet this year, but they have three nine O's. This is a big shot for these West Sable Flying Dutch. Yes. If they have dreams. They want to stay in, in that it. Cup. All right, approaching the cones. Let's go with some momentum. You got to lay him in. Nice looking run. About second half of the ladder climb. I don't know. Maybe he lost a little momentum, but overall, mm. decent shot. I think when the ladder hit the arch, he braced himself, had to Nine hold off for of that. Nine. Two. Zero. Nine. Twenty. All right. Three fifty. Not a bad shot right there for Billy. It's, it's, gonna, it's gonna play. Perfect to the cone, 350. I thought Michael dropped them pretty good with the momentum there. It's just that little, not, it wasn't even a hesitation. It was like the little momentum ended on the second half of the climb. <laughs> just before he was going for the grab, you could see it was a little, yep. just a little slow step in there. Now we're saying that there's not too many people that can beat a 920. <laughs> and then they would all have to do it. But the two teams that can beat it are the two teams in front of you. That poses an issue when we see him. Yeah, exactly right. You know, Rob, I agree with your call. I thought he braced himself a little bit going for that top. You know, definitely the first three steps look good. But listen, they completed the number. Like you said, 9-2 is going to play. Getting back to the whole fanny pack argument, you know, what we're saying to the listeners at home, and, you know, Chris Murphy in the truck told us we have about 1,200 viewers right now. Last year, all of the teams that, that are in the top eight of the state or the top ten, whatever the number was, they ran in the back of the pack by design. Right, that, that's how they did the drawing with those teams running. Yeah, the better the teams in the state half. got picked on the bottom half right. of the scorecard after post entries. And the traditionalist racer might be like, eh, I like random. But for the viewership at home, there was nothing better than knowing, like right now we'd be building that anticipation towards it, seeing which teams in the front could break that. Anyway, right, Westbury coming down. All right, approaching the patch. Nice drop by Mike Athenas. Climber was, he was working hard trying to make it up there and just uh, got caught up in the middle of the ladder. 
It was almost like he had himself going left and right, and he was trying to stabilize himself until it just couldn't hold on anymore. And in. 3.52 for the Cove. That thing was moving hey. too. Hey. Like onions. These, these, so, truck, these trucks are running today, well, I'm man. I'm trying to see where the wind is, too. I can't really tell, but maybe the wind down on the track is going behind them. Behind us, it's like going in your face, you know? I mean, if you're driving. Yeah, the flag at the base of the track here is, is not even moving, but we're getting plenty maybe of wind up here. Yeah, there might be not any on the track. I know when I go down, there's none right here. Now look at the flag on the uh, official there. It's blown. Blowing pretty hard right back here. Yeah, right at you, right? Yeah, right at the uh, driver. So that's taking a little bit off your uh, cone time there as well. Well, this truck's got a little uh, dynamic. He's got the F1 uh, scoop on the front. Uh, yeah, he should be fine. Yeah. A little more downforce when they come in there for the break. Spencer Port has put it in the 9.5s this year. No points on the day yet. Bunch of letters on their scorecard. Not something that they were obviously... I mean, no team's looking to do that today, but when you're the Red Onions, you need these points out of ladders especially with Josh Marshall as your climber. So hopefully they get put in the patch in the right spot and they could gain some points right here in this contest. Yeah, they came down to Long Island for the Joe Hunter. That was nice to see. 9.56, we said that yep. tournament. That was good. Good job by those guys. Yep. Here we go. 9-2, 9-8, top two times here. This is one of the quieter trucks out there. All right, Spencer Port through the cones. Nice drop, a little extra step by the There it is. Hey, that's on, a baby. nice looking climb right there. And that's the Josh Marshall that we know. He ate that ladder up. Dig to grab, what do you got? Did that ladder hit the ground, bounce, bounce off and come back in uh, on the top? That's pretty funny, watch this. Yeah. Does it take away a point from the Dutchman? Are we in that? I'm Ooh. Nine. In one it wow. One. Monkey wrench Nine. shot. Huge, and I think I wrote eight. 48 on the cone. 48 to the cone, so a 14. I think in the pre in the pre happy hour show. Nine. Goldberg. We said that they could be a spoiler. That truck is deceivingly it's fast. Spoil they were just doing. I, I didn't see that thing over that fast. Boy, listen, that thing was moving. Listen, who knows how this contest is going to go? That could very well come out to be the first place shot. We don't know yet. There's a lot of heavy hitters coming up. But at the very least, what that does, it Woo. takes a point away from the Flying Dutchman. At least one. Right, so that puts them in first place, and for the Spencer Port Red Onions, they're looking to place in C ladder for the first time, it looks like since. Okay, here comes Kobeg. Chris Brand out there. All right, Kobeg. Three best of the year. Takes it right to the cones. Does a nice job, puts him in a good spot. Chris Brand's got a good climb. Going. Yeah, all right, nice Man. job, Chris Brand. He gets there with no momentum again. He's unbelievable. But that's twice he's had, not had a straight ladder today. He's never had that in his career. Nine. 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 The Copeg Yellowbirds ran their second best B ladder shot and their best C ladder shot of the year. Back to back shots here today. All right, guys, let me chime in real quick with the update on our St. James Wildcat Survivor Pool. We started with 328 entries. After B Ladder, we're down to 61. We lost 95 people had Point Pleasant picked to score in B Ladder. Another 40 had North Belmore to score. So you lost 135 more. 61 entries left. Who's going to take it? Yeah, I had, I had North Belmore. So did I. Interesting B ladder day, you know, Copac grabbing two, Miller Place grabbing their first points ever in a state drill. You know, I wonder how many people had, Oops, had those teams up. on there, right? And then, you know, you think how many people used. All right, goes Bay Show. Disregard. Leaves him with some momentum. CJ, a little bit of a pause at the bottom. Yeah, it just doesn't mount that ladder, but when he gets on it, he starts to move. Pulled out a couple feet before the yellow there, huh, Paul? Time for Bayshore, 9.95, 9.95, 364. All right, here's the shot, people, right here. All the talk is about this next shot. So is the audio working? <laughs> Get away from the refrigerator. Get away from the ice blast. Oh. 
in front of your TV, and let's take a look at this shot right here. We are witnessing the birth of Richie Arnett. When I say that, I mean the state tournament emergence. Like, he's emerged all season long, but he's showing today that he has the ability to do it at the state drill. 624, 506, the first 10 out of 10 performance since 2007 when the Flying Dutchman did it. We haven't had a clean sweep in ladders since the Flying Dutchman did and, it. We're playing with history here. And what have you done for me lately? Well, I've scored in six straight ladder contests and broke two state records in this one. <laughs> love it. I love it. Let's four eight four eight sixes out of his Richie, last five Richie shots. Richie Arnett right now <laughs> has a chance to play with the Immortals. Here Chuck, we go. Chucky Doyle And he's such a good it. guy, you can't even dislike him if you wanted to. Chucky Doyle, 15 <laughs> out of 15 twice. Not Mikey like Mara, Mikey Mara's done it twice. <laughs> Warren Horse has done it once. Danny Jackson, here we go. Watch Takes how he away. drives this. All right, bringing him down. Gives that quick little pop break. Leaves him, it's going to be a nice staircase. Oh, he's going. Oh, 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 no, he can that's a grab in my head. Give it. it to him. Guys, he didn't hold on. Listen to me. You don't have to hold on. All you need is a little bit of extension of your arm when you're going I down. I don't know, guys. No. 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 In a grasp. No way. Shades of, shades of Josh no Marshall. No way. Right. I'm telling you right now, in my opinion, he held it long enough. It looked like his arm Agreed. extended I agree, on Paul. the way down. Paulie, let's see. Let's see what it had in the truck. I'm going to get it. Oh, I, I thought he had the fingers on it. I don't care. All you need is one finger. Show me the replay. Boys in the truck, get me a replay. Uh, what? Get me a replay. Go ahead. Let it play. I don't That's have a it. grab! That's a grab! I'm sorry. Look at that replay. His hand extended when it goes pulled down. I'm sorry, it's a grab. In my opinion, that's a grab. He got robbed. That's my opinion. He got robbed. What was the time in the truck? <laughs> All right. In the meantime, we got North Lindenhurst on the line. I'm sorry, maybe I'm a little biased. I've done it in 05 in State Drill and Three Man Ladder. I would say that day I missed. Fine, give it to me. That was a grab. All right, we're going to continue racing as we go here. And here comes North Lindenhurst. Big shot for North Lindenhurst right here to stay in the game. We know they can run all the hoses in the world, but they got to yeah. get some points here. 921 last week at Hempstead. Yeah, crucial went. shot right here for North Lindenhurst. All right, Scotty Rice bringing him in. Right to the cones. Just outside the six. Duck go ahead, Ducky. Remind oh, everybody Ducky. who Ducky nice Fowler shot. is, will you? Let's remind everyone who Ducky Fowler is. Nice shot for the day. That could be the first eight of the day. Nine for North Lindenhurst. Nine point zero two. I don't two for Ducky. I think I think it's an eight. So he got he went from the eights to the nines with the penalty. Their fastest shot of the year from the North Lindenhurst Piston Knockers now. Now, the total, this, now. Is, this whole thing's in a tizzy right now. Now, I, this, I mean, you talk about wanting it to be in the backpack. We're getting it all right now at the beginning of this contest. You're looking potentially now at North Lindy. If that holds up for five, they're going to gain hold five them, on those centralized up. hobos. But I'm curious. Hold them up on the line, please. Hold it, them up. What, what's going on right now? Is there any discussion about that grab? It's a judgment call. I don't think you can go back and change it if you oh, wanted to. Oh, my God. I was thinking that's, that was like Josh Marshall here last time where you, uh, was it? 18. They said he had the same sort okay. of grab. And then Are any of you going to disagree with me? I, I, I am not disagreeing with you. He tried. I, I thought he, he, he had sold it better. The way he came off, I don't, it, he put his head down. But he didn't. I thought if he sold it, I think you might have sold, you could no, have bought it. I, thought, has, his body, I thought his body hung down and he still had the rung on. You're that's correct. Baloney. That's, a, that's correct. Did it for us main transit. You, you shouldn't go, sell it. Sell it. Listen, it, he's, sell, he's doing that because it's questionable. Yeah, right. That doesn't mean he missed. Right. Like you put all your ounce of effort. Every day you're out here climbing and climbing and you're eating and you're dieting. You're making sure you don't have that dessert because you can run a five point. He's not dieting yet, Tuan. He's 20. He's 20. You were dieting because you were you're 30. Gonna, you're going to take away a 15 out of 15 point day? BS. Bad call. I don't like it. He grabbed it. His arm got extended on the way down. That's a grab. Tell me I'm wrong. You can tell me I'm wrong. It's fine. I, listen, I'm not yelling at you. I'm passionate about this game. I'm in the truck right now. I, I, it's a grab. 
It, thank you. I, I, How is that I, not I a grab? Agree. His arm got extended. He's grabbing it. I don't care if you grab it with one finger or two fingers. He, I thought he had three of them on. It doesn't matter. Grab it. I grabbed it with a pinky one time. And I looked at him. I said, don't you shake that flag. And he didn't because he knew it was a grab. I had my pinky around it. You can record me all you want, Noonan. I don't know what you're doing right there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we should record you. I'm checking my text messages. Is that okay? Don't throw them off the arch. You're going to take away a 15 out of 15 point day on this call like that. I know it's judgment, and I'll try to calm down a little bit, but I'm sorry. For all ladder climbers out there that are listening right now, you know what that feels like. All right. What, what's not Foley? What are we holding up on? Start line? All right. We got an issue with the start line, Thank so they're working on it. Up to the light. All right, I'm going to try to recompose myself here. Because what that does now for that drill, on that call, you have the piston knockers potentially are going to gain five full points on those hobos. Going, and the piston knockers are going to be going into that big hose contest. That's going to be huge. Now, you're also going to have Wes Sable potentially creep a little bit closer. They're sitting in third, looking to go to seven. And this is shaping up for the Ice of Wolves now to also gain it. So look, as far as the overall show goes, yeah, it's going to be better. It's going to be closer. It's definitely going to give us something to look forward to during hose. But for the fan in me, who's a fan of that kid, Richie Arnett, I feel terrible for him because that was a grab. And do we have the number in the truck yet? No. We've seen failed grasp and holes at the state drill. Like I said, three-man ladder row five, I've done it. Michael Mara did it in the 98 state. In B ladder, it was 481 in the timing truck. I don't know if a lot of people remember that. It's a state record 481. He lost it on the fail to grasp and hold. They happen. It's part of the game. All right, but here's a team that's run ladder, missed in B ladder, so they need right, this North one Belmore. here in North Belmore. Right to the cones. He better get on those brakes. Has to hold drop. it a little bit, but Joe Cox Go ahead, Joey. What a drop. Oh, oh nice what shot. There you drop. go, North Belmore. What are they in the ground, Rob? I missed it, Twani. It's a little tough to see the light. The light kind of moved on us. Time for North Belmore. 9.19. Sneaks just past West Sable, too. We have a nice sea ladder contest going right now. That just, like you said, it takes West Sable down another point. It does put North Belmore now in position. If they want to start playing at the end of the day, that's a third place shot right now, right? Hampson, what does that make fifth place right now? Yeah, so let's see. We got 902 piston knockers, 916 Red 23 Copic, 919 Rinky Dinks, 920 West Sable, and then like you just said, nine. Wait, what? 923 Copic. Nine tw thank you. Yeah, so 23 Copic. is an, is our lucky dog right now. Yeah, that's a good sea ladder day right there. Good state tournament sea ladder. But again, it's the front of the pack. It's the fanny pack. We want this at the end of the contest, in my opinion. 919. No, we can't get that one. All right, listen, now we got it. You know, what are we going to do during the, the second half? Gonna, we got West Hempstead here, though. It. We're going to take a breath. Oh, my goodness. Now, you can't protest that. I'm sorry. They're not going to win a protest, unfortunately. I, I'm curious to see how that part of the sh story is going to go. Because we protested in 05. We called the Grievance Committee in 05, and nothing happened. It's a failed to grasp and hold. Here comes West Hempstead. Another good team coming up. All right, West Hempstead. And he leaves him there right on his sixth. Nice got, shot, got sucked in a little bit, but a nice Another climb. Good in. shot. Sea ladder is back. <laughs> Was it ever gone? Wow, <laughs> that's a nice shot. Let's see what West Hempstead's got. Are we got to do the game here. Time Come on. West Hempstead. Nine point four zero. Nine forty. What did they run this year, Billy? Is that their best? Yeah, that, that is, best shot right that there, is yeah. uh, 14 hundredths of a second faster than their best of 954. So a new personal best for Daniel Brome. It's not going to take points here today. That's just a sign of a good sea ladder day. Good shot, though. Yeah. But, the, but those Westerners, man, they keep getting better. A decent stat day for them so far. 657 for three, and then they ran a five and a nine. Right back to back, the nine being better than their five, which is a 590. But a decent showing there by these young West Hempstead Westerners in the ladder contest here today. Only three points to show for it, but nonetheless a good smooth day, and uh, those guys are trending in the right direction. We're going to transfer over now to the Lindenhurst Snails. No points on the day. you got a lot of hobos starting to make their way up here. So obviously I'm seeing a protest being put in. The, the hobos are going to play the game within the game. They're going to protest it. you got to protest it. The tough part. I'll get to that in a moment. 
All right, Lindenhurst approaching the patch. Oh, he leaves him with some oh, momentum. Yeah. Diggers take that extra step. Ryan Kinley's really working hard. Oh, yeah. Wow, he yeah. had both hands off the ladder at one point when he went for his grab, and he grabbed the beam with his left hand. Oof. So, guys, let's talk, let's talk about the potential. Juan, read your text, bro. I want you to read your text. One zero point six I have a lot of text up here. Me too. Yeah, I'm just, I can't even catch up right All now. All this excitement is uh, blowing us apart here. All right, Miller Place, they just scored their first ever state tournament point with a 577. It'd be loud. Let's see what they can do here in the sea ladder contest. So, okay. So, the hobos are going to try to protest this, right, Rob? So now what? it's a judgment call. They have to hope that there was some kind of a disagreement, I guess, on who made the call, what proof do you have, and are they going to make it so that the person who made the call is going to rescind it? I mean, that's really what it's going to come I, down how to. Do you yeah. How do you rescind I don't, it? I know. That's the tough part here. Yeah, Ralph Frail texted and You can't go miss. back and undo it. Ralph Frail texted me. You know, the rules committee <laughs> took it away. I didn't miss. How does someone make a call from the 25-foot <laughs> line and not from the top of the arch? Ralph, great point. I love you, man, um, I, but, but I do have to admit that was a, a failed aggressment hold that day. I know you probably okay. disagree with me. It was. I yeah. bounced right off the damn thing. It sucked. Richie Arnett I, grabbed that run. I agree. Miller Place and Light. It goes Rick Batchelor driving this thing in. It's been running nice. It's a new rear end put in it. All right. Let's him go. They're inside the six. Nice job here, Chris. Oh, oh. as he goes for his grab, he foot slips out. Oh, tough, tough shot there for Miller Place after getting their first point in the state drill and B ladder. Time for Miller Place. One zero point two zero ten twenty. Some of my, some of the text messages that I'm getting, and it said, and this is what you said, Rob. It didn't help. He didn't help himself with putting his head down. Listen, I didn't have the angle to see it specifically, but how he reacted led me to make the call that I made that he didn't get it. That's not how it's supposed to be. That's not how it works. But, but my call isn't the one that stands. Well, I'm yeah, well, saying, that's what's going to be. My, no, no, my call doesn't mean anything. I'm not getting mad at you, but I'm, you're bringing to light what possibly could have happened by a human being making that call. Well, that's it's definitely... I, that call could have gone either way, and they chose to make it that way. That's how I'm seeing it. I now, just, CIs walked away. They're not going to protest. They... they you can't. They just I mean, talked to the guys on the it? arch, and it's a judgment call at the end of the day. How you, you, that's, you're not overturning that, if you ask me. If, if, if Josh Marshall didn't count years exactly, ago. Exactly, exactly. It's just right. so Josh, hard right. to Josh see. Right, Josh Marshall had the deal. Yeah. Right. It's hey. so hard to see. All right. so Did we get a time? See it happen. Uh, I'm still waiting well, to get one. You're still waiting. Okay. Right. Okay. right now, it's gone. The time is not even there. So here's a question. We have thousands of dollars of video equipment. Maybe it's time for a little instant replay. Oh, boy. Here we go. Paul Washington. <laughs> Why is way it down there? Oh, comes to a complete stop just outside the six. Ladder goes left just a little bit. Ah, too bad. I know I'm looking ahead, but boy, that ice up shot right now is going to be huge. Why? Why? So, oh boy! Why is that such a bad idea? How's this for karma? For Washington, one one point zero one, eleven zero one. We have, we have video replay in every other sport. Football, obviously. Baseball, they're not going to have umpires in another 10 years. All right. Years. Hey, hey, how is this for Carver? Right, number 30. Come on, Chris. So two times ago we were here at Deerfield. Newhoff misses. Misses. Flat out misses. Should have been. It wasn't competitive. Right. They get a rerun. He comes in. Blow, for, I don't know why he even got a rerun, but right. he blows it out of the water. They run away. Take the tournament. It's, it's over before efficiency is over. Guys, uh, I'm racing down gods, the truck. Uh, Hold on, Chris. And the racing gods give, they take away. Go ahead, Chris. Sorry, I just I just wanted to, you know, give a little bit of background color there. So hobos were looking into maybe throwing a protest, but the three officials on the arch all said that they made the call. So right. that's it. Nothing you can do at that point. That's their, that's, and in the end, the rule book says the officials on the arch and the safety line will confirm that the, uh, the failure to grasp and hold. And if those three guys in the arch are all unanimous that this is how it went, that's it. So what are you going to do? I, I, I feel like that was a real, real tough one to call, but so be it. I mean, fair enough. And I appreciate you saying that, Chris. You know, it's got to be tough for you to admit that. But, you know, and those are the rules. Fair enough. I agree. All right, but, but this, this isn't the first time we've had this argument, and it's got to continue. You know, it's, That's, it's such a judgment call, and it, but the fact that it's making such an impact on the tournament is unbelievable. All right, call place. 
approaching a patch. Gonna be a little deep. Has to come to a complete stop. It's gonna be a fully straight ladder. Tough one to climb. Uh, and does he grab there? I, I turned away. So. I don't think he did. Uh, now they give that no time. I, I think they're gonna say no. And that's impressive. <laughs> hold there. You know what? You know. Uh, yeah. yeah, they're giving it a red flag, guys. Yeah. I'm not gonna yell and scream about that one because it was a 12:50 anyway. <laughs> 1250 anyway. Well, they didn't give him no time. There'd be a lot of screaming from some other people. I am just curious, guys. Oh, that would be great. At, at what point do we start to consider some kind of video replay but, but on judgment this? call? All right, so I'm going to say this. Let's say we took that to the videotape and we have videotape to make the call. Yeah. I think you're going to get a 50-50 split. It is, it isn't, because there's no concrete that, but thing you know to what? holding on but to But you know thing. what, then? Then fine then that's it. At least you know you had the chance. My opinion, it would have been a unanimous reversal. His arm extended. I you see he it on the video. From it. He was hanging from it. I agree. How long did he hang from it? it I don't know, but he was hanging it from it. It doesn't matter. There's no time limit to it. You, uh, you can prove there's a grab because his elbow extended on his way down. Yeah, he was on his way down. Well, nonetheless... Is there any other call that has been more dramatic in state drills than that one right there? I, think about it. In all the years. I, I can think of maybe. Hold on. After the shot, I have an idea. All right. Here come the slow pokes. Come in the break. They're in. Climb a little bit of a hesitation towards the bottom. <clears throat> you, you know what, Paulie? I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's the Josh Marshall one because it was, it was it was close. But Mikey Marin, West Table Flying Dutchman, 98. Right. I was going to say 98. Clayton. Yeah. One one point nine eight eleven ninety eight. I'll tell you what. That day, I remember Mike. Mike basically admitted it. I saw him on the bottom of the track. Like, wait, no, are you sure? Yeah, okay, good. And he walked off because he knew he was a failed aggressor. Or maybe it's the old five yellow hornet shot. It even, might be me. It might be uh, the yellow hornet shot. I'm not saying which individual shot. I'm okay. saying that call, which is grasp and hold. Yeah. Is there any other call in racing that's had a bigger impact on outcomes in state drills ever? I don't think so. I mean, your hose goes under the number. You're, that's you know, it's well, cut yeah. and dry. It's like it's like getting off the truck and motor pump early. Everything like, else, is right. Right. everything else is electronic or your bucket. Is, well, Twan brings up a good up. point. It's like getting off and motor pump early. It's like, how early oh, was it? Where how was it? How about, I, I got one for you. The, That's uh, another thing that could be fixed with video replay. Go ahead, Billy. I, I crash over the shoulder. That's probably the, the worst call ever. Yeah, that matter. might be the worst call, but you've never seen it again. I know, but it, it, that affected that tournament. Twan. How about the driver, <laughs> how about the driver turning don't, around in 2000? I just want you to go bananas again. Don't, don't, tell, don't show it to Twan, please. Yeah, that's a grab. Thank you. That's a grab. How's that not a grab? It's actually a really good picture. Can, can you yeah, okay, go, go, go forward about 10, 15 frames? Hicksville coming down the track. All right. Coming up. Ooh. They're off. Oh, Doug Chiz got off a little late. Had a little trouble getting the ladder up there. Looked like the diggers didn't really smash head in the ground either. Uh, that like that drive it. at the end was a little was a tough yeah. drop. So we're going to be getting a tightening up now of the tournament is what we're going to do. Well, we got ice up here. Yeah, that's right. It's ice up right now. And now, this yeah. is huge. Now, the wolves, the over the shoulder is definitely the, uh, that's the craziest. Yeah. Well, that affected that tournament. That cost, that cost doesn't lose you the title. So. Yeah. 15-16 for Hicks. All right. The Here's the Number shot. 37, the All right, so come get some. <laughs> Seven points on a day. They have a chance to take the lead now. Not only lead, they, they, they clean up the ladder trophies. They take them all when, boy, we were sitting here saying, how far ahead are the hobos going to be? Right. We, we, we were talking Richie Arnett going a, a ladder sweep. Michael Maurer, Chucky Doyle, right? Warren what, Horse, the about, only three guys to do it. What do you think that number was? Oh, 50s. It, oh, that's got to be It's 50s. better than 902. Did we, get the, did we get the number in the truck? I had, I had no, 859 there, on my there watch. There is no number in the truck. It's all zeros across the line. Now, they think they can find it. Why is it all zero? I don't know. They pushed the button because he grabbed no, no, it. There, there was a time. Well, okay, because he touched it. All right, here we go. So all you have to do is all touch right, it. Let's what watch ISLIP, guys. Here we go. Big shot here, Wolves. Josh Huge Kaysen shot for the Wolves. Looking to go to potentially to 12. All right, Mikey Welton bringing him down. Right to the cones. Leaves him with momentum. Josh God. is in there, laying him in nice. Oh, no, oh, no he, he goes, goes for grab. a grab. That, he wasn't good. Oh, my God. He, he missed it right left. before it. 615 in the ground. 292 transition. That was another. They're giving him a no time. This, 
This now... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wowza. I, I, I need an event off. <laughs> Can we get Patrick Fizz up here for hoses early, guys? <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is just heartbreaking. See, now there, obviously, that's a no time. Okay, fine. No no problem, but it hurts. No, oh. Listen, this tournament just got awfully interesting. Do you guys... Nobody is out of this tournament. Do you guys remember... Wow. Nobody. Do you guys remember who Kevin Ducky Fowler is? Yeah. Because he's about to take home another first place shot in the state tournament in a ladder contest unless one of the remaining teams has something to say about that. Guys, we talked about it in the pre-show, right? Yep. Do not let North Lindenhurst sneak in and get a little bit of, of something out of these cars. They're gonna if this works out, they will be five points away from the leader. That's a lot of something. Ladders. With with a lot of good cut that's go. I think the number we said for them is we wouldn't want them to have four or five. That's four or five four. was gonna be a big number for them. All right, can Benny the Jet get down close enough to get them to score here? 923 is your number. Hey, don't count out Benny the Jet right here. No, I was going to say, he's run those, I think he's run those nine twos or better. Yes. 941 best <laughs> shot of the year for Benny the Jet. Here we go. All right, here they come. Tommy Driver brings him in, leaves him. Oh, the thrower did. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Good job. Rah Robbie Shroff had a tough time when he got off the truck. Yeah, yeah, it's just that's that's lack of practice. Right? I, exactly, uh, I was yeah. just gonna say that, Paul. They've said they've had a tough time getting everybody together for ladders and. They Time still... for East Islip with penalty one three point eight four thirteen eighty four cone three forty nine. We didn't get it yet. So that Northland and Hurst Pistonocker state drill scoring streak is about to turn 44 years old. They have scored in every state tournament from 1978 till today. Although they've yet to score today, they are now looking to not only just score, but potentially take home five points going into their best contest of the, uh, you know, in, in their repertoire. Ducky Fowler, to give you some numbers here, as a climber, one, two, three, four, five, is about to take home his seventh yep. first place shot in a motorized ladder contest if that 902 holds up. Seven first place shots. In the state drill? Between B and C ladder combined. That's impressive. That is huge. huge. Uh, nobody. We're up to Southampton. Right, he's won B ladder twice, and he's won C ladder one, two, three, four, four times. 1384. Looking to go five times. South Hempstead Rascals. Long shot to get in the top five here right now. Let's see what they do. All right. Tommy Moore bringing him down. Leaves him. They got a lunge to make the patch. Climber misses. That's tough for a young climber. Antoine, you could speak to that for sure. Right. But, you know, he just definitely didn't have his steps there when he went to get right. in. I like the momentum they kind of had. I was just going to say to bring that, bring him Rob. in just a little bit more. Totally agree with you. I like the momentum there. I actually like the spot for Ryan Marr as a climber, a little staircase. He just couldn't get in there. Did they lunge? I, I didn't notice the lunge. Yeah, so they much, lunged a little it. bit, which and I think I, I think put him off, you know, his timing off just a little bit. No time for South Hempstead. They had to complete the contest for 13-03. No time. Up to the lights, number 42, the Oyster Bay Teddy. All right, Teddy's boys here. Only a couple times they've run this contest this year. A couple of tens. One of those because the uh, truck didn't transition, so we stayed in first gear. Yeah, they, they were having trouble with the truck. I talked to Stevie O'Neill a little bit. The, the Rascals and the Teddy's boys had a little uh, practice the other night. Five dollars an event, one shot Wednesday. I think, shot Wednesday. I think the Rascals ended up winning five bucks when it was all said and done. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, you know, that, that's because of a couple of no times there. But nonetheless, Stevie O'Neill, I was chatting with him. He's a good dude, man. He's talking to me about how he's been dealing with a new thrower this year. Um, but Attention, it, please, local committee. Speedy drive to the loading zone. Hey, guys, but, just real quick. I'm sorry to cut you off, but over 1,200 screens watching right now from home. The chat is on fire. <laughs> People are livid. And then, they, you know what? In, and in, in, in actually, in, in two different directions. Yeah. Exactly. I, I'll, I'll, I'll just I'm give saying. you a couple quotes. Twan, stop whining. <laughs> <laughs> All right? I, I, listen, that, listen, that, are, that was sent in by Chris Murphy. Listen. <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, I'm whining no, no, no. on the inside. Hold up a second. Pause. Put the name to it. Is it JoJo <laughs> Simone? Or is it Matt Simone? Who is it? No, it's Bonnie Ryan. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know where Bonnie's from, but she just says, cut it out. 
Okay. There's 1,200 people watching right okay, now. Okay, well, guess what? I have the microphone, and you will listen to every damn word I have to say. <laughs> that was a terrible call. It's not whining. It's truth. Uh, right. We'll let, uh, we'll we'll let Oyster Bay come down the street here. We'll keep, it, keep talking. Oh, 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 Oyster Bay. All right, Teddy Boy's approaching the cones. Nice drop. Stevie O'Neill's in. He had a little hesitation as he made his way up there. Give me some more comments. Looks like I'm the curious. ladder walked on him a what's, little bit. Give, what's, it a, what's, give it a second, Juan. What's we 53? Finish? Oh, I guess I have diarrhea to mouth again. Oyster Bay, <laughs> 9.80. Ah. Are you happy you got your 980 call, Rob? Go ahead, New Murphy. Actually, I'm looking to see if Hagerman. I don't see Hagerman out there. I don't see Hagerman either. We got people screaming about uh, they want they want challenge flags. Challenge flags. All right. Flags. All right. We got. Uh, I'm. I'm just trying to get a quick thing. A lot of. Lot of central ice of fire department. Uh, uh, the guys Fans of Twan holding it together. Yeah, yeah. The guy Twan said it right. No, the guy. The the folks at home holding it down. Thank you, CI. But they're losing it in the chat right now. Sorry, guys. Um. Twan's still angry that Hogan lost to Warrior in 1990. That's true. That's Rob Simone, though, in fairness. That's, that's, <laughs> listen, that's fair. That's, yeah. Fair. He never let that go. Fair. Yeah, absolutely. By yeah. the way, not a great match if you go back and watch. Anyway, uh, hey, folks. Pat uh, <laughs> Clabber was something? not allowed to rip a Hulk Hogan at that. <laughs> he, wasn't, he wasn't allowed even if he could. Uh, so let me, let me do uh, the quick uh, things here. We got uh, our um, tip jar, Matt, right? Uh, hit us on Venmo, guys, please, if you don't mind. Uh, that's uh, NYSFD Drill Teams, if you like what we're doing. Um, and also, super fans, join up. We'll send out uh, our commemorative challenge coin for the 2023 State Drill. Check out our challenge coin. Matt, hit him. Give me the coin. Yeah, look at that thing. It's really cool. Yeah. If you're here listening uh, around the track, come on by the trailer. We're selling them. 30 bucks or uh, two for 50. Uh, okay, that's my uh, salesmanship. Hit up, hit up the tip jar so we can get instant instant replay review because Richie Arnett was just screwed out of 15 out of 15 live on top of the arch. We'll be back with some what's the What's the top there? <laughs> All right, we just got word that Hagerman is not running sea okay. ladder. Not sure why, but they haven't moved the equipment, but essentially the contest is now moved and over. Results, Hook and Ladder, Class C, first place, five points, with a time of 9.02. Huge, 12, huge five. Lindenhurst. Huge five for those piston knockers. Place, the streak continues. Two, Spencer Ford, third place, three points, number 15, North Belmore, fourth place, two points, number nine, I'm sorry, number six, West Huge Next two points place, for them. Hey, check this out, now, Twan. Go ahead, Billy. Three contests in. We've had 11 teams score points already. I did not see this coming. We've, we've, we've maybe had six or seven, eight teams tops in the top three uh, contests. Listen, if you if you wanted a close drill, we have one now. Okay. I. Sorry, I'm, we're talking over Chris Perry. Okay. That's right. I'll pull Chris down. Um, go ahead. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, you know, we're going to regroup. We're going to take a deep breath here because it, it's all over. It's all said and done. Whatever we say here on out, it is what it is. The score now, right? We got the hobos with 10. We got the log jam going on. We have the wolves with seven. We have the flying Dutchman with six. We have the piston knockers with five. If you are a fan of this sport, this is what you want going into hoses. It could have been a 15 to seven, but it's not. And we're together, and it's cl and it's tight, and we're going into ho to hoses. We got an immaculate grid coming up in a little bit. We're going to regroup here on top of the arch. We're going to take a deep breath. It's, it's, we're going to send it down to Paulie. Paulie. It's Paulie time. Oh, Paul it's, Paul it's time Paul for Paulie show. Paulie waiting oh. in the wings. Let's send it down to Paulie Suskind. No, he's just looking around still. So. Yeah. But that is, I mean, 11, 11 teams. I mean, Spencer Port's in there. Farmingville is in there. Copig taking a couple of trophies. All right, at this time, we're going to go to Paulie Suskind down with the North Linden Hurst Piston Knockers. Take it away, Paul. Everybody, I'm here with the winners of the Sea Ladder Contest. This is Terry Cotter from the North Linden Hurst Piston Knockers. Uh, I don't know if this year at any drill you've had this many points coming out of ladders. What does it mean to you going through the rest of the day? It really means a lot. We got started. We've struggled with ladders so far this year. Um, we hope we can stay in the game. All right. Uh, thinking about the next five contests, in what way do you think you're going to do it, Paul? Do it one contest at a time, obviously. But do you think you have to hit as big a numbers? Usually you're going to C-Hose and you need a big shot there and a big shot in B-Hose.
Bills, does this take a little bit of the burden off that? Oh, without a doubt. Um, there's a lot of good teams out here. Uh, we need to go run our Seahawks shot, run our Seahawks shot. All right, North Carolina Pestanakis, winners of Sea Ladder here at the 2023 New York State Trail. The North Lindenhurst Pistonockers have the most points that they have had all year coming out of ladders, and I did it here at the State Trail. Kevin Ducky Fowler, his seventh ever motorized ladder win as a climber. Let that stat sink in. Live on top of the arch, 2023 State Trail. We'll be back after this. firefighters want to see the latest in thermal imaging contact your local MES sales representative to arrange a live demonstration of the seek attack pro now NFPA certified the attack pros mixed game mode allows firefighters to see detail in the hottest and coolest regions of the scene at the same time without freezing and switching modes mixed gain simplifies and improves thermal imaging for the fire service for a limited time MES is offering an exclusive promotion. Every purchase of an Attack Pro comes with. Are you ready to go, uh, Paul? Hey, are you, you good, Chris? Paulie. You good? All right, Paulie's on. All right, everybody, I'm here with the winners of the overall total points. Uh, the New York State Fire Department. Congratulations to the Hobos, Ricky Arnett. You're the climber for the Hobos. Normally, this would be an incredibly joyous time. But after that last run, what are your thoughts? How did you feel when you got to the top and then it all came down? I thought I grabbed it, but I guess I didn't. That is what it is. <laughs> Talk token. All right. Uh, what does this mean? Jake, come on over here. Jake, in this situation like this, when there's such tremendous heartache, I don't know else we want to call it, something like that happens, and instantaneously you go from the top of the hill to like, oh, my God, what just happened? What's the feeling of the hobos? Yeah, you know, that's, the that's a new one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Hey, Chris, when do you want to do your uh, out-of-state fireman thing? Adept Technology Consulting is proud to be joining the drill team family as the exclusive IT professionals for New York State Fire Department drill teams. Adept delivers computer and technology support to fire departments, EMS agencies, businesses, villages, and libraries throughout the tri-state area. In addition to computer support and knowledge, Adept also provides IP telephone and camera solutions, as well as a variety of technology assistance packages, all with 24-hour support. No IT problem is too little or too large for a debt. For more information or to speak to an IT professional, call 631-676-1756 or head to adept-techconsulting.com. Proliner Rescue has been serving the fire, EMS, and police industry for over 25 years. As the exclusive Long Island dealers for KME, Wheeled Coach, Road Rescue, and Demers, Proliner's factory certified sales and service technicians ensure customers are ready to respond at any moment. The full service body shop can handle all of your paint, collision, and fabrication needs. In addition, Proliner's electrical technicians build the most extensive and high quality conversion vehicles available. Don't forget, they also love a great B or C truck restoration. Check them out at ProLinerRescue.com and let ProLiner help build your next vehicle.
The Titan Group is the trusted name in apparel customization industry as a one-stop shop for all your drill team and department needs. As always, we offer all our in-house services, screen printing, embroidery, sublimation, and graphic design. Take advantage of our custom online ordering system. Simply choose your products, choose your logos, and have your members pay online. All your orders are separated upon delivery. Browse our vendor catalogs at www.titangroupapparel.com and follow us on Instagram at Titan Group Racing. Call us at 631-859-0075 or see Artie Seskine or Devin Robinson on the track. All eight, all day. Gear up. Get on. The Titan Group. MES is the official SCBA dealer for New York State Fire Department drill teams. Beyond the track, MES is proud to provide premium support throughout the purchase and maintenance of your 3M Scott SCBA. With a combined 5,600 years of first responder experience and 8,000 certified training hours nationwide, Municipal Emergency Services delivers unmatched service and product knowledge. Check them out at www.mesfire.com for details and information. The instantaneous on-scene electronic personnel accountability system used by FDNY, New Rochelle, Eastchester, and many other fire departments nationwide is now available from Systems Definition Incorporated or your local Motorola dealer. SDI is a well-known software application developer for FDNY and is the company behind this game-changing patented technology. SDI has paired with New York fire departments, including Central Islip, to solve the challenge for accounting for members who respond after the tones go off. And new this year, SDI has integrated SCBA data from your Scott SCBA systems. This new capability will further improve fire ground safety by providing pass alarm and air remaining directly to the command post in an easy to view form. Track your members and organize your fire ground activities with a proven solution designed with the New York State Volunteer Fire Department in mind. For more information, visit systemsdefinition.com. With over 30 years of service in the fire industry, High Tech Fire and Safety is proud to be the longest running sponsor of the New York State Fire Department Drill Team's live broadcast. High Tech has been honored to serve as master distributor for Morning Pride products, including state-of-the-art bunker gear, USAR gear, EMS gear, helmets, gloves, hoods, and boots. In addition to Morning Pride gear by Honeywell, High Tech also provides quality products, including Genesis extrication equipment, CMC rescue products, and Mercedes hose, providing your fire department with the highest level of support and service for all your personal protection equipment needs. For a personalized demo or to speak to a certified sales specialist, call 631-777-5170 or visit hightechfireny.com. Caravas and Central Islip is now owned by a member of the New York State Fire Department Drill Team's family. Billy Etzel Jr. has spent his summers on and around the track for his entire life helping to bring you the Wildcat Survivor Pool at the New York State Drill each August. This summer, Billy welcomes fans and firefighters alike to take a break from the grill and stop by Carabas for some of their new summer flavors and recipes. Carabas is also a great choice for catering your next big fire department event, serving big portions of hand-prepared Italian specialties at reasonable prices. Email William Edsel at Carabas.com for info on catering or to plan a night out. H2M Architects and Engineers is a full-service consulting and design firm with a dedicated team that has over 200 years of combined experience serving the emergency services industry. No one understands the needs of first responders better than fellow service members, and H2M is proud to count several of their own staff among them. Whether it's a rehabilitation project or new construction, each design considers the responder's workflow, enabling safer operations and faster response times when it matters most. H2M is proud of their long history of client service and consistent ability to meet architectural, engineering, and environmental challenges head-on while offering a practical approach with creative results. Remember, quality response deserves quality design. For more information, please visit www.h2m.com.
Fire Rescue Systems has been in the fire industry for over 20 years and is proud to show their support for New York State Fire Department drill teams. Serving the NY area with a complete software solution for emergency service entities, FRS software is efficient and easy to use, making it ideal for emergency situations. With a wide array of fine-tuned and tested modules, FRS provides a modular-based system to fit every department's needs, regardless of size. For more information, please visit www.firerescuesystems.com or call 631-234-1304. Attention firefighters, want to see the latest in thermal imaging? Contact your local MES sales representative to arrange a live demonstration of the Seek Attack Pro, now NFPA certified. The Attack Pro's mixed gain mode allows firefighters to see detail in the hottest and coolest regions of the scene at the same time without freezing and switching modes. Mixed gain simplifies and improves thermal imaging for the fire service. For a limited time, MES is offering an exclusive promotion. Every purchase of an Attack Pro comes with a complimentary apparatus charger. Head to www.mesfire.com for details and information. Integrated Wireless Technologies is proud to be the exclusive Motorola dealer for New York State Fire Department drill teams. IWT offers the full line of Motorola products to fire departments as well as David Clark headsets and sound off signal emergency lights. IWT is your one-stop shop for custom engineered radio solutions, licensing assistance, dispatch solutions, and top-notch reliable service with fully insured technicians. Start off for your next radio upgrade with IWT. Check out their website at www.goiwt.com. Looking for something exciting and educational for the whole family? The Nassau County Firefighters Museum in Garden City has something for everyone. Kids can play on the fire trucks, dress up in gear, and spend an interactive day learning fire safety. For all of you New York State Fire Department drill team enthusiasts out there, come visit the Great Neck Alerts Vega Sea Truck and the Hewlett Smoky Stover's B Truck on display at the museum alongside classic films from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. An educational and interactive experience for all, open seven days a week for July and August. Visit them today. For more information, check out ncfiremuseum.org. Long Island Firefighters Legislative Committee was formed by Suffolk and Nassau firefighters to fight for what matters to you. This organization acts as a conduit to our New York State and federal lawmakers to ensure that firefighters across the island are protected and treated with respect. In past years, the Long Island Firefighters Legislative Committee has helped to usher in the Ambulance Recovery Bill into law, which will deliver a much needed new stream of revenue to fire departments big and small. For more info on the Long Island Firefighters Legislative Committee and how you can help, contact Bill Thies at 631-466-6069. Long Island Firefighters Legislative Committee. Since 1973, Fire News has been a proud supporter of the time-honored tradition of New York State drill team racing. As they approach 50 years covering the fire service throughout New York and beyond, Fire News is honored to continue as the official publication and online coverage of the New York State drill teams. Look for ongoing coverage in Fire News on firenews.com and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Since 1886, New York State Fire Department Drill Team Competition has helped generations of volunteer firefighters develop teamwork, pride, and efficiency. And our sport is ready now or get your drill team fixed during the week. Head to NYSFD Drill Teams on Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, YouTube, and TikTok. And hit those like, follow, join, and subscribe buttons. Thank you fans for your passion and your dedication to New York State Fire Department Drill Teams. Check, check. Check, check. We're back, guys. Go ahead. All right. Here we go. We're back here from the top of the arch. 
Got Twan up here with myself here. We're just going through the... Uh, deep breaths. Deep breaths here. He's, he's calmed down a little bit. <laughs> he's taken a <laughs> And here we go, people. We have the Out-of-State Fire Department of the Week. This week's Out-of-State Fire Department of the Week is the Clearwater Fire, fire Department. Joe, De, Joe DeRocha Jr. sent us a, uh, a, a couple of patches, some really cool ones from Clearwater, Florida. The fire department was founded in 1897 and protects the city of Clearwater, which is 15 miles northwest of Tampa. They have eight stations comprised of over 200 members. They have lifeguards, scuba, tech rescue, and a marine unit. The chief of department, Scott Ellers, his father, Bob Ellers, raced for years on the Massapequa Indians as well. So he, he's running the whole show down there. Clearwater is home of the original Hooters and the Phillies threshold, uh, Threshers farm team. Clearwater, uh, Clearwater Beach is beautiful. Pier 60 is there. They have a great aquarium there as well if you're in Clearwater. Joe DeRosha Jr. raced. He's, he's the guy we're talking about here. Today. He raced with the juniors, uh, with, the, with the turtles back there. I actually threw for Joe. Back, I called him this morning. I thought it was his father. His father is huge and fascinating. Right. I saw him up in Niagara Falls last week and all that stuff. We, we all know him. Yep. He's an old Albertson slowpoke. But, uh, so Joe was a paramedic in New York City back in the day, and uh, he's retired down to there. And he, he helps out around the firehouse and volunteers when he can. He's, He's got some 9-11 uh, illnesses, so he, he, he can good pass the test, but he's right. out there doing his thing, and uh, Brother Rob raced with us as well with the uh, turtle. I called him this morning, though, and I, I thought it was the father. All right. I'm like, I raced with his son. He goes, no, you did. You raced with me. You threw for me, you bum. And I'm like, ah, that's right. How are you, Joe? <laughs> so big shout-out to Joe DeRosher up there. All right. And then brother, brother Rob is a long-time racing man as well. He uh, record holder for C-Ladder with Preston X back in the day with Van Hassel with a big, you know, big stand dive. is driving for him in the day. Anyway, Clearwater uh, Fire Department, home for uh, many transplanted Long Islanders from the FDNY, NYPD, and many volunteer fire departments as well. So thank you very much to Joe DeRosha and Clearwater uh, Fire Department. <laughs> Congratulations for being our, our state fire department of the day. If you want to be featured next week, it's on the screen right now. Send a patch to Westbury Fire Department. Attention to Billy Cornell, 355 Maple Avenue, Westbury, New York, 11590. Include a patch, throw me a little bit about your firehouse, maybe throw in a, a shirt or two, whatever you want to, whatever the swear you want to throw me. So, and we'll get you out there right now. So what you're telling me right now is you started this thing where, by, by putting that address on, we have random listeners from all over the country that just chime in, random firefighters, and they just say, hey, listen, this is the patch, I'm sending it to you, and we get a mention. That's how it goes. Let's hope so. But those cool. were some ex-racers. Uh, cool. yeah. So we got some ex-racing guys. I mean, yeah. Hey, it doesn't, if you're in Germany and you're watching this, you want to you get on the show? Send me some stuff. I'll look you up on YouTube. <laughs> bring, me, me, bring me to Germany. <laughs> yeah, take me to Germany. Just just uh, don't come in with a wife beater and, and a box <laughs> on <laughs> into the bedroom. But uh, all right. So uh, I tell you, so we're up here. We got 11 teams have scored in the, yeah. in the first. Oh, but before you get to that, I just want to have a couple of program notes. One, there are shirts for sale down across from the Hydrant, where the northern New York area is located, in memory of Kevin Wheels Wheelock, former president oh. of this association, and one great guy. Terrific guy. We miss him tremendously. He's right next to the Guzzler's tent. $20 for some Kevin Wheelock shirts. Now, outside of that, they have, they've uh, put a new trophy in oh, oh, oh. that is going to be for the combination of sea hose and sea ladder. No, that. Uh, so check that out after this contest. Hopefully we'll have a winner come on down and grab that trophy and we do a little interview. That's cool. So Thank now you. you guys can get back to uh, what's going on here at this now seeming to be turned into a tremendous drill. So exactly. And I guess that's the benefit to, to what we, or at least I, am deeming a controversial call, right? But now we have a good drill in front of us. You, you, what you just saw in the past two contests, you saw the West Save a Flying Dutchman. Just racing, playing the smart racing game. 523 for four, 920 for two. They have six points, and they find themselves all of a sudden going from no points to three-man ladder to third place in the drill. The Hobos, they go 10 out of the first 10, obviously get the no time. So that's the lead. It's 10. The Ice of Wolves, you're defending 2022 New York State champions. Again, same deal. Four points in, th in three-man ladder, three points in B ladder. They have seven. So we got 10, seven, six. And then the North Lindenhurst Pistonockers, they have the most points all year out of ladder today. They've done five one other time, but they have it today. So our top four that we've talked about, the core four, whatever you want to call them, all year are. long, they're right there in that position right but now. But actually a little closer than normal to each other. And that's going to make for what could be a great end 
to this drill. That's a great point. They're, right. they're within one contest of each other right now. Usually, the first two are ahead by six or seven points on the on the bottom two, but you're right. Everyone within one shot here. So just a other, few other things to tie up. Look, the North Lindenhurst missed knockers scoring streak in the state drill. It continues. It just turned 44 years old. The North Lindenhurst Pistonockers have scored in 44 consecutive New York State Championship drills going back to 1978. That always deserves a mention. Ducky Fowler, the climber for the Pistonockers, has just won his seventh motorized ladder contest in his illustrious career. That's important to mention. The Miller Place Extinguishers earlier today score points. They become, that's those are their first points in the New York State Drill. They are the 95th team in the history of racing to score points at a New York State Drill. And that basically sums it all up, right? For where we are going into hoses. North Belmore, that we haven't, you know, they still have that chance. That dream of placing top five for the first time since 1969. Can they be the Nassau County representative? They have three. The Spencerport Red Onions missing in B ladder and in three man ladder. Now they bounce back with a four point shot with a 916 in C ladder. So they are in the mix as well. And it makes up for a great final five. Now you said it. I mean, if I, I really believe that if CI gets that time, which I'm on board with you, but if CI gets that time, right? And I believe it's probably a low 850. Right. This tournament's over. Yeah. I really believe it's gone. And yeah. now we're fighting for second place, and who's going to come in fifth? But this just brought this thing to a screeching halt in terms of anybody running away with it. You're looking at, it's, so it's 10 7 6. It potentially could have been 15 6 5. Yeah, over. Right. Game. And that's, that, that, that's, that's a big, so that is definitely a big one. Um, but. Now we go into hoses, boys. But listen, that, yeah, let's, let's also not overlook, let's not overlook the Islip there because that really hurts Islip as well. Islip's yep. been getting a lot more points out of ladders. I think they've been usually double digits, right? I mean, yeah, you look at Lindenhurst, double digits, yeah, double digits basically every tournament with the exception, uh, there's, there's a couple in there where they're like eight or nine, right? But seven is on the lower end uh, for them, you know? Uh, but you, you, that's a five-point shot, right? Or at the very least, a second-place shot, which would put them to 11 right now and have the lead. And so that, that's, that's an important miss in this game as well. But now, you know, now we're going into the hose contest, right? And so if you look at the best hose contest on the team, specifically COs, it's the Northern Inners Pistonockers. 12-24, they're the owners of the fastest time of the year. They have a 12-35. Um, and, and, you know, then from there, you know, if you look at, like, the, the tiered sheet that I made for COs, we talk about statewide this year. Nobody's even close to that time of 12-2. You have the Centralized of Hobos and the Spencerport Red Onions. Who put it in the 12-5s? Those are the, the, that's second and third place in terms of fastest time for the season, right? Hobos in the 12-5s, Red Onions in the 12-5s. You got the Wolves who put it in the 12-6s, the Pea Pickers in the 12-7s. And so that's kind of where it is. I'm curious to see what Bayshore can do. Can they get back in the, in the mix here? Can Miller Place score again? They put it in the 12-8s. But statewide, one, two, three, four, five. Only seven teams have run faster than a 13-second flat. And, Tuan, just uh, looking at Sea Hose in the history of this mm -hmm. state drill in Deerfield, mm -hmm. you got a 12.39 is the best time that's ever been run here. A couple of 12.4s. East Islip are going to talk about them and their kind of dominance in this contest in the state drill over the years. But your top ten times go from 12.39 to 12.60. So we can see those mid-12s. I don't know if we're going to see that 12-2 today, but you never know. Yeah. Well, the water is... Hey, Chris, if I The water's on point. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, well, did they... oh, here we go. 4 6 Speed of the water will be 4.65. Here we go, baby. Good. Welcome to Wayne's World. <laughs> Wayne, Wayne is Wayne Brosmer. He's the... Uh, I was just going to ask you to explain that. Hydraulics expert on duty here who's running the pump house. And uh, I, he's basically been living out of that pump house down there for the last two or three days as I was living out of this trailer. So he's my next-door neighbor. From, <laughs> that's pretty funny, man. Yeah, well, we got a shot here. A uh, little quick shout-out to Highlander Racing. That's Vito uh, Lapolis. He's helping us out today doing yeah, some, uh, some of the, uh, the media stuff out there. What, what do you call that? Social media? He's got a, uh, he's got a website out there on... Uh, I guess it was a TikTok or Twitter, whatever they do these things on. But check it out, Highlander Racing. They have all kinds of videos and 
things that we do. And uh, he's here doing a nice job getting some stuff out for us. All right. Water's tested. Let's get so let's yeah, get racing. Yeah, listen, we, 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 they, they, they announced it at what, 65? 65. The water is consistent as can be in the last couple of days. And it was the same in Suffolk's. Westerns and Northerns hose. It didn't matter which hose you put it in. It was pretty similar. And Suffolk's was probably the best of them. So they always want to go at the fastest to give everybody a benefit of the doubt when the water goes through their hose. So, so you saying Suffolk's the best ball? Is what you're trying to say? That's what I'm saying. And and the and they're using their hose. <laughs> that's cool. So Paul, let's let's see your uh, your your grid. I want to see your well, grid. Hold, hold on. Get... Yeah. No, I want Paul's grid. I'm curious about that too. But listen, I have a couple of shout outs. You know, it looks like we have a little bit of a lull. Why don't we give a couple of shout outs to people watching? J.L. Cottrell texted me. There's a watch party going on, and is at Boynton Beach, Florida. Guy Wallens from Syosset at his house. I got Vinny Monaco down there from Oyster Bay. Mark Jaffe listening in from Lindenhurst. Uh, I hope you guys are having a good uh, good time watching. Hope the show's coming across well. Um, is that near Dunedin? Who? Is that Dunedin? Yeah, Dunedin? Down by Dunedin. And, uh, in other words, known as Dunedin. <laughs> and another shout-out to uh, the old man, Walt himself, Bob Noonan Sr., had surgery a couple days ago. Uh, he's watching from Winthrop, I believe. And uh, Bob, hope you're listening and hope you're doing well and uh, get well soon. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of great feedback from people that are at this state trail that you don't yeah. normally see. People from Colorado and different places and saying, wow, we listen to this all the time and we really enjoy it and appreciate what you guys do. And I was, I'm like, thank you for listening. I mean, we're nothing without the people listening. We're definitely nothing without the big show out on the track. So yeah. that's what makes it great. That's what makes it fun. That's what keeps us sober for the entire day until we... <laughs> Until the day's over. Had to go there, huh, Paulie? I Had to go there. I didn't even mean it like that, but <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, just because I know if I wasn't doing this, I'd be sitting in the stands at every drill and it wouldn't Listen, be pretty. Man, if, if we didn't have this, yeah, it'd well, be a long day. Me, never mind, mind you. It would be a long day for those officials in the track. Be, <laughs> we would be tearing those guys oh, apart. Forget it. <laughs> and I got to say, the officials have been on point so far. And the setup over here where we don't have everybody on the guard, where we're really going to see it now, that snow fence is keeping all the teams back. And it should be very few people. So that's going to make all this go a lot faster as the wind really starts to rip. Okay. Rob doing it down on the track. Some, hey, uh, uh, I'll tell lives. you what, guys. It, the wind is nowhere near on the track, what you guys are dealing with. We have it. It's a little less uh, forceful might be the term. But, yeah, you, I could see the, uh, the tent I, above you kind of moving pretty it, strongly. If a plane was flying at 15 feet right now, it would get a nice tailwind all the way wherever it's going. You know, this roof almost blew up. I was thinking about Central Iceland. Oh, uh, by the way, I have flashbacks all the time. Hey, uh, Chris, PTSD. Chris in the truck, when do you want to throw it to the Immaculate Grid? You want to get that going up now? We do have a state drill Immaculate Grid. That could be something that we could, uh, you know, talk about a little bit. Obviously, it's not going to be in the main show, but for anyone who's interested in a little bit of racing trivia, specifically state drill trivia, we'll get that up for you in a little bit. Chris, let me know when you want to post that up. And that's something that we'll uh, get get out there for the people watching. Yeah, give me give me two uh, B hose. We'll get that thing set up. Okay? All right, so we're gonna do B hose. So tune in for that point. I mean, obviously the show right now is the state drill itself, and that's uh, thankful. That's how we want it to be. And what a show it's you turning know? into yeah. me right here. Yep. Listen, uh, I got to give the guys from the hobos who came over to get the uh, combo trophies a lot of credit both Jake and, and, and Richie because, you know, they couldn't have been classier. And I, and I actually mentioned to him, did you think he had it? And he thought he had it. And, of course, he's going to say that. But hey. for them to uh, – somebody's notes just fell off. For, you know, for them to just come over, I, I just want to send out a lot of appreciation for that because that's not easy to do. And I'll tell you what, man, Richie Arnett, we've been talking about how he's like this cool customer. You know what I mean? I don't see the emotion on his face. It's, it's very Eli Manning-esque, right. right? He just has that, that same, like – look about him, whether he's running an 850 yeah. or whether he gets called on a and failed grasp and holds a state drill. And I just talked to him. I'm like, you know, what events you win after this? He's, in, he's like, I'm in the last three. So he's going to turn it over to uh, the host team, Brian Kessler and Ryan Murphy. Can they yeah. get them back after that lull? And then he'll be back to play later on in the day. Is the easy, well, just, to give him, just to he's give him a little bit more props. I mean, you yeah. talked to Billy Miller about him. and You talked to Janie Jackson about him. And, yeah. and they're just like, this guy's the most polite guy. Yeah. And he actually listens to us, which always makes older guys happy. Yeah. But He's listening to him, and, and, and they just really appreciate his demeanor, and, and you're seeing it. Like you just pointed out, Twan, it's, you know, you don't find that in a 20-year-old a lot. You know, I, I, I talked to the team a little bit, guys, afterwards. Uh, there was nothing we could protest. We tried to find something, right? When you're frustrated, you, you want to come up with something. Um, like I, when you filled in nine buckets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just exactly. give, give, me, give me 10 minutes. I'll figure yep. something yep. out. All right, yep. wait. Just wait, right? Uh, <laughs> 
That's that should be the state record. Anyway, yeah, five thirty one. Um, uh, <laughs> so uh, so anyway, so so but Richie, I, I said the one thing, and this is this is uh, you know n something he's not. I wouldn't call him a veteran yet, but the it's almost like framing the pitch as a catcher. After that close call, yeah. I think his body language kind of gave them the opportunity to consider the yeah. call, and yep. and he could have probably just you know walked down. Let's put it this way: What would Kevin Ducky Fowler do? He never would have even thought. He never would have gave them the second thought like he didn't let go of that run, right? He just would have walked right down and been like, "Ah, we're good." And that's just that's that might be the difference between uh, you know a veteran and a 20-year-old guy who's just really getting into this and coming into his own. You know, yeah, that's a fair point. Yeah, and, I, and now the next time he's ever in a situation like that, you just kind of give the, "Oh, I got it. I had it." And I could speak to that. 05, three-man ladder, right? We talked about it earlier. Failed the grassman hold. I, I hung my head, too. Same deal. Mm. There was a questionable call on me a couple years later in B-Ladder, and I knew. Okay. I, I looked at the official. I'm like, I got it. I think I grabbed B-Ladder with my pinky. Yeah. You yeah. know, you know I, I brought that up to him. Overtime in this contest. seconds. Up to the right. Yeah, I was just I, last thing about that. I, I, I saw Steve McCarroll downstairs. Yeah. I was just talking to him briefly. I know what you're gonna say, go. And uh, <laughs> I said, "How about it?" And he said, "We'd like to protest it, but two of our guys made the call." Yeah, so, yeah. yeah it, two homos. Came back, came back, came back with his flag before those guys yeah. even said anything. So yeah. we looked out at him first, and uh, came like he said, put, I, came I can't put the flag this. in his pocket. All right. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I said. I didn't want to out him originally, but which, he's like, which, "Hey, we know." <laughs> now, uh, before we had, we got a couple seconds before Riverhead goes, and I just want to, I just want to state that. First of all, that goes to the integrity of the I officials. Am, just number one. That. Number two, K-Mac's going to come off the guardrail and then run with the team that he just flagged. Uh, so if he comes out of it safe when the time he gets on the track, that's <laughs> going to be awesome. Number two. Number three, Number three. the official's position is tough, tough, tough. Who is it? I got Ralph Rail calling me. Do I, do I pick it up? Do I pick it up? I don't know. Oh, he's he's gonna put him on it. mic, please. I'm going to put, put him on, on mic. mic. <laughs> Ralph, you're live on the air. you got to keep it PG. PG? Okay. What's what up? Do you, what do you want to know? I don't know. You called me. <laughs> <laughs> Long time listener, first time caller. And all my Oscars that we have over and, and the snowman we used to do, them the blow up dolls. I'm <laughs> blow up dolls. Out the door. I didn't even see it. I just heard your call. Yeah. You got to be kidding me. What's that? This is very, very simple to fix. The guy in a 25 foot line has to look up. He has nothing else to do outside of them. Rob, hold up one second. We got Riverhead coming down the track. Pete, yeah. Polish Pete, what's it up? All right, oh, there he is. Got, got, got it on. He does a nice job getting a nice, nice job. Show, hey. A lot. Hey, listen, a, 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 a little squirrely of a run, but boy, Riverhead gets it done. All right, back to Ralph. Uh, let's get the time for Riverhead, and then we'll go back to Ralph. Hold on. Ralph. What about the. Man, 13. just outside that 13 for Riverhead. Both beat. Hold on, Ralph. Next team. This is more than three seconds, he said. Yeah, Next he... team. Yo, Chris. He did a nice job breaking it himself down here, guys, yeah. and uh, was able to kind of get the, what he after he broke it, kind of get the one. nozzle out of the way. Number two, the North Babylon Tail Dragon. So we had to play a shot at the target. Ralph, you got about 30 seconds. Go ahead. What was the, okay. What's the oh, quick fix? I, I feel for Hobo Nation. I don't care about how many points and everything else. You're watching a, a, a kid just by describing him. And it, he is, you know what I'm saying? He, if any, if the race is going to continue, you need a kid like this to continue on. I'm sure he's going to, but man, what a heartbreak. Just, just listening to it. Yeah. I, I thought, I, Ralph, I thought you were calling. Can he hear me? All right, Ralph, thanks for the call. Yeah. No, I was going to ask him. I thought he was calling to tell us he ran for the flukes one time. Yeah. <laughs> Ralph, we got to let you go in a minute, but did you ever race with the flukes? <laughs> no. Are you crazy? <laughs> Not ever. Sorrow <laughs> <laughs> world. Did you race with Jack Lauman? <laughs> Ralph, real quick, how you feeling, bud? I'm doing all right. Doing all a, little, right. a little upset about my results. I, I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm here, and I'm talking about it. Actually, I might shoot another uh, stroke just for CI. Tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> They've had enough up here in the stands. Rob, we love you. Twelve almost had one. <laughs> we'll talk to you later, bro. Call, good call, bye. 06. All right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Good, so, good, good call by Ralph. Good yeah, call. Yeah, call great back stuff anytime. right there. North Babylon on the line right now. They have the Deer Park well, truck here. Before North Babylon goes, I mean, we were talking about the officials, but Ralph makes a great point. If the sport's going to continue, it's guys like Richie that are going to carry it. And that was an awesome point. And you guys said it on the Happy Hour show, too. Like, who's the next kid playing in a driveway that's going to be the next big thing? Yeah. Right? This kid's home right now. Evan Murphy might be one. What's the hold up here? He's got, a, he's got a few years, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> long time between shots there, guys. Yep. We don't improve on that. This is All right, be a so long this is going to be the Deer Park North Bab combo. Track's ready. Yeah, Tom Avalese driving this truck here. Let's see if he can stop it on the right side of the hydrant. <laughs> What are you trying to say? <laughs> hey, hey, Brian Bradbury. <laughs> this truck hasn't been out too much, right? This first, is... first one we're going to see it this year. Yeah. Here we go. The old rosin truck. Ah, he's making his way to the hydrant into the hard break. Man, he let him off with speed. <laughs> if he would have got that, he had good speed at the hydrant. Good looking shot here. It's not bad. Not bad, yeah. Listen, we've seen two teams, the first two, Riverhead and then North Babylon, that haven't had great success all year long, just put up two decent shots. I'll tell you, that, that was some drive by Dom right there. He put it right on the hydrant. He gave him, he gave him, a, he gave him a legitimate shot at the yeah. hydrant to run a good number. And the truck ran pretty well. That's the best I've seen that truck ever run with him driving it. All right, pay attention to this shot, everybody. Well, now here's a question. The, the, the water's 465. You know, we had their issues with the hose all year. Which combo are they breaking out? Mm. Hey, the, not the 449 one, I hope. Or the one with the ice in it. Oh, so, yeah, the ice so what, man. What's the story there? They got pulled and DQ'd? Yeah. What's yeah, the story yes. again? Yeah, okay. 2100s faster. Yeah, so they were 600s faster than allowed. Yeah. Well, 2100 than the time, so there you go. Well, you're allowed 15, so. Yeah, yeah. Farmingville Bandits, the winners of this contest in 2021 with a 1278. Obviously, they end up finishing top five overall um, in the state drill as well. So they're yeah. looking to get back onto that here. They have one point on the day. They snuck a point at a three man ladder with a 670. Who had a better time than Steve? <laughs> Steve, <laughs> Steve Chiz up there in 2021 up in Main Transit. Oh, my God. I just remember leaving. He was still on top of that sign. Yeah, he was up there with the, with the workers. <laughs> LBB lighting it up up there. That yeah. was a great When I weekend. first saw that, I actually thought he was up there. I was kind of fooled. He was up there. Farming Shut up. He no. climbed up there. No, he didn't. <laughs> yes, he, there's a ladder on the back of that thing. Oh, he there actually, is? They boosted him up there. He didn't climb up there. I swear to God, he did. How fast did he climb now that we know he's a pretty good climber? I don't know. All right, so here's Farmville, then we go. 19 people left in the in the Wildcat pool, so what? that got trimmed out pretty quickly. Yeah, see you later. Took care of me. I'm out. Oh, I'm out. Abby's out. Here we go. Oh, uh, that truck's motivating right here. It's going to be a hard break. He's off at speed. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. This has got a number. This got a number written all over it because the nozzle only does. Oh, oh, oh. That's a great target hit. Guys, oh boy. guys, 687 on the handle. This might be one of the best shots on this track ever. I'm telling you, I think they pulled his hose already. <laughs> I don't know. Doug, I was pointing to him, but maybe he was just telling him to go to line. With penalty, 12.47. Woohoo! 47. Let me just, it's just a little bit about that run. Number one, the drop at the Hydra was phenomenal with speed, and Justin just cranks it up in two steps. The hose lay was freaking straight, right? And then you're going to top it off with a target hit like that. Come on now. And what a drop up top. Eddie hey, guys. Uh, nice. You're on top of it. Hey, guys. Hey, I'm going uh, to call. take a second here. I got Justin Ask Russo. How many steps he had? All right, Justin. We just saw the, I want to say, the second fastest sea hose time, yeah. time in the history of the Deerfield track and its state drills. Tell us a little bit about the shot, and, and Paulie specifically, wanna, how many steps you had at the hydrant? I want to be as close as possible. I learned from Paulie, so I tell Eddie before we go, the tighter the better. So I got off right-hand turn and just put water in the hose. That was about as tight as you can get. How many steps do you think you actually took? 41. Probably two and a half, something like that. I was, I was going to say three. All right, how does that... Uh, how does that trend for you guys the rest of the day? How's it, make the, how's it gonna work for the team? We needed it. We came out of three man, we scored a point that we didn't think we were gonna get. We got skunked in BNT ladder, so we needed some momentum, so hopefully that's it. All right, great job. Good luck the rest of the day. Hey, hey Noonan, 341 to the cone. 41 to the cone. And just so you know, uh, 341 to the cone, so you, uh, you, you cut it tight. <laughs> <laughs> so add 900, so take 900 off that. It's a 39, 39 38. That, okay. is, 38. that yeah. is the second fastest shot in the history of the Farmingville Bandits, and it's a new C 
Seahose State Drill Team record for the Farmingville Bears. Yeah, and the second fastest run ever on this track. There you go. Big shot right there. Big Number. shot. Now that, that now just that's going to be tough. That 687 yeah. on the handle is tough. Yeah, I think that's tough to be right there. Goes Point Pleasant. Hey, this team needs some points. They need to put water in the hose right here. He lets them go. They got water in the hose. I don't even know if he can get better targeted, but he's going to have to try. Oh, he struggles with the nozzle. Struggled with it. Thought he had it. I thought they took a time, a little bit of time to break it. Yeah, look at the rest of the little up there. And, uh... Nozzle man had a little stumble as he went down. They were 7.09, so yep. two full tenths slower than Farmingville. But on time, we normally would say, hey, that's pretty good. That's great. Wow, Kyle Vaccaro looked that up pretty good with the Hydra, too. Really good, actually. I mean, we just saw out of the out of the gate right here. Out of the gate, we saw a 6-8 and a 7-0. We saw two fives and two sixes digging. We saw six ones in C ladder. I feel like we're in year 2000 again. The two fanny pack is in effect, and boys. I think the last two teams both in the three fours with the truck as well. Imagine this was the last group running on the day. We'd be fired up. Yeah, it'd be fun, man. Bring back the backpack. I'm telling you what, man. As the as our attention go. turns to the West Sable Flying Dutch. Third place team right here. Back to back points, four and two. Running some sea hose now. I feel like if the Flying Dutchman can find a way to take points in sea hose for the first time this season. Yeah. Right? They haven't scored in sea hose at all this season. They haven't run a 12 in sea hose this season. They need it. Right oh, yeah, now. right. All right. point bulletin, send out the bat alarm. Cause that's they gonna, need some points cause, here. Because that'll make up, honestly, for the miss in three-man ladder. You well, don't expect the miss in three-man. I guess with the host team this year, maybe yeah, they're they, not used to getting points. I'm not going to say expect the miss because it's a flying Dutchman. But you know what I'm saying. Yeah. They're trading one for but the other. But it's been a work right in progress for them. They've been getting right. better at it every week, and it's a different drop right here with, with Billy on the back than it's been all year, and it, it's been better. But let's think about the consistency again. So at this point, the top three dogs all year long, each have missed in one contest. There you go. I don't know how many more they're going to be able to give up. That's the problem. Right. West Sables, last time they ran a 12 was in Lindenhurst last year. That's a lot of contests. Yeah, but this, this is a different operation right now compared yeah. to what was going and on they, they all definitely, year. They definitely changed their match over the... Uh, the drop of the Hydra, they've got a lot tighter uh, as the years gone on, and, after, and it shows. After you just saw those first two drops, you better have your Hydra man and your, and your driver ready to go, because you're going to need it today or you're not scoring. 6-8, we ain't seen that, come on! I know, it's heavy. 41 to the cone! I mean, I thought I thought the trucks ran really well in sea, sea ladder today. Me maybe, too. Maybe it's, you know, maybe... Two six ones deal. in the ground! I know, I know. Uh, well, what, what? Yeah, guys, just to be clear, did they pull their hose? No, they did not, sorry. Doug, I was pointing at him like uh, he was telling him, but he, he was telling him to drag it to the line to measure the length. So they did not. Correct, yes. Wow. The hose was good. Good. It was pinned straight, boy. Right, what's, it what's was that, that, that hose leg. Ah, you, you can't get a better hose leg than I just saw. Here's what's Sable. All right, he's bringing it down a straight line. He is tighter than normal, but he's going to give Billy a shot. There it is. He leaps off the side. He's got water in the hose. They're going to have to get busy up here. They're creeping. Nozzle on. Target. Oh, just a little off to the side. Now, what would you say, Paulie? Two-tenth wash? At 7.09 on the handle, guys. Yep. So you're looking at a you're looking at a 1297 48 to the cone. That's a 127 maybe? 126? Yeah, th I'm gonna say two tenths. Yeah, all of a 127. And I tell you, Billy really attacked that hydro coming off. The two truck. tenths there and two tenths on the stick. Yeah. So there's your four tenths. That's it. it. You know, regardless, it is their first 12 of the season. Does it hold on to score a point? I think it's going to be tough. Yeah. yeah. But you know, it keeps your day moving. You did it right. You're not, you're not throwing helmets at each other in, in, in the pits after a run like that. Oh, no, you might. Well, well, maybe. Yeah, a little frustration. All right. Westbury on the line right now. Tell us about your turtles here, Billy. Here's what I you had, had a really great practice uh, Wednesday night. You had the one shot practice. Everything went well. And. Uh, Another yeah, team. So, so far, not, yeah, yeah. not doing so well here well, today. What's the other? Got a bunch of low 13s. Yep. Can they find a way to get into 12s? Like, well, what's a missing? Those, a couple of those 13s could have could have been 12s, a little wash on the target, but uh, it's all about the target, target shot. Okay. If, if the target can blast blast the target, we're, we're mid-12s. Okay. That's what we're looking for here. Truck's been running great. Michael Thienis celebrating his uh, birthday yesterday. 60, yeah. Uh, 
68 years young. Wow. 68? And, and, and driving the best he's ever driven in his life. That's a lot of birthdays. Tom Driver yesterday. Yeah. Pie Callahan. Tommy Fitzsimons Tom today. Tommy Fitzsimons. Guy Leggio tomorrow, you were saying? Guy Leggio yeah. tomorrow, the big 6-0. Big 60. All right, here we go. Michael Thien is going to be driving it down here. How many years has Mike been driving, right? He's got to be up there. We, the 30, we were trying to think who the longest area. tenured driver yeah. was, but here comes Mike Athenas with the uh, termite truck for the Turtles. Uh, double breaks it at the hydrant, lets him go. He's got water in hose, but he's got a Oh, no, they got a lot of hose. Don't let that go. Don't open it. Don't, Don't open go. it. Don't open it. Don't open it. Good job, boys. They're, Good job. It looked like all the hose came uh, out. They still no, 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 no. Don't do it there. Oh, my Lord. All right, he's keeping it. All right, get it off the track. I mean, a lot of hose comes out of that hose bed right at the hydrant. They lost the whole first link to the, the hydrant. Whole, the whole first exactly came out right there at that hydrant. Wonder, you know, but you lost the bungee or something? Did you do the bungee method back there? Yeah, they, they have a, the, they, the bungee method in the uh, hose tray. They so, do a pretty good job there to not put the water all in the brakes. They move it up the track a little bit. Probably could have moved it a little further. Now, let me ask you guys a question about hose packing because, you know, I'm not the uh, expert on, on any of that. Paul knows a lot about I'm more of a ladder guy, but I am hearing now the that. The hose, not the packing part. Whatever. But most people. Billy's are, a better packer than me. Most people are packing. What would you. Please, there will be a no time for West Ferry. Coupling was broken before the 125 foot line and touching the ground. No time. What? I don't know if I heard that one before, Paulie. Me neither. They dragged it over the line and. They picked it up and dragged it before they broke it. I wish they would have dragged it further. Right, number eight, the Spencer Port, right in. We're trying to get a clarification on the call right there. Paulie talking over to Chris. All right, listen, I got, I got a clarification on the call here, guys. Uh, once they picked it up, it can't be broken until it actually goes on the ground after this uh, 25 foot line. So he had it like efficiency. He had to put it down on the ground and then break it and it do it. The they ground. broke it up. They picked it up and as they carried it over the line, it has to go back on the ground. It has to be broken on the ground inside this uh, 25 foot mark. So here's what I'll say. Kudos to the officials for even knowing that rule and knowing it that quickly. I know I got on it for the failed aggressive no call, but to know that rule that quickly, a rule that we hardly ever hear of. They put it on the ground and they, the they put it on the ground they were looking at it. Yeah. I mean, that's what Paul said, don't do it. It was already on the ground, so it, it was connected laying on the ground. Not that it really matters. They, they broke seven. it while it was still in the air before it got to the yeah. ground. Right. You want to go to replay? Oh, no, we don't have no, that. No, it nah, got nah, to the nah, ground. It it not, put or it, he caught that piece at the end. He, put up, put he up broke it while it was in the air. Oh, Red Onion's coming down the track, boys. Big Spence top of them. Yeah, they got four points right here. Running tight. Josh at the hydrant. He gets off with speed. He's got water in the hose. 687. Oh, he's got to put it on the target. That's a lot. Where's the water? Yeah, I agree. Well, Waiting for Where water. is the water? Where is right. the water? Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. That's, there was a kink heavy somewhere. I, don't, I know the slack man went down like crazy at the hydrant. The Spencer board with penalty. Yeah. 1, 2.83. Yeah, that sounds right. 83. Oh. 346. It could have been that they just got down to the hydrant. I'm nozzle so quickly. Yeah. Uh, that, that, that's not a loud truck. No, I know. Well, you don't realize how fast that thing moves. It, oh, obviously. What was, was that called? What was that called? What was that? 340 what? What was that called? He's at 48 maybe? 46 Six. on that one. At 46 and 48 in, in, in sea ladder. So, Josh does a nice job hooking that up, man. There was a lot of speed at that hydrant. Rob, did you get a, a water on on that? 687, six, right there two, with six eights. Right there with Formula. We haven't seen two six eights all year. Maybe Christopher Connell once, maybe twice. Rob, we haven't seen it combined in four years. <laughs> Nobody uh, does that anymore. No, that's crazy. And, but um, you could tell both of those. They were right on top with momentum. They came in hard. But you know so what? They were every bit of that six the eight. The trucks are motivating. I tell you, I love the way they roll this hose up out there in Western. Oh, the Western style. Great way of doing it. The, the Western grip Great is back at style. it again. So. Uh, Already listening at home. Let me know. I adjusted my mic. I'm, I'm getting feedback. Can't hear me so well. Maybe that's not a bad thing. Uh, <laughs> I was going to ask you before we went there. But I hear teams are packing their hose differently, more of like they're laying the hose flat horizontally and packing up rather than putting it on its side and packing Who's left to right. I, don't I mean, know. teams I'm, do it. Yeah, I mean, right. so is there, I'm hearing there's a benefit to it. I'm hearing it, well, it comes the, up the right way every time. Or the benefit time. is if you can get it in there tight enough. The, and I, I wanted to do this 20 years ago. I wanted to cut out the back of the B truck where the battery used to be right above the. Uh, running board. This way, the hose would come right through the running board, right there at your right. feet, and lay just lay in the street, flat. Right. 
Wow. And if you stack it on top of each other, it just lays flat. If you stack it on its side, it's got to flip down. Right. But if you stack it flat, it just comes out and lays flat. Right. There's flat a lot pack. that goes into it. All right, here's Cool Pig. It's not, right not as easy as it sounds to get it right. Cool Pig scored the last two contests. They got three points on the day. Nice 566, 923. Chris Brad doing the climb. Here comes Charlie Fitz. Here they come. Him in. Beautiful looking truck coming down the track. He's Lost in the hard out. break. Let's him go with speed. What's going oh, on here today, folks? We're in year 2000. Oh, he didn't even get it broken. Bring nah. him in. He pulled it. He uh, it. And he throws the coupling away because he knows it in frustration. He, Man, that was a hookup at the Hydra. We're seeing good stuff. 7-16, like, guys. So seven, pretty good 16. number. That's usually the best number of the day. It looked day. like Dirty Mike was more worried about getting behind the nozzle man than he was about doing the job. Yep. Yep. Whoa. How often? 44. 44 for the Yellowbirds. Moving today. You know what? That makes it scary when you get to CI right? and you get to Bayshore and you get to I not many Bayshore this year, but Islip. You got. That's, you like, gotta, that's like five well, cone penalties you already. Manage that. <laughs> Well, what plays into that? We have no humidity There's here. no humidity. None whatsoever. None. And there's no wind. I mean, right. I don't, you don't feel a wind. I can see the flags, but... It's not wind here on degrees. the ground is minimal, guys. Uh, it's minimal. These trucks are rocking and rolling. Prime condition All right, base to shore, make these motors work, right? As a mechanic myself. Be sure looking to get off the schneid right now. I have what? no idea. What? I have no idea about what? any of that. 1297 Zero. coming up. What's that? Paulie, this mechanical is your, work. This is your dark horse pick for the top five. Obviously, a little biased opinion there, but that's okay. I, I, I tend to agree knowing what they could do in the final three contests, specifically buckets. What do we got here, man? They still got uh, a chance this, with this zero is, out of yeah, ladders. You this know? is going to have to be a, a shot for them. You know, if they want to come in the top five, listen, just like Islip and Wasable and North Lindy especially are really happy with the occurrences of Sea Ladder, so is Bayshore. Yeah. When Bayshore wins the... The state drill in 2018. They went to see Hose with no points. Right. They scored them all after, and that's the plan today. They had that plan. Right. Let's not score. They had. The, they, they, had they, they planned the rain in the morning. They planned the 12 o'clock start. They planned no points in ladders, and here they get started. <laughs> 18 out of the last 25. That Listen, day. if something works for you, you want to stick with it, right? Yeah. Guys, uh, for those watching at home, the, the cameras are, are really getting blown around. Is it real windy out? It's up it, here, up the size of the height where the camera is. Yeah, yeah. Folks at yeah. home are, are going for a ride because yeah. the camera's kind of getting knocked all over the place. Oh, the it's, not, it's not even up on the ground. It's only seven feet off. All right, here comes Bay Shaw. All right, Mole brings Mole it in. Going into the hard break. Oh, a little spin at the hydrant. It's got the water in it, though. Come, these boys got to get busy. Nozzle on. Oh, oh, just a little off, but a hell of a shot. Nice job at the hydrant. Yeah. They do that fishtail, but he catches it. Uh, Paulie, 730. A little bit slower than well, we've seen that. He had to hold teams. that break a little bit. I think they were going deep, and it just kept Nine, them back a little. They, they got off up top here, flying. Just missed of the, uh... Number 11, the Central Iceland. Just tickled the bottom of that target with that first shot. That would have helped a bit. Well, you still, you're probably talking about 12-8, right? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, 12-8 seems to be the number, but that just tells you what a great shot Farmerville had. All right. I mean, to me, now you're looking yeah. at it, I think Farmerville's shot's almost impossible to beat. Interesting. One of the teams that can beat them is right here, but that, there that ain't going to be many. That was awesome. And just for the record, they did not pull Farmerville's hose, correct? No, yeah, no, so they, they did were not. good. They're did not. intolerance, and it's good to go. Yeah, it was fake news right there from Paul Suscon. All right, so <laughs> they already pulled their hose. <laughs> because he was pointing to him, pointing to him. I was like, oh, he's pulling his hose. They pull mine, they point to me. So the hobos are on the line now, boys. I'd never pull your hose. Talk about uh, talk thank about an God. talk about an emotional roller coaster, right? Five and three man, five and B ladder, potential five and C ladder. We've covered it enough. How do they rebound now knowing they're one of the favorites to win this drill today? They need a veteran shot. You got Ryan Murphy on nozzle, right? You yep. got Brian Kessler on hydrant. How do they rebound and pick up their, their man right now? To me, now? you know what the key thing is? Not the Danny. same guys. It's not the uh, same yeah, guys. True. Mentally. I was just thinking, this, is anybody that ran no, ladders yeah, on the back? No, of these guys are starting their tournament right now. Right. So the they're, the they're used to saying, now we're going to start. Now right. we're going to start. Yep. But if it was the same four guys, here we go. Gets out in the middle, brings it back in. Hard He's going to be tight there. Let's him go. He got water and hose. Oh, they are booking him down here. He's got the nozzle on. Oh, oh, what a hit. Oh, 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 first drop. That hit first water. Why was it? Were we waiting for water, though? I'm seven, seven, thirteen, guys. And listen, he it didn't seem like the water jumped out That's of the it. nozzle at all. Nope. Agreed. Time for Central Iceland. With penalty, one, two, point six, six, twelve. 
Yeah. The target I think that's target. right. He hit the target nice, so after he got it out there. there and you, you know what? Two tenths slower on the hydrant almost. There it is. 12.66, second Listen, place. A hobos are taking that right, oh, right to the you, bank. That first swipe at it looked like Ryan missed, and he got it back on six. Will you watch him? He didn't go for the extra yeah. spin. He yeah. had that thing on a quarter turn, and I'm going to leave it right there. Number 12, North Windenhurst, Piston. Now, here we are. He now, heard. Now, let me give you guys, you know, I... I Twani, I'm going to uh, cut, you, cut you off real quick. Sorry. Go ahead. I got uh, Ryan Murphy here. Uh, Ryan, 1266, second place. Real clean looking shot in the history of Sea Hose at this track. That's a really, really great number. Had a little bit of misfortune in Sea Ladder. How good is it to jump back in and get that shot? Hey, listen, misfortune. It is what it is. It's a racing game, man. We're, we're trying to win a state trail. No one's ever scored 40 points in a state trail. So, uh, did you see me try and put the nozzle on? It was not clean by any stretch of imagination. <laughs> it wasn't. I, that's a true story. Uh, oh, you got down there. Way. You had gave yourself plenty of time to get it done, and uh, you put it up. Yeah, absolutely. Danny got me right on top of it. He gave me about 18 tries to get it on, so we're going to keep going. All right? all right, Rob. Good luck the rest of the day, Ryan. Quick North Lindy on the line right, right now. Here we go. go. We are ready. Now, oh, they, listen, North Lindy's been wanting this opportunity all year long, and it's fallen into their lap. Here they are. Five twelves on the year for North Lindy Hurst. Chris Connell been running Hydrant in for North Lindy Hurst in the state trail since 2001. If you add up his B-hose shots and his C-hose shots, it's 42 total shots. They've taken points in 21 of those 42. That's half the time. I'm sure some of those are on the nozzle well, man missing. He wants it. But oh, he would like 100% right, right, right now. now. Here we go. need it right now. Here we are. To me, they got to beat the 66 a little squirrely. He's going to have to let him go. We got water in the hose. This is all going to be about the target. It nozzle on. Oh! He hit the target. He hit the target. And I thought the water jumped out of that hose compared to the sea ice. It looked a lot better. 694, guys. Yeah, uh, it's right in the neighborhood. It's right there in Farmville. Time for North Lindenhurst. Didn't catch it. To me, that's right. That's it's at the hydrant hit right now. The hydrant hit is making the difference right now in terms of putting the water in the hose first. Some heavy shots here. Okay, these hydrant men have all come to play today. Every every one of them has hooked up today, nice at the hydrant. Yeah, and all of them have been one two step drops. Yeah, they're all actually playing like they want to play. Woo! The West That's our eighth, eighth cone penalty today as well. These trucks are moving. This, what was this that was number? That? Did we get it? I just said whatever it was. 12. Oh. It, so. 44 again? Another 44. We've had 44s, 41s. Yeah. You know, I, I mentioned something about Chris Connell before that they're, uh, you know, now going to be looking at 11 out of 22 scoring. You know, scoring in Seahoes 11 out of 22 times now with Chris Connell running Hydrant, and that is a top five shot for Chris Connell as a Hydrant man at a New York State Championship drill. So nice shot All right, guys, the uh, real quick, uh, <laughs> before we get the uh, next shot, I got Christopher Connell here. Chris, uh, what do you call it? Twan just gave me a little information. That's uh, one of your top five shots that you've run in the state tournament as a Seahoes Hydrant man. How's that feel? Uh, honestly, I'm not a real big numbers guy when it comes to stuff like that, but it's always <laughs> nice to hear that stuff. I'm just happy we put a shot up that's going to get us some points here to get back in the game. Yeah, you're right in the middle of it uh, after a big sea ladder shot. Uh, good luck the rest of the way. Thank you very much. Here comes Wes Ice up on the line right here. A little trouble with the hydrant. He's got water in the hose now. Yeah, Justin, he wrestling with that hydrant over there, and it's uh, they're going to finish this up, hopefully. I mean, is is Chris Connell the best Hydra man to ever play the game? I mean, you want to talk about there. you want to talk about debates. I mean, I think he's definitely part of the conversation. You really going to say that in front of Paulie? Right? Not uh, and you. And I How know dare there, you? And I know in there's front of eight million Hydra men listening at home. That's the problem. There's too many. Of them. I think his consistency is unparalleled. I mean, he, it's it. Number <laughs> we talked about that in happy hour too. And the X factor, <laughs> he couldn't admit to it. <laughs> but the X factor in all this, and not a lot of people can say this. I know, you know, the man to my left can, but you know, 22 years running hydrant. You know what I mean? That's that's longevity and 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 like you said, consistency for that long and two state championships. You know, he's definitely in the in the conversation for sure, Chris. Twan, Twan, I I do I want to jump in on that. I, uh, Chris, from another we, all, we all started about the same time. And we're going to talk about Chuck Treglian in a little bit, right? He's going to run probably his last shot of Sea Hose in just a minute. Uh, the fact that Chris, at basically his age now, we're all 41 or so, I, I couldn't do this right now. 
you know? Right. And he's doing it, and he's not only doing it, he's the best still, right? He's a generation at this point of doing it consistently, right? But and, I'm going to say he's doing it better now than he was even I think he might be right. Ago. I think he might be right. I mean, and that being said, 2011 uh, North Lindy, 10 out of 10 B-Hoes and C-Hoes in the 2011 stage drill, they have been doing it for forever. But he's been doing it for for actual forever at this point. It, he's in the argument and, and from a longevity standpoint alone. And again, to give you the number, that's it. that was his 43rd ever motorized hose shot. All right, here we go. Oh, my God. North Belmore is all over. He's got to get out of the gas. Had to get out of the gas. There, to me, it's something with the truck now because he's in the gas and it's really all. Not a great feeling on the back of that one right there. Yeah. He's having trouble even getting the hydrant on. Yeah, I mean, that's a, a bad feeling. As soon as he left the start line, he went way left and then corrected and he went way right. Yeah, can't and he had to get out of the gas. got to shut it down. Overtime for North Belmore, overtime. He where that happens, but you, you got to yeah. shut it down. Smart driving there. That was it. That was Mike you know, we talk about big shots. That was a big yeah. one for them. Yeah. West Westerners. Just to finish that thought on Chris Connell, guys, and then we'll move on. You know, that was his 43rd motorized hose shot, and they're looking to score for the 22nd time in 43. And, you know, in hoses, you know how much of that's on the nozzle man, too, right? But I think 500. Stuff there. <laughs> All, right. Um, good. All right, so you got it? Uh, no, go ahead, brother. I'm just saying getting back to this. <laughs> yeah. Getting back to this, we got a 47 from... The uh, Farmerville Bandits, and then that 54 from the Knockers, 66 Hobos. 83. And then it's 83 Spencerport. 97 and Dutch. 97 to the Dutch, so. It's been a good sea truck day, guys. You know, 923 fifth place. And we still ladder got some it. people yeah. that can play this contest. Yep. Uh, West Hempstead opportunity. What's their, what they look like this year, Billy? 13-0, uh, best of the year. Yep. At, yep, at the county, 1303, And that's at Rockville Center with uh, about the same time to water. Yeah. So. Oh, they're getting better. I mean, I tell you what, uh, they got Cody Mara back. The last couple times out, Cody wasn't here. He took a he took a little bit of a shot at the uh, county tournament and uh, motor pump, knocked his shoe off. He had to take him off the track with one shoe on. But uh, anyhow, shoe Cody. So, so Ralph Flair stepped in for the last couple of weeks. Ralph Flair Jr. and uh, now Cody's back today to run this uh, shot. Let's let's see if he can put it on. That food just disappeared. Did he, did where, did the, where did the food go? They must hate you. you know. Man, you weren't kidding me. You said Northern doesn't like you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they won't even feed you, Paul. Holy cow. Yeah, we're guilty by association. I'm wasting away to nothing over here. Okay, here comes West Hempstead. Let's see if we can get it again done here. Danny Brown's going to do a nice job on the hydrant. Matt Sinatra anchoring for him. We all know Kenny Bone really does a nice job with the transition. That's always been his game. Chris Murphy calls Cody Mara the best nozzle and you've heard of. Let's see if we can. There we go. He's the other Mara. Got a 7-5 seven, got a seven five to his, under his belt. And Kenny Bone keeps it straight as an arrow. Uh, here it comes. Nozzle right on. on. Little mid stanchion, yeah. Little, little cross, stanchion. guys. He was 745 by the time he turned it on. Yeah, a little. little uh, Probably cost a couple there. of tents. Yeah. yeah. Exclamation point. Miss me. <laughs> Time for West Hempstead with penalty. 13-17. Call 346. And another one. That 46-44 area is what's everybody's been around. Number 17, the Lindenhurst. I'll tell you, you can really see Cody. He looked comfortable up top. Nice drop by Kenny on the on the. Yeah, nozzle Kenny drove it there. great. He drove, drove it straight. Put him in a nice position to get it on the hydrant. Just had that little cross thread. Yeah, Danny, a little cross thread, but he uh, didn't, didn't throw the handle. Finished the run, 13-17, out of the money. Uh, 19 people still left in the Wildcat pool. If you want some Kevin Wheelock shirts, please go down by the East Dice of Camp. Twenty dollars. Just remind everybody. State tournament day here up in Deerfield. And what a beautiful track. And look at the crowd, not just in the stands, but all the way down the fence here to where the camps are. You see crowds of people. Yes. <laughs> it's the biggest crowd we've had in a long time. Absolutely. This is just for you, Billy. Whoa, look at that. That is a sausage and a half. You like a sausage? <laughs> no, I'm good, bro. Never on a Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Never on a Sunday. A Sunday. Reminds Billy of college. <laughs> Must be Germany. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, the snails come to the line right now. I'm good, man. Thank you, though. Snails come to the line 1307 at the Selden invite. Their best of the season. Here's, here's where the mustard yellow shirt would have come in. 8 12 to today as uh, Billy Cornell is going to have to. He's got mustard his on microphone. the microphone. Yeah, right. <laughs> he does. That's oh, a nice one up. <laughs> These guys are going to have to get busy down here. They came up short. He's got nozzle on. Oh, oh, if he, oh, hit that, if if he, he hits that. that. Oh, man, that's going to be close. 738 on the handle, guys. A little slower than we've seen. He actually had to stop really hard. I think he actually got a tug from his, his dragger there. He actually had to wait for him to catch up. Yeah, nice job by Brendan attacking that thing. Pat Mulcair just misses the target on that first shot and washes a little bit. Time for Lindenhurst, 13.58. Call 363. Giving away two tenths. <laughs> Guys, uh, uh, as, as, as we're getting ready for... Uh, Number 18, the Miller Place extinguisher. As we're getting ready for uh, Miller Place to get going here, just wanted to give some thank yous to folks hitting the tip jar right now. Uh, Jeremy McGowan, T. Flynn, uh, Christy Santoli helping us out. Jack Miller, hello, how are you, Jack? Uh, Joe Rizzo, who's one of our regulars. Uh, Janine Stark throwing us a, a, a bunch of dollars. John Simone, 25 bucks, John. Rob Simone, 50 bucks, it's a competition. And uh, but but a couple other guys throwing in big time money. Howie Lilly with a hundred bucks for his uh, probably third year in a row. Thanks, Howie. T Finn, a hundred bucks. Guy and Bezzy, a hundred bucks. Thank you guys. That's crazy. We really appreciate the generosity. And uh, uh, if anybody else wants to throw in a tip to uh, to the chip jar because you're enjoying being able to watch, uh, we'll hit the tip jar one more time, Matt. Uh, that's uh, NYSFD Drill Teams uh, at Venmo. Uh, throw us a couple bucks. We appreciate it, guys. Thank so you, Chris. Yo. How much money has to get in that tip jar this year for us to go to uh, go to dinner again? <laughs> let's cut. Let's cut to the chase. Well, he saw how much you spent last year on your meal, so it's going to have to be a lot. I didn't even. It's like not it. going to be minus the mustard because if you bring you. if you bring your microphone, it's full of mustard. How'd you get it on the other side of your mouth? I don't know. <laughs> show within. It, by the, the show. way, this sausage Dude, is spicy. It's, it's a it's a big sausage. That's <laughs> the biggest you've ever had, and you've had a lot. Here we go. Miller place. All right, so we'll give him a chance. The teaser, oh, one in the hose. Oh, they're creeping. They went down a little early. He's going to have the boogie. Gets it. Nice. nice target. It. Great job by the breaker. Backhand. You see that? He backhanded the breaker on that one. 743 on the handle, guys. Uh, probably not going to get it there. Time for Miller Place. 13. 13. Wow, came a lot away with the truck there. 65. I've been saying this for how long, fellas? The water on matters. You're seeing the teams that put the water on faster getting the better times. So you're saying if you put the water on faster, you get a better time? But people don't do it. It's common sense. <laughs> That's, uh... Nobody's been doing it. That is... Everybody wants to run a 7-3-7-2 every week. But look what happens when a couple teams run 6-8. Really going out on a limb with that cold It gets tape, better. Bro. It gets a lot better. Spicy take by Paulie. Well, that's the sausage. That sausage is spicy. <laughs> Woo! Spicy like, take. I don't like a lot of spicy. If you want, food. if you want to run a better time, make sure you turn the water on as fast as possible. <laughs> right? <laughs> how, how long have I been saying that? Just imparting wisdom. It doesn't happen often. That's about my point. You Incredible. Sausage in you guys there? can try to mess with me all you want. I got that's, it right. That's like a Booger McFarland uh, comment right there. <laughs> if you want to get a first down, you're going to need ten yards. <laughs> Not Thanks. obvious. Thanks, Paul Booger. Suskind. Thanks, Booger. Listen, we haven't seen stick times better than uh, seven ten this many of them all the year. Maybe uh, all year, maybe put together. I got a, I got a mini theory here. Okay, I'm gonna save it till after we see the uh, Manhasset Lake Lake men come down the track. I got a mini, the I got a tiny theory on what's going on right mini now. Mini brain, Chris. You have a lot theory. of theories. I got a ton, but this one I think you guys might buy. All right, but hang tight. It's a little teaser. He threw an interception because he threw it to the other team. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Booker McFarland, for that call. <laughs> Shout out to the uh, non-racing Simone family text group that we have. That's We always make Booger McFarlane jokes. You guys are probably listening in. Did, uh, Rob Simone, did my brother Rob really give $50? There's no way he's got $50 to donate. <laughs> you better take that back, Rob. Come on, man. Paul Washington on the line. Big shot here. Come on, Danny. I got him there. Oh, what a Oh, they slide in up the top. He's going to have to get Oh, you just saw it. 
He was a little bit behind the nozzle and didn't get over it enough to make it turn, get a click turn, I should say. That was one of the best slides by a breaker man it we've was. seen today, if not all season. It was. I feel like he slid right off the truck. He didn't even take a step right down. You. All right, here's my quick theory. 1955. Yeah, quick theory is, a lot of teams, Paul, you are not wrong. A lot of teams may be pulling back a little bit, trying to uh, get water in the hose, right, in this contest. Happy to run a, a 7.15, but make it happen and maybe take an extra step or two. This is a track today that we know isn't stopping, right, it, it relatively compared. And so all of a sudden, a team that might have come in with a conservative drop, all of a sudden that drop turns into a not conservative drop, a real drop. Exactly. And next thing you know, they're plopped right on top. The thing that I'm impressed by today, and there's a couple things going on here, is how many hydromen have lit it up, period, stop, right? We haven't seen, even with these spicier drops, hydromen not hooking up. They're still getting the job done, right? I wonder if that has something to do with the fact that this hydrant here is one of the tallest yeah, hydrants exactly. in the state. That's part of it. Okay, there's a little inside info there, a little inside baseball. But uh, and here's a, a, a Hydra man coming down right now who loves those tall hydrants. So we'll. Uh, All I've been saying is give a brother a chance. Yeah. Give a brother a chance. Don't leave him back there. Put him right on it. Who is the Hydra man? Uh, who is? I don't know. Who is? Who's on first? All I want to see is Skeletor. Is. I'm watching Skeletor in action right here. You got to watch Skeletor out there. He's you have to. 29 years he's been doing a job out here. And, 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 and talk about a, a guy that isn't well known. We all know Skeletor, but probably doesn't get the credit for jumping off the trucks as long as he can. And you know he's a guy you can throw in any position and get it done, right? He, I, I, and pr I promised him we talked to him for 45 seconds. And he goes right, to here balls. Goes. Here we go. The Hydra, they're back a little bit. That's the first team that had to run a little bit. They went past it, now they get it. Nice job breaking by himself up top. 7.63, he was deep, was able to get back to the hydrant, but uh, not what they were shooting for. A little bit of Sahara. Well, they got a little. Gobi. Not as parched. The Gobi. The Gobi. You know, you see the, you see the top of that. There's a 48 to the cone by Carl Place. And you're seeing all these numbers at the top of the 12s, and now we're hitting consistent those 13s, right? And it's all about the water on. Did you see the nozzle man there? Take his hand off, put his hand over his head, like, give me the water. Yeah. Keep your hand on there. <laughs> you know what? After all those times, he's probably frustrated. I don't know if he was saying, give me water, or he was saying, what the heck? Where is the water? That's what you were saying. Yeah, I think Where so is it? I think it was a combination of both there, Paulie. A little bit of frustration, but they both went by. So if he hits, yeah. I don't know if they're done. Uh, I don't know if they're going to make the hookup anyway. Yeah, no, I agree. And he broke by himself, so it would have been tight. So he gave Skeletor all those props, and he didn't even get involved in the story. <laughs> but <laughs> guys, he, does, he, he, back, does, he backed him up. He does go to calls, however. Guys, over over 1,300 viewers watching right now. Uh, 1,300 screens, I should say, with uh, lots of watch parties and tons, tons of donations rolling in for the Venom. I'll try to recap in just a second, but uh, All right. people are uh, sending in their love, and we appreciate it. Ah, we appreciate right. it. It's right. We, we love having the viewers chime in, tell us what's going on. Tell us something you like. Tell us something you don't like, even if it's Billy. So message received. Stop talking about Skeletor. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> 1,300 people listening at home. Yeah, right. <laughs> that comes. Don't do that to him. That's not that. No, uh, he's my pal. That, you know? that was he's Twan. Twan said that. Yeah, Skeletor did not get the job done there. <laughs> that was Billy. You nice like job, him. nice job, Skeletor. So I made transit on the line. Yeah, go ahead. After this shot, we'll. Uh, They're running on the the 1992 state champion special C truck right here. I think Ricky's running hydrant, right? Yeah, Ricky Bell on the hydrant. Coming in. See where he leaves him. Little fishtail. Ricky's off. Now he puts the water in. All right. Nozzle, Nozzle on. on. And there we go. All right. 825 on the handle. He did a nice job. He actually used the coupling to stop him. Otherwise, he was going by up here. Time for main transit. One, there is it. There is a one. Three, 14, 23. Call 367. To the lights, number 33, the uh, Hicksville, Hicks. All right, so we're, we're heading into uh, the uh, the bottom third or fourth of the uh, scorecard right now. And, you know, we talked about it a little bit earlier about the East Islip Guzzler shot. Chuck Treglia, Murphy, you were telling me this is going to be his last shot of sea hose potentially? Yeah, that's that's what uh, my buddy Chuck told me is that this is probably his last ride. He's not going to be running B-Hose Hydrant. It'll be 
uh, uh, sea hose only for Chuck. And Chuck, the uh, long-standing state record sea hose hydrant man, has a resume that really probably is only uh, you know rivaled by Chris Connell's at this point. Um, he's uh, he is one of the best of all time, especially in this contest. And uh, we will get a chance to uh, to see him take one last pass at it right here after uh, the Hicksville Hicks give it a go. So it's going to be a little quick. It's going to be Hicksville, and then obviously I have Islip, and then East Islip back to back with a couple teams in between. But just quickly, we'll talk about them for a couple teams. You know, the the longest first place winning streak in an event belongs to those East Islip girls with Chuck as the Hydra man. They won Sea Hose in the state drill every year from 2012 to 2016. That's five in a row. Winning Sea Hose, 12 flat, 12-12, 12-43, 12-53, 12-76, and not only five in a row, but also seven in nine years. As we quickly turn our attention now to the Hicks coming down the track. More on that in a minute. Little trouble on the hookup. Yeah, and waiting on hose there. Yeah, you know, on your point there, Twan. Yeah, one of those years they didn't be all right. They also didn't run because Tom Driver was hurt. Right. He had an accident. Oh, they they didn't run that year at all. Uh, the sea uh, truck. Yeah, so, right. so okay. really, it's, it's like it's, eight, it's seven out eight. You know. Just swallow 15, first. <laughs> all right. Swallow so his fingers. Just, 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 just breathe, dude. <laughs> he doesn't have enough hands. I'm oh, sorry, the uh, East Farmingdale hair is coming up next, but as we uh, prep for, for Chuck, you know, just give him a little more flowers. Here we go. Uh, no, this is actually East Farmingdale, I think I just announced. I don't know, is it? No, yeah, this is East, this, yeah. this is East Farm. Oh, okay. The, right. yellow, the yellow shirts threw us off for a second. All right, so are you ready, are you ready for what's at stake for Chuck Treglia? Did I say his last name correct? Treglia, yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay, are you ready for what's at stake? Here we go. In the history of the state tournament, this is the 75th state drill, we've said that several times, the Patchogue 40 Thieves have won sea hose the most times, nine wins. The East Eyes of Guzzlers, eight wins. Yeah. He's got a chance to go out, potentially first place shot, to tie the Patchogue 40 Thieves with the most wins in sea hose. Can he do it? Can he beat that 1247? Juani, are all eight his? Um, that is something yeah, good that question, might Rob. not be true. Let's I think, see. I think I, Brophy, he's got seven of them. Oh, and then they got the one in 2001. Yeah, I think Brophy's got uh, one. So no, that that would have been uh, Larry. Larry uh, Larry, Rose. Rose. Larry Hanneman. Yeah, that's Larry right. Rose. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, and 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 there was a season there where I think uh, Pat Dunn might have run, but I, I don't think that they won. Yeah, I don't think year. so. But I it, we, unfortunately we didn't, we're not exactly sure who was in the mix. But regardless, seven. those five in a row are definitely yeah. Chuck. So. Five in a row, seven in nine years. Yeah, the other one in oh one, that's twelve eighteen. Uh, he's farm. Was he's the farm state drill record for a couple years as well. Comes in at the hydrant. <laughs> That's got one on the hose. Big Matt Gilbert. Let's see if he can hit it here. Oh, they have trouble breaking it. Now he gets a nozzle up, but he just doesn't get enough turns in it. I think he thought he had it on. He got it now. So once this time is announced, we're going to go ice the wolves, east ice of guzzlers, yeah. back to back with some storylines ready to play out in front of us. Wow, the storylines. Do we have storylines? Sweep, sweep the hydro man. Turn on the water. <laughs> Let's go. The hell's you know, going on? I tell right you, there. you don't often see Matt Kilbridge give away a nozzle well, shot. Well, I thought the issue there was breaking it apart. Yeah, that's what I mean. Couldn't get it apart. Usually, usually he's got good hands and he puts it together. All right, so this is a huge shot for this drill because right now, yep. uh, Central Ice up sitting with three points in this contest. Say that again. Three points in this contest currently for CI. So to me, Islip, who's down three to Central Ice up, has to beat the 66. Yep. Because they can't keep losing those one points here and one points there. Beat the 66, you gain one. Can you beat a 54 and gain two? Yeah, uh, that well. And that plays both ways. You would hope North so. North Lindy's gaining one no matter uh, what. So yeah, you know, interesting. This is a big shot. Right it's now. a big shot amongst those, those players, right? Yeah. Those are the players all years long, and yeah. here they are. You would think they got to go sub seven flat on the handle to uh, yeah. compete with those couple of numbers, based off what we've seen. I agree, Rob. And Watson drove a really nice shot to see ladder for him. See, to me, the, uh, heavy on the hydrant here. You know, we, we've seen a 41 by the team that's winning this contest. We've seen a couple 44s, some 46s. You know, Scott Rice drove it like he didn't care what the cone time was. He knew he was going to be fine. Is Mike Wellen going to drive it like that? I miss you. I got, you got it, right? Yeah. They put it in the 12 sixes twice. Never in the 12 fives. When I say never, I'm talking about this year only. All right. Track's clear right now. Let's see what they got. I tell you, you can... it's like you know what I don't like about this. 
them standing alone in a forest. I don't like how all of a sudden you got to get hyped up. Let's put everybody together, right? The backpack. The back, I, <laughs> we, got, we got a little bit of an empty backpack. We got maybe a pencil in the backpack right now. Now, is that too far gone, that joke? <laughs> oh, he bounces it. Stays in the oh, gas. No. Oh, I'll tell you what. Just messy from the beginning, right? What, yeah. what, did the, wheel, the wheels came off the, the line? The wheels come off the ground. He bounced it. He stayed in the gas. But then he loses his bearings, I believe, a little bit. And he's going to go past the hydrant. I'm going to give Heavy a huge kudos. He tried to get off, I even know. though he was going by. Guys, I think they're going to get no red time. flag for the same thing that happened with Westbury before. Agree. They broke it uh, you know, before it hit the ground. Or, yep. did the, or did the front tires not break the timing? No, line? it's down here. No time for ice whip. Coupling was broke before it hit the ground. Yeah, go. Matt. I saw wild. It's wild we see that twice in one day and it's haven't crazy. seen it in like 35 years. Rodden caught it and he broke it before he put it on the ground. Unbelievable. Oh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm frustrated just as a viewer right now because, yeah. uh, you know, we, we talked a little bit about how the conditions today, these trucks are running so well. That truck hooked up so well coming out of the hole. It picked the tires up off the ground. Yeah, yeah. You know, that hasn't happened. We've ne we never see that from the Isle of Wolves. It just, exactly. I think, has to do with how these trucks are running today. Let me ask you this, guys. Just say that was to uh, how Chateau gone off how they wanted to, and it was a 12-4, 12-5. How controversial would that call have been then? Yeah, well, pretty Yeah, I would, I would have imagined that they would have, have laid happened. hose yeah. uh, properly yeah. at that point. You know, I don't know that they made the call. Uh, we'll go back to Isleb in a second, but here's the man we were talking about before, Chuck Treglia. I hate that I'm putting this much pressure on him, but... Uh, but yeah, he, he's not listening, I don't think. No, I don't think, I, but he'll go back, I'm sure, <laughs> uh, you know, but... Uh, but Chuck's going to give it one last shot here. And again, this 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 is Chuck, one of well, the most prolific Seahose Hydramen of all time, especially in the state drop. That's just uh, Jeez, right? I hope when I go out and run again, you guys are going to say nice things about me. But anyway, so Chuck kicks the leg right there. He's putting it right on the grass. He's going to mow some grass right here coming down. We can and do here they come. They're lawn mowing. Tommy keeps it straight as an arrow. He's going to give him the shot. Let's him out. There goes Chuck. Water in the hose. Oh, he got it. 697. Robbie on, Robbie on. Where'd the water go? I don't know. I think it's still in the money. Good shot there for Chuck. Way to go out. 48 to the cone. Uh, if he hits that, I mean, you're right. The water time didn't seem like it really was there. It didn't really push through. Well, fifth place. Paulie. Yep. He ain't as good as he once uh, once was, but yeah. he's good as once as he ever was. How's it going? I forget. I blew it. Uh, I think he got that line from me. <laughs> but I'm as good once. He looks great. He looks great. But I'm as good once as I ever was. Hey, thank you. There you there go, Toby Keith. Sorry, I, I blew it. And he, he does a hell of a job right there. If he gets water in the hose, they run a 12. Thank you. No doubt. If the clock Tommy Drywa, I mean, we, we, we were joking uh, the other day about lawn mowing, but he, he drove that thing on a rope no, down the street. 100%. And uh, Islip and East Islip have always had similar tuned trucks. Um, I was, I'm was i wondering if going into that run, it's in the back of his mind seeing Islip, uh, you know, but but Tommy. Chris, I'm going to try and grab Chuck if you. Uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Give me a second. Chuck, you got a sec? Hey, yes, Chucky. He just blew Rob right off. He's like, nope. Ah, nope. No, I got right here. I'm with uh, Chucky Treglia from East Islip. Chuck, there's a, there was a rumor on the radio that this might have been your last shot at Seahose. Is there any truth to that? I, uh, I think it is. I think it is. All right. uh, if so, uh, you, you, you'll be happy to know. I mean, you've run it over and over and over, but you've won this contest at the state drill seven times as a hydrant man is what we've figured out. And right now you look like you've positioned yourself to score in this contest. Uh, yeah, hell of a career, hell of a career, and one of the uh, one of the all-time best hydromen we've ever seen. I appreciate that. Appreciate that coming from you. Uh, it's uh, you know we got some young guys coming up, and I think it's uh, it's hard. It's hard these days, the young guys. So I think it's time. I've done all I can, and uh, you know now to give back to the young guys and hopefully uh, continue the tradition. That's great, Chuck. Hopefully you'll stick around and help coach, and uh, we'll see you. Definitely. All right, all right, come Good luck Selden. the rest of the day. Because Selden. He's out in the track a little bit. Oh, he doesn't get off the truck. Something's going on. The Hydra Man got off the truck at the nozzle. What happened I, I, there? I, I, I tell you. I'm going to say you're probably going to get a no time for picking the, uh, for breaking the <laughs> coupling 200 feet past the target. Yeah, no, traditionally. Nobody's breaking anything. <laughs> 
Wait what? a second. What happened? What happened? The slack man got off. I've seen some things. I think it was a little warm at the hydrant, and the hydrant man just said no mas. The hydrant man is supposed to get off at the hydrant. He looked like he was I, bewildered. I get no breaks when I get off at the hydrant. I mean, I stand, but I try to. I have never seen that in my life. I'm, that was wacky. He's lucky the horse didn't get up underneath the truck and go around the drive shaft like right. they have us one year. He didn't even like he didn't have it wrapped around the bar or anything. No, I don't. I, I, I don't feel like getting off. I don't know. <laughs> the anchor man was off. I know. Guys, oh uh, gosh. Be, before we uh, continue here with our uh, top five times here in Sea Hose, uh, Farmingville still at the top here, lined up right now at least to win Sea Hose for the second time in two years. That uh, three years, years three excuse years. me. Uh, it, really an unbelievable accomplishment for a team that just a few years ago uh, was was just hoping to scratch the surface of the state drill. Uh, not only success, but consistency. And these guys need some flowers too, right? Yeah, oh, listen, they've been one of the better host teams yeah. for a while now. Uh, up in Main Transit a couple years ago when they won it last, that's what catapulted them into a top five that day. And I... Farmer Bill, you're looking at again today. This is going to give them what if they keep with the five right here? Put, put six, I they have yeah. the one other point, so it's going to give them Moves six. Them they can run B-Hose. They can run the rest of the day pretty much. Here we go. They're another team looking at top five. Here's, here's uh, South Hempstead. Here comes Mike Spatz on the hydro. Let's see what he can do. Oh, no. Yeah, that was a tough drop. I'll tell that you was what. hot. Spatz tried to get back and reach his arm out, but he was going head over, ass over tea kettle forward at that point. It was I, hot on both ends, guys. Even up top, they got off. Uh, I, I spoke to Spatz the other day. We were talking about hard. that exact thing that just happened. He goes, sometimes he's going to give it to me on this side, but then those other overtime times, it's just too much. Overtime. I mean, I think that was really hot, and Mike made it look kind of hot. Yeah. You True know? True story. You know, if you want to get back to follow up on what you were just saying about Farmingville, send them a little flowers, like you said. So Farmingville, right? So you just mentioned it before, Chris, how they how they are, you know, looking to take first place in Seahawks for the second time in three years. They placed fourth in the state in 2021. You know, their first top five finish in quite a while, actually. Uh, you know, probably ever in the history, yes. right? Uh, their first win. That was their first event win at at a state drill at Seahawks. You know the. Figure around 2015, they really started putting their, their this team together. The, prior to 2015, they only scored in a state drill one time. That mm -hmm. was in three-man ladder in 2000. So since 2015, you have them scoring year after year, including a top five overall finish. So the Farmingville Bandits, you know, one of the, the, the better stories out there for, uh, you know, the, the 20 teams in the early 2020s. So hope to see them maybe you know, in the mix at the end of the day for top five again. I, they, it's not out of the realm of possibility to see them do the same thing in B-Hose, and that would be pretty incredible, you know? Yeah, yeah no doubt. And, and they, they're they a team that, in the beginning of the year, just really looked discombobulated. Yeah. Like, they didn't have it all together. I mean, three points at Lindenhurst, one point at yeah, Eric, no, one and, point and at listen, CI, two points at Hempstead. They, they had the, the climber situation. Yeah. Justin was yeah. hurt in the beginning of the year. And you know, they slowly That's start to put it together. Yeah, Oyster to, Bay, guys, yeah. a good little host team here, too. Might have something to say. Oh, also, why little? A good medium host team. There we go. Talk about the drive. All right, here we go. Well, brings him in. He's got water in the hose. This is a place if he can hit the target. Oh, uh, gets a nozzle on. Hey. Oh, like oh. Steve O'Neill. That's it by himself. Up top. 740 on the handle, guys. Good recovery up top. Way to break it by himself. What's fifth right now? 1288, I think. Yeah, yeah. yep. So we just have the gunslinger is going to be the last chance. Up to the lights. Number 44. The Hagerman Gambler. Cool nickname. Tell me about the gunslinger. Uh, because he's got such a quick stick hand. You yeah. know, it's like like when you pull the gun out of your yeah, pocket. Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to say Andy Oakley, but he's no Andy Oakley. He's more like uh, Buffalo Bill Cody or somebody like that, right? <laughs> yeah. Wild Bill Hickok. It's been a bit of off year for the gunslinger this year so far. Well, you know, like we said, you, you lose Johnny on the flap. Right, kind of you lose a key player over. like that. And, and this, this is where you miss Johnny on the flap. No doubt about it right here, right? You know. Because that makes a difference. When you get that guy that consistently can put the flag up like that, that makes a difference. 
Yeah, I tell you, it's, it's, as a hydro man, you know that. I mean, you keep sending water oh, down yeah. range, and it, it just keeps, you know, it takes the life out of you, too. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah, the Farmerville point you were making before, that seems like every year goes to them. First three, four tournaments, they're all over the place, and they start dialing in around the county, and then by the state tournament, they're ready to go. Yep. That six points to put them right, right in the mix of this. Uh, yeah, and now you get hungry. Like, oh, man, hey, wait a second. Not only what, what they come in with uh, Main Transit, was it fifth? Yep. Yeah. So, hey, that was their first time ever. Why can't we come in third? Why can't we come in fourth? Maybe do better than that. Of course. You know, much like the Farmingville Bandits kind of came into their own in, like, that 2015-16 range. This team on the line, you know, you could say the same for the Hagerman Gamblers up on the line. I know that you said that they lost their nozzle, man. It's a big one to take, right? But, um you know, Lindenhurst invite win in 2020, Point Pleasant win in 2020, motor pump, Here we state go. record. Robert Tashio bringing them in. Yeah. Tight line. Here comes Cola. He's giving it to him. Oh, he's got 100. And 686. Oh, oh, nice looking job, Aaron Allen. Wait a minute. 686, guys. That's How the about that? best handle of the day. Woohoo! That's why I call him the gunslinger. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> That stick hand was insane. This could be uh, in the money. He was deep, right on top of it. Time for Hageman with penalty. Ooh. One, two, point six, two. Whoa. Oh. That is a player. That is, that That's a player, shot. everybody. That it's takes a, a, it takes a point away from the Sent hobos. That's it right. is a tweener between the piston knockers and the hobos. Now, if the piston knockers end up going on to win this thing today, you could be looking right back at that monkey wrench. There that is a is. classic monkey wrench type of shot right there from the Hagerman Gamblers, 1262. Obviously, Hagerman, now that puts them in a position to be playing for the rest of the day, maybe top five, maybe not quite a, as much of a monkey wrench because usually we reserve those for the teams that don't finish top five, right? But Yes. Big shot right there. No, that's and, a huge shot. And, it just showed you what the putting the water on a little quicker will do for you, right? I think somebody, yeah. somebody really <laughs> cool said that. <laughs> All right, All right fellas, I'm going to head down there for a couple of presentations. All right, so that's going to be a third place finish for those gamblers. It's going to take, like I said, a point away from the hobos. Everyone update your sheets, update your sheets. That the Spencer Port Red Onions are going to be uh, chipping away again. Look at that back-to-back -back contest for them. Yeah. All right. Good truck right there. Nice move for them. 1283 gets them a point. Josh Marshall laying it up. Wow, we have a lot of teams that have scored. You know, ladies and gents, we're just kind of taking a minute here to update some scores. Well, it is guys uh, windy up here. Go ahead, Chris. Ma massive, massive oh time there by Hagerman to uh, affect this possible drill, right? But uh, impressively, too, uh, it knocked out East Islip. But with Farmingville and Hagerman now, I think you said it before, Billy, we've got 13 teams with points so far I'm in this drill. Yeah, is that right? I was looking at that, yeah. One, two, three. It's spread out all over the place. And the difference here and then some of the other well, drills that we've had is that all the racing has been really great. Right, I, you know, uh, I think back to 2015, it felt like uh, points were spread all over the place, but there was a lot of sloppy racing. Uh, we've had nothing, but I feel like, but, but real great show right now, right? A, a lot of good shots. I'll tell you something, the, the Hydra men had a good, a good, a good event there. Yeah. No, no water across the track from anybody. Class C. First place, five points, with the time of 12.47. Number three, Farmingdale. Second place, four points, number 12, North Lindenhurst. Third place, three points, number 44, Hagerman. Fourth place, two points, number 11, Central Islip. Fifth place, one point, number eight, Spencer Ford. So that's going to do it for Seahose. We're going to get a little... Um Holy interview down there with the Farmingville Bandits, but congratulations to Justin Russo and the boys. Uh, their second win over on Seahose. Let's throw it down to Paulie Suskind. All right, we're here with the Farmingville Bandits. Winners at the Seahose contest now. You guys have won this contest for the second time in the last three years. What does it feel like to be Farmingville Bandits winners at the Seahose contest? Well, it's been a great season. Uh, I mean, we've had some great teams that have been in there. Uh,
congratulations to Bum Bill Bandis, winners at the Sea Hose Contest. All right, hang on one second and, here. And you see it on your screen at home, ladies and gentlemen. It is, it is a tight. close, close race going into B-Hoes. The Hobos have 12, the Piston Knockers 9, the Wolves have 7, the Bandits and the Dutchman both have 6. We drop off to the Red Onions with 5. They're still in the mix. Uh, what about North Belmore for the rest of the day? They're holding in with 3. We were seeing if they could get back top 5 for the day. So a lot of racing left to go on. It's a tight draw. This is exactly what we want to see going into B-Hoes if you are a fan of this game. 12-9. Tuan, before you throw, I just want to give another few shout-outs to everybody who's been super generous. Drop a couple more names real quick, okay? Mike Schopel, uh, Ryan Mead, Rick, uh, Richard Gallagher. All right, we're here with the winners of oh, the combination. We'll let them do this combo trophy quick. Sea Ladder and Sea Host, the North Linares Piston Knockers. They win what is called the Friendship Cup and also this brand-new leg trophy in honor of Kevin Wheelock, past president of this organization that runs this grill. The New York State Parade and Drill Team Captain Association. His family is here to present it to the North Linda Hearst Piston Knockers. Kevin, what does it mean to win this trophy in honor of wheels? Uh, when I seen it yesterday, I said I wanted it. I'm glad we did it. No doubt about it. Scott Rice, we spent a lot of good time with wheels and his family here over the years. What does it mean to you? You know, it, it, it's true what you say. We were going up to the Northern Banquet. I was president, you were vice president, wheels was president. It was absolutely unbelievable. We forged a friendship. He came down to our dinners. We went up to theirs. It was absolutely awesome. I see that picture, and it breaks my heart. And he is one of the best officials, best men, strong men. Loved him. And I'm so honored to have it. Awesome. The winners of both trophies for Seal and the North Carolina House Piston Knockers. All right. Thanks, guys. Chris, anything to add before I throw it back to yeah, you? Yeah, just, I just wanted to uh, I, I, wa I want to talk about Kevin Wheelock real quick, too. Uh, just, uh, you know, the salt of the earth guy. And, uh, and, and he would be here right now, and, and it would be so great to be talking to him right now. We miss him a lot, and this trophy is definitely a great tribute to him. Uh, I wanted to get another couple of names out there real quick. Folks jumping in with, uh, with Venmo donations. James McIntosh, Gail Farmer, Jamie Smith, Thomas McClendon. Uh, we got we mentioned Russ before Brian Ball, Kristen Benacasa, my cousin Brian. Hey Brian, uh, Courtney Dela Cruz, Ellen Gunchin, Amanda Miller, Gene Christensen, Mike Adams. Hey Mike, uh, Brian came in with another donation actually. Thanks Brian. I don't know if you didn't mean to do that, but I don't care. We're keeping it. Uh, Joe Patty, Melanie Riley with 50 bucks. Kevin Robert. Hey Kevin, 50 bucks. Thanks man. Joe Congero, Diane Lohan, 50 bucks. Hannah. Hey Hannah. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Hannah, with the new baby. Uh, Nolan Anthony, Kyle Hogg, uh, Anthony Chick, and James Drost dropping 50 bucks on us, too. Um, we are up to uh, $1,100 in, uh, in the tip jar. Do we, do we get a horn for that? Uh, we do, brother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Meow. Uh, and also, uh, folks, if you do want to get a challenge coin, if you're not here on site today, the only way to get a challenge coin is if you become a super fan on YouTube. Hit the join button. It's $9.99 a month. Let us know that you like what we're doing here. We really appreciate that. I'm getting tons of texts from folks. I'm sure you guys are as well. Uh, my old pal, Carrie Horan, checking in. Long-time listener, first-time caller, telling us that she's really loving it. Um, we're, uh, we're having a great time. This is a slugfest, Juan, right? Oh, baby, we love it. And listen, when we get back for some b -hoes. we got Patch Affairs up here. And for you Immaculate Grid fans, we got something for you, too. Stay tuned. Attention firefighters. Want to see the latest in thermal imaging? Contact your local MES sales representative to arrange a live demonstration of the Seek Attack Pro, now NFPA certified. The Attack Pro's mixed game mode allows firefighters to see detail in the hottest and coolest regions of the scene at the same time without freezing and switching modes. Mixed gain simplifies and improves thermal imaging for the fire service. For a limited time, MES is offering an exclusive promotion. Every purchase of an Attack Pro comes with a complimentary apparatus charger. Head to www.mesfire.com for details and information. 
Integrated Wireless Technologies is proud to be the exclusive Motorola dealer for New York State Fire Department drill teams. IWT offers the full line of Motorola products to fire departments as well as David Clark headsets and sound off signal emergency lights. IWT is your one-stop shop for custom engineered radio solutions, licensing assistance, dispatch solutions, and top-notch reliable service with fully insured technicians. Start off your next radio upgrade with IWT. Check out their website at www.goiwt.com. Looking for something exciting and educational for the whole family? The Nassau County Firefighters Museum in Garden City has something for everyone. Kids can play on the fire trucks, dress up in gear, and spend an interactive day learning fire safety. For all of you New York State Fire Department drill team enthusiasts out there, come visit the Great Neck Alerts Vega Sea Truck and the Hewlett Smoky Stover's B Truck on display at the museum alongside classic films from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. An educational and interactive experience for all, open seven days a week for July and August. Visit them today. For more information, check out ncfiremuseum.org. The Long Island Firefighters Legislative Committee was formed by Suffolk and Nassau firefighters to fight for what matters to you. This organization acts as a conduit to our New York State and federal lawmakers to ensure that firefighters across the island are protected and treated with respect. In past years, the Long Island Firefighters Legislative Committee has helped to usher in the Ambulance Recovery Bill into law, which will deliver a much needed new stream of revenue to fire departments big and small. For more info on the Long Island Firefighters Legislative Committee and how you can help, contact Bill Thies at 631-466-6069. Long Island Firefighters Legislative Committee. Since 1973, Fire News has been a proud supporter of the time-honored tradition of New York State drill team racing. As they approach 50 years covering the fire service throughout New York and beyond, Fire News is honored to continue as the official publication and online coverage of the New York State drill teams. Look for ongoing coverage in Fire News on firenews.com and on Facebook. This contest is 15 seconds. Up to the lights, number one. The Riverhead Ironman! All right, we're back for the B Hose Contest. We just gave you the rundown before on the points. Uh, so we had a question at the uh, happy hour. You know, who, who had more Hydrant 7s? Was it you or was it Chris Murphy? <laughs> I wanted the answer. It was Did we get an answer on that, Chris? It was a tie. Did we get an answer, Twan? What was the tie? What was the tie? I don't know. They, 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 sevens they, running B Hose. Paul says he had 100. <laughs> Chris says he had 101. What was the real answer to the question? Seven each? Uh, Forty each. Forty each? You guys had a tie? It was a tie. So this is cool because of the search feature that has been created on New York State Drill Teams. Wow. Where you can search up think. things like that. You can just type in a bunch of search options, put in some years, and find out how many of a certain number you've run. So I have a question. Can you? How good is the search yeah, engine to do the immaculate grids? Here comes Riverhead. Yes. I, I need a minute on that. i got to get it set up. Here's John Tedeschi coming in. Oh, that uh, truck's a little all over. Probably his feet a little fast going across. And Why are we not getting off the truck? Okay. That was that, that she didn't get off in a uh, sea hose either. It's kind of, that's 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 how they run it there. Kind of her gig. Just yeah. somebody to get the dummy linked out. So oh, 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 my bad. I apologize. And to put some weight on the rig. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Time for Riverhead. One, two point five nine twelve. Come on, you ran a little host. So, so, so the two greatest hydrogen ever. I mean, both ran 40? 47? We're not talking that much weight there. Come on. <laughs> So what'd you find out, Twan? Okay, so th with the search engine, so you're telling me, so yesterday it was on the happy hour conversation where you guys were like, who ran more sevens? Murphy's like, I got 40. Right. And you said you had 40 first. So I said, all right, let me go see what some of the other people have. So we, we, I, I naturally did JoJo. Right. 43. There you go. Chris Connell, 50. Yeah. 50 sevens. Yep. So, so you're, you're not even in the know, top two. I don't care. You're not even in the conversation. I didn't race in Hempstead either. 40, I, that's a huge number, though, man. That's a good point. That's a fair point. Um, yeah, and you raced a lot JoJo's, more than JoJo's probably and I had gonna, Joe's going to come in with five different right nozzle men yelling and, and screaming at me with that. But, uh, so, <laughs> I had five different nozzle yep. men. Yeah. You Listen, can, you know, a lot of those, we, we're, we were only lot, go through those 8-0s and 8-1s, you know, those were, those were missed targets. You should you should have came to the Nassau County Drill at Hempstead. That man. If, if, the, if my nozzleman hit the target, I had 327s. 
<laughs> so that's one of, like I said, that's one of the cool things that you can do with the search engine on New York State drill teams. Danny Murphy had a lot to do with that. You just punch in a couple things. So for for Paulie, for you filling in your best times at Behos, you click Behos, you yeah. click Bayshore Redskins, and then you click every single year that you ran. It's literally you hit a search, cool feature. And the best comp the best shots come up. It, it displays 20 shots per page. Right. So if you go to page three and you're still in the sevens, you got you know 67. Oh. Not a lot of teams are going to get to page three. I'm going to tell well, you that. I'm wondering. So I was I was trying to do Robin Paris, and I uh, right he was how'd you mention Gary 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 Paris. Excuse me. And. Uh, I'll, I'll do it again because I don't North remember Babylon. what the number was, but I don't believe it North was in Babylon. A little deep. deep at the hydrant. All right, they finally get it on. Dom's up top. He's going to finish it up. Speak of the seventh sound. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Do it. Who's right next to us? We, we have Patch Affairs. He, man who ran many sevens back in his day. It's surprisingly, no, not really. There, there was some shots. <laughs> Time for North yeah. Babylon. One four oh. point zero four. <laughs> 14-0-4. Up to the lights, number three, the Farmingville Bandits. All right, you. Yeah. All right, so really not many because of that that era. It was just starting with sevens. The satin hose was in 77, 78. Uh, and uh, I, I stopped in 85 uh, due to an injury. So um, just off the cuff, there's some, there's three good ones. With the Hempstead Blues. Oh, okay. But one of the best uh, sevens ever run was run by you. Pat, make sure your mic's on. <laughs> yeah, it, it's on. I hear him. Just hold it closer. Listen, while Pat's doing that and while we're getting ready, actually, Farm we're, still, why are we still rolling up hose here? Taking a while? Is that I, had to, I had to measure it uh, oh, okay. early on. It's still measuring length. Yeah, we're looking at... Uh, yeah, yep. top five or seven teams are going to measure it until they get out of the mix, then they'll stop doing that all the time. Yeah, oh, then, uh, okay. then we start measuring girth. Listen, while, <laughs> while that's going on, the Farmingville Bandits are getting ready. This is a big shot for them right now. They're in the mix with six points, fifth place on the day. They have scored in b at the State Journal three consecutive years. Ooh. Second place in 19, second in 21, and then a fourth last year, all with an eight-second run, 822, 804, 828. Paulie, what do you say for... Uh, Hydrant on stick times here. What do you what do you think is going to be the number that has well, to you have to get to? To five. me, to score in this one, I think you got to be two four. I think you're gonna have to be if you're going sub two four. I think it's going to do really well. All, right, all year but we've always talked about that two five number and think about think about them being confident as they interviewed them down there. They're confident with what they're putting in the back of this truck right now, and that's a big part of the game. Having confidence to be able to run that and not have to worry about anything. Yeah, he sounded very sure of himself. You asked if he, uh, you, you were nervous about your hose. He said absolutely not. Here we here go. We go. At the Hydra, little fishtail. He's got speed way too much. That was a hot drop, folks. The hot drop with a little fishtail, tough to do. A lot of times your, your, your hand will come in right there. You're playing defense. And they even knew it uh, up top here as they were, before they even got off the truck, they're shaking their head, both of them. Uh, yep. That's uh, just not the feeling you want. Yeah, you, they knew when they overtime left. Overtime for Farmingville, overtime. That is and now, oh, this is just, this tournament is setting up to be like, somebody, come down. Who's it going to be that's going to take the bull by the horns? This is the quest for the cup. Yeah, quest for the cup. <laughs> Where immortality is next on the line. That's it. This contest can turn. Where racing gods are made. Yeah. Say that again, Pat. This contest can turn the drill. It's a good point. You know, a lot of right, times it, it has. It, it's midway through the through the day, right? You, you know, you kind of think of it as like, you know, in a, in a best of seven, you got the pivotal game five. You know, this is the pivotal event number five, right? right? You know, right. like that type of deal here where you get some points here to go into those last three special teams contests. Which are important as ever. Ah, you know, dude. it's always that thing. Everybody loves the speed. Everybody loves, you know, the uh, the aggressiveness. But it's the last three that's going to get you over the mountaintop. Right. I'll tell you what, man, that's true. I also got to say, I'm looking on the screen here. Good camera positioning there. We got a good view of the B trucks right on the start line there. Oh, right? I like shot. that right there. Look yeah. at that. Point Pleasant Green. Point Pleasant, rough day so man. far. They have zero, and that's unexpected. Uh, a couple years ago, though, however, they did win this contest at the stage roll 793 in 2021 to get five points. They yeah. can run Behos and Pump. You know, their, their day is not over yet. You know, this is, uh, you know, we talk about big shots, but for them to salvage something today, they're going to have to hit right here. Yeah, rough day last year as well. Let's see if they can get off the schneid. It's just, when I, I just, I, 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 I sent Steve Mascari a text this morning. I'm rooting for you. I wanted them to break through. I wanted them to do it. Let's see if they get it done here. He's running it tight. At the hydrant, lets him go. Water in the hose. 
Ryan Pacquiao lighting it up. It's going to be about feet. target. He's got nozzle on. Just a mid stanchion first. 259, guys. Yeah, I don't know if 259 is going to play today. Yeah, they got a measure. For point pleasant. 8.41. And he, get, he gave a little bit away on a target hit, too, guys. That's probably yep. an 820. No doubt about it. Number five, the Bama Ball Breakers. Pat, maybe, Pat, you, maybe you can help me with this because we're trying to figure, we, you know, we were talking about Paulie running 47s. Artie did chime in and said he would have had about 47s as a nozzle man if he would have gotten water every time. Uh, <laughs> JoJo's got about 43 sevens based on a search, and we have Chris Connell at 50. So I'm trying to figure out Gary Paris's uh, sevens. What year did he start running Hydrant, and what year did he end? No, he, I, I bet you we get, put that together? early 70s. I don't think he ran. Did he run before they went away in the 60s? I don't think so. He, he was before he went in the Navy. Okay, so he did I, run first. Afterwards. And, uh, Most of them come after. Uh, yeah, oh, no doubt, no doubt. And they were all fashioned for a couple of years before right. they brought the trucks back out. So yeah. if I click every year in the 70s, it's safe to say they were all hit? Yes. yes. Okay, then I know 92 state, 93 state, mm -hmm. he's still going? 92, definitely, 93, 92, yes. 92, obviously. That seems what about record, 90, yeah. 94, 5, 6, like where did, uh, did he call it? When did Hazeman take over? I don't think he's 94. Yeah. I could be wrong. All right. So Definitely I'll, 92. Okay, so I'll, I'll leave 93 on there, and I'll get back well, to let's you. Go to, let's go to Belmont for a second. Pat, when you see this truck, what do you think? The old Roosevelt truck. Roosevelt run point is 7. Right? Yeah, 790. First, the, the first one. That just <laughs> The thing that flies under the radar, Westbury Turtles and CI did a 799. How do you how run the second 7 that close, not be a record? There was only that much room, and they managed to fit in the middle of it. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, here comes Belmore. They got water in the hose. They got to stop. Oh, uh, they have a tough time stopping up at the top. He's got to have the boogie. Doesn't get it on. You know, that, that was just a, but they had no idea what a couple of them was going to be. It looks like, you know, a little track awareness there would have helped. Yeah. So between 1970 and 1994. Overtime, overtime for Belmore. I'll finish in a moment. Just don't want to step on Chris Perry here. Okay. So yeah. between between 1970 and 1990. Up to the lights, number six, the West Sable Flying Dutchman. Paulie, between 1970 and 1994, the Patchogue 40 Thieves have 37 sevens. So wow. that's probably with Gary. You might have thought it was more, right? They have a lot of heavy sevens, no, seven it's, three, it's, seven four, yeah. seven fives. Yeah. But overall, according to the search engine, now look, I will say this: that there, not every tournament might be accessible from the 80s yeah. and the late 70s on the right. website. But for, ad, for whatever we do have in the archives, their number's 37. So Gary, 37. You got Paulie. You got listen, um, Chris at 40. You got me, Jojo, 43. You got <laughs> Chris Connell at 50. You're running. I you're mean, running 37s in the 70s. Yes. That's impressive right. stuff. Well, well, that's that's 50 today. They're running the they're running the the, the double jacket hose, right? Am I wrong about that? In the early 70s? Uh, there was a little hose inside a hose too. Well, well that's <laughs> later on. <laughs> hey, all right. Thanks, thanks for blowing up the broadcast, Pat. Oh, Chris. Boat horn. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> there we go. This is all friends hey. radio, Pat. Okay, but wait, only two sevens in the 1970s decade for the Patro 40 Thieves. 767 at the CI invite in 79 and a 773. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know. That lived in her. Here's what I'm saying online. They ran a 781 last, yeah. uh, last time out at the Hempstead. Good. That was the shot of the year right now. Good, good redirect there, Billy. Yeah. They have six points on a day, Not and they shot. need this shot big time. They're in fourth place right now, tied for, tied for fourth. 781 time of the year. Uh, here we go. Hey, he's got water on and a heavy hit. Heavy hit. He's got to blast this target. Water's on him. Nozzle on. Hey, he does it. Oh, nice shot by Wes Sable. Trying to make Polly a profit. Now, what did we say in the happy hour show? If they're close going into the last three, watch out for the Flying Dutchman. Here we are, everybody. Huge shot in the day right here. Seven point eight. Paulie, Paulie, I might have been a little hometown discount, but I had like 225. That's what I'm talking about. Run the 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> Run the 2-2. Two -two. And it's going to be hard to beat. Number seven. All right, I got somebody next to me with a 211. I'm, I'm going I'm I'm to try and grab Billy. This might not go well, but I'm going to try. You think he'll smile? <laughs> West Sable Flying Dutchman set themselves up potentially. Uh, Billy, come on, Bill. 
All right. All right. Get away from me, he says to you. He doesn't even talk to the rest of his team. You think he's going to talk to uh, the, uh, the media for an interview? All right. Uh, he, Billy refused my uh, attempt. I'm going to try to get Joey Quenza. Uh -oh. We put you there because you're in the same department. <laughs> yeah, he said, oh, I guess Joe, Joe shut me down, too. All right. I tried, guys. <laughs> I could grab Gary. Are we okay? <laughs> Hard pass. That shot right there is going to put some pressure on the Hobos. You know, that's that's the first place shot right now, looking to go from 6 to 11 for the Did Flying you Dutchman. You know, depending that's on what the Hobos and the Knockers weird. do now, well, we could be right? really tight going into the final three contests after this one. Long way to go in Behos. Westbury Turtles on the line right now. Talk about one of those teams. This that. is Mercadante driving, right? Yeah. This is Mercadante driving. Let's see. 8-18 at Hempstead. Here we go. At the Hydrant. No water in those. Whoa. Got to get busy. They're going to get busy up there. Save the fish tail. Oh, not bad shot yeah, right there. Shot the, the difference, once again, is going to be the hydrant hit. If you're putting it on in 2-1-2-2, two, 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 you get some glory at the other end. 261 on the, on the uh, for Westbury. stick there for Westbury. Eight point three six eight thirty six. What was Belmore's time? Uh, Belmore overtime. Overtime. All right. So we talked about... Lights, number eight. The Spencer Port, Red Spencer Port scored two races in a row, but go ahead, Twan. Just to, to finalize something that we talked about earlier, real quickly, you talked about longest tenure drivers. Neil Brogan texted me, Mike Athena started driving yep. ladders in 1977. There you go. There you go. <laughs> 77. That's it. So thank you for that stat there, Neil Brogan. Neil, as long as I've been on this planet. <laughs> Neil's been texting me all day. Neil also said earlier he did get a call overturned one time using video, something at Denton Avenue. We got called for the second man not touching. Went over to Stan, showed the video, and they changed the call. Just a little food for thought right there. Obviously, Suffolk County wasn't there. A little bit of a quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that funny, Rob? You're, you're a Suffolk County guy now? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, just hey. like, I just like arguing with you, Twan, but look yeah. who's on the line now here, guys. You, uh, uh, you have fully gone Suffolk, bro. You are an oh, yeah. Easterner. Congratulations, Rob. You know what? Stay down there doing the interviews there, big dog. All right? Guys, uh, I, I just looked it up quick. I just wanted to uh, sneak it in. Uh, that run right now, that's 787. I'm looking at the fourth best time in Deerfield ever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, you got in front of that. Jackie Cloudman Sr. is more of a hornet than you, Noonan. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That, that, we might get actually, another call from Ralph. <laughs> that's pretty cold, Twan. <laughs> All right, so Spence Moore. I was on most of those 43 sevens that JoJo ran. Yeah, you All right, here comes uh, No strap. Support. No yeah. strap. Yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. why I got one hip instead of two. Yeah, that's yeah, a great-looking yeah, yeah. shot, though. Josh yeah, Marshall. Spence Moore at the break. A little fish tail lets him go back. It's got water in the hose, but he dropped him back. It's going to have to be an awesome target. He's got Nazlon weights a little bit, then he hits the target. But 261 on yep. the handle. Probably too far back to be competitive. Yeah, I think Josh took one, two, three too many steps on that run. And he would tell you that. He likes it a little tighter. 8.45845. Same shot as Westbury right there. Your attention, please. Your attention, please. A protest has been lodged by Riverhead. Rule 6.01 for interference. General Judges, Janine Arch, please. Uh, good use of the bird. Same type of shot. Lodge. 261 handles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris Up Murphy. Number 9, the Copeg. All right, so Copeg, another team that's fighting for top five now, right? They got three points. Three on a day. It's they got to put together question. a couple races with some big money. But like I was saying before, the West Sable shot to me is going to be really hard to beat because you're going to have to put the water on in about the time he put it on. And that drop was hot, and, and Billy took it. And Pat, Pat. Japan's called it. It's a pivotal contest, and yep. that could be the pivotal point for those West Sable Flying Dutchmen. And if anybody needs it, it's the Dutch uh, right now. Do. What would we say? You can miss one contest. Two is the max. They've already missed their two. And don't plan to miss any more. Exactly. And they can't if you think you're going to win this drill. I don't think you can. Game time. Islip's in that same boat right now. Yep. The Wolves have missed two. The Hobos have missed one. The Pistonakers have missed two, I believe. Right? Yeah. Looking at, yep. So that's it. They've already missed that two as well. There it is. And all those teams you mentioned are really good from his yeah. point out. Chris Murphy, you want to read the text from JoJo? I'll let you, I'll let, you let that sink, sink in for a moment. <laughs> no! <laughs> Are you ready? No! I'm not, I'm not touching that one. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> I'll read it. Gary was okay. a cheater. No sevens for him. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, man. I just scored so many points. Is it oh, hot? Lord. 
Is it hot in here? Woo. Pat, you started this. I, I, you had to point that out. <laughs> I thought I was flying under the robot. Pat. <laughs> Listen, that guy was an iconic guy, man. I don't know what went on behind the scenes, but uh, he was good. As a kid growing up, just watching them on the line, man, it was always a really cool, nice recovery. Really cool <laughs> thing. Oh, thanks, huh? Yeah, yeah I, I don't know if he was. Is Charlie Fitz bringing him in? Chris Pratt. Oh, oh, they got water in the street. All across the track. I'll tell you what. We are about he- we're a third of the way through B-Holes. That's, That's the, the first, first water in the truck. First Hydro Man of the day. I'm sure Chris didn't want to be that guy. <laughs> Two, 265 when water went across the street. And now we're getting to two sixes. We were, we were heavy before. One, three, point, nine, six, 13, I'm going to believe Base Show is going to come heavy. I was arguing before that the That's taller the hydrant is uh, making these hydrant men happy. Uh, Chris is on uh, the shortest side of the scale uh, of the, of the uh, measuring stick along with me. And uh, it, that hydrant height does become a little bit more challenging, especially on a real hot drop. If you're coming in real fast, you kind of have to compensate a little bit more by attacking more of the top of the hydrant. Yeah, this is one of the higher hydrants you're ever going to race with, which is really conducive to doing well, right? It's more comfortable when oh, you get yeah. in there. As opposed I to love, the one, I love this did, you, uh, did you run at Patchogue, Chris, the one we used to run at Patchogue? You know, I, I loved that hydrant. You had to get on your knees. Oh, I loved it. I, it mean, was, I, 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 you, I always felt like for you it was about waste time, but easy. For everybody else, you had to get on your knees almost to hit that hydrant. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I used to love, love, love running at that oh. track. I don't think I ever missed. And uh, here, I missed a lot. It's not a good slappy hydrant, Chris? No, no. It's not a good hydrant for a slappy man? No, it can't be slappy here. Yeah, that, that low hydrant was... Looking at the, looking at the older, older uh, films and all, it was super low. I know Hempstead oh, it's put insane. a sleeve in to raise it to the legal level uh, Patrick, back no. in that day. I think really it's still low. just like that, Pat. I agree. Yeah, it's yeah. This sleeve is there. This I wonder if the Pat, the practice track that Patrick was at, did they make it that low there too? How to be no? Never laid eyes on it. Yeah, I know. I, yeah. I don't know either. It's off of Waverly Avenue. That's about all I know. Yeah, no. Is that the the town yard there, or whatever that is? Secret location. Yeah. The testing facility. <laughs> Area 51 where we put our no homes pl- together. No planes allowed to fly <laughs> over. Or you'll be shot down. You go on right, Google here we Earth. go. Bay Show, guys. You go on Google Earth. It's pixelated. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Bay Show is running it tight. I think they're going to run it hot. My prediction. They've been picking it up a, le- a little bit every week. Michael's been getting it on. Bradbury's going to bring it. Yeah, Bradbury's doing a hell of a job. Bay Show needs it too, right? They got four races. They can score in the next four. It has to start here. In the break, it's hot. He's next to it. It's got water on. No, he doesn't. Does it? Up at the top. Here he comes. Now's the line. Hey! Oh, that's a run. 260, guys. Good target hit right there. Yeah, it was. <clears throat> Michael's doing amazing. I'm uh, he looked really good this. up top here. Loving this. Time for Ben Shore. 8.33. Oh, just well, where was it at the hydrant? It was 260, right? 260, right? yeah. I think it might have been a little later. I don't know if he hit the handle until it was passed. The Central Iceland Homo. Yeah. Guys, uh, you know, these 833s, 84s, that's what I expected to see today. Really? You know, I, no, I'm not, this, not, not 83, but I thought 8 flat was the floor, you know? And that's why that run by Wes Sable was so impressive, you uh, know? Uh, impressive. For Billy to actually connect there at a number that was so low compared to everybody else that's running the stick time right now. Really impressive. I think it's going to be really hard for everybody to touch that 787 right when they needed it, too. They're going to inject themselves right back into this tournament. No, I agree with you. I said that earlier. I don't think anybody can beat it based on the fact that he hit it in that number. I agree. Everybody now is 2-4. Uh, not even 2-4. It's been 2-5, two, 2-6. Two, well, your next two teams are ones that well, uh, I take think you have right a shot if, you, if there are any, yep. along with Islip in the back. Yeah, tournament leader right here. 12 points for the Hobos. Right behind them, 9 points. North Linda Hurst, Mr. Well, once again, if the bang, Hobos want to maintain... They need to throw up a shot. They got to play in the low eights if that's where we are. Yeah, they not don't necessarily the need to beat the seven eight in sitting there yes. situation. Oh, right, Just, sure. uh, here we know, go. They ran an eight flat or something here to put them in great here spot. Here we go, boys. Pivotal yeah, moment of the one. day. Yeah. At the hydrant, lets them go. Got water in the hose. They're creeping in. Nazalan, he's facing it. He Target. Target. A little late on a stick, yeah, guys. Late stick. on a stick, yeah. like two seven. He Ooh. was there, but he didn't turn and get it right away. I think that's what I made happen to Bayshore as well. Time for Central Iceland. Eight point four two. Wow. Eight 
42. This thing is broken wide right. open. That, that, that has, that's what just has happened. They are probably, with that shot, going to stay at 12. 100%. Judges have confirmed the protest of Riverhead has been allowed. Uh, Riverhead will be getting a rerun. Riverhead gets a rerun on their protest. Now, this shot yes. becomes tremendous. Huge. The stage is set right tremendous. now. Tremendous. The North Lindenhurst Pistonockers come to the line right now with a chance to be going into efficiency with the lead. The back-to-back 2019-21 New York State champs with a pivotal moment in How the many people, state, so. listen, we, we talk about the top four all year, and, and they were by far and away the best four teams. But when we talked about coming down to today, North Lindenhurst wasn't on the mention a lot. Yeah, they were going to be top five. But were they going to be the winner? I didn't hear it a lot. Fifth Haven't been cap. clean in the past four No, days. and it's Fifth, not its right. not because we don't want to do it. No. It's from what we see. The talent is there. It just hasn't come together. North Lindenhurst, as we mentioned earlier, also looking to place top five overall in the state row for the 10th consecutive year. They'll become the third team to go double digits on that streak. Looking but, for more, first. but more importantly, they're looking for the win overall. Yep. What they got? Looking for the first seven of the year as well. Big shot. Chris Connell, 21 You want to be a big shot, big shot. Here comes Scott. Go. Scotty brings him in. Let's him go. What a nose. Baby. You get a top, creeping. He's got, oh, yes, oh, he no. missed it. Hey, did he stumble getting off he the shot? Yes, nope. he did. Little, little trip 224, guys. Oh. He put it where he needed to no. to get water in the hose. No. He stumbled getting off, and he well, panicked a little bit, and then when he got it on, he tried to hold it instead of putting it back on. That opens the door for West Sable and Iceland now with a chance. What is it? 13-13. I believe 13-13. Mockingbird Lane. Yeah. West Iceland Raiders. It was Mockingbird Lane. It's been a bunch of 13-13s run this year, actually. It's pretty funny. Can we get a confirmation on that, though? Yes, I don't know. we did. Okay, cool. So, like you just said, Billy, that now the door's open, like you said, for the Wolves to potentially now close the gap. They're down five to the Hobos. It's 12-7. Oh, my God. I, I don't know you what know, I'm watching it's, here I know. Today. It's like it's crazy, the back and forth here. And like you said, West Sable, we could be looking at 12-10, that type of thing, going into a fish. This is like 18 when we were here where... No one jumped in front nobody, of her. Nobody and, uh, wants it. Left the door open and then the base listen, listen, over, you know? These teams don't want to win. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> what am I listening to? <laughs> What's our top five right now, guys? Obviously. West no. Sable, Bayshore, Westbury, Point Pleasant, Central Ice. 842, Lucky Dog. 787 West Sable. And then it's, it's really between 33 and 42. Yeah, seconds, that's where it's at. Seconds of and those are all with two six waters on. Yeah. So uh, like I was saying earlier, as you made fun of me, you got to put it on you a little do. quicker, you get a better time. <laughs> Nine one hundredths of a second separates second to fifth. That's tight, man. Guys, it, that hydrant hit by Chris Connell was a thing of beauty. Oh, here comes West Isle. Here we go. Just a deco to hydrant. Let's see what he can do. The oh, he's holding it on. He's got to hit the target. Now you got to hold it on to get off the course. No! That's going to be a no time. <laughs> you called it. Ah! You called it. <laughs> I wanted to shout it to him after you said it. There it is. Yeah, it's called uh, came back out. Your attention, please. There will be a no time. He knew it as soon as he did it. <laughs> but watch, even, even if it's not on, hold it on. Make believe. The nozzle on the track. Or tell the official, listen, I don't have this on. Can you watch me walk over? I'm trying to keep it together. After you hit the target, you just should have let it kind of blow up in his hand. Right. Kink, kink the hose below the nozzle and walk off quick. <laughs> oh, that was too bad. All right, Baldwin. Yeah, Bob went on the track here. Uh, give it, a, give it a go. They came out to the uh, county tournament there. Yeah. Hemp said they ran a shot. Just trying to keep it together out there, John Coglin. Yeah, you got to give people like that credit, you know. Yeah. You see, you know, the funny thing is, you see guys that used to be on their team, they're running for other teams, and you have all that stuff going on, and then you try to keep your own team together and. Not quite Copeg, but you know, reminiscent. Not quite Copeg, <laughs> right? <laughs> 
Kopech has to have an alumni day where they run and they probably come top five. How many how many rings do you think the uh, Kopech Alumni Association has compared to the team on the track? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more. You know, guys, as I look down the track, I see the Tomcats on it along the line, but you see the rinky dinks behind them, and they have to be looking at chops right now. They got three points on the day, and this tournament is, this contest, excuse me, is wide open for them to come in and grab four. In a moment, we'll see what they can do as the Tomcats are coming down the track right now. Oh, let that on! Now they let go of the hydrant. Slackman spills and takes it out of the hydrant man's Guys, hand. I don't know if you... Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this is... Uh, I want the hose. You want the hose. Reels. I want the hose. Now they're going to a full a full round turn at the hydrant. They wrap the hydrant, and then they shoot the target. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys caught it, guys. There's a little, little rascal. Just before that. they took off, nobody had reset Over the target. Off, yeah. All the officials ran out and hit the target. Right before they ran? Really? Literally as they were kind of pulling away. That's protestable. Probably. <laughs> How about the Ricky Nicks for top five? They got to get a little bit more. They're down on what they would usually have here. How about the Ricky Nicks for completing an event here? Well, let's get one going. Actually, uh, exactly what I was saying a minute ago, boys. You were exactly right. They ran a 794 at the Hempstead Invite. This is a contest they can run. But like you are saying, Paulie, do they have it in them to put a 2-4 on the stick? That's going to have to be today. 2-6 as we see them all. Then it comes down to the target hit. I've said it. Once, I've said it ten times today, the North Belmore Ricky Dinks looking to place top five in the state drill for the first time since 1969. It's hard to believe, They right? win it in 68. They come fifth in 69. You got Pat Cloudman running nozzle. Yeah, we don't know how many years he's got left. Yeah. You know, he's been racing a long time. Yeah, he's, he's beat up. This he's is the 55th anniversary of them winning the uh, state tournament in 68 by yeah. uh, beating Westbury and Buckets. He's, he's got hornet blood in him. He's fine. <laughs> he's got venom in him. Venom. And, and, and Bud Heavy. That's the other half of the blood. <laughs> <laughs> That's in the Cloudman bloodstream. <laughs> that point can't be glossed over, Billy, that they were that close, that the turtles were that close. I know, man. That's a good point, Pat. Yeah, 55 years ago today. That's the closest they got? Yep. Probably right. time I've been on the track ever. We got five or six sixes, but, you know. All right, at the hydrant. He's back a little bit. That's not going to get it done. To me, it's just too, too far back to be in the play right there. Nozzle on. Nice target hit, but I think the water on. Yeah, it's, it's not going to uh, happen. It's a high eight. Yep. Got to be aggressive up there if you want some points. You got to like the form of the Hydra Man right there a little bit, Paul. Time for North Belmore. The hop over? Eight yeah. Point seven zero eight seventy. Yeah, so they go into buckets that year, tied up, up and Westbury never ran buckets. Number 16. That was it. Well, West <laughs> Hempstead, West North Belmore breaks the record to win the title, but right. he never ran buckets at all, so they, didn't, they had no clue. Well, whose fault is that? Of course. <laughs> we don't need to run buckets. That was the mantra back then. Obviously, if it's at the state tournament, you should know how to run it. I would say. What year was this? That's what, 68? 68. And what's the, the record in buckets at 68 is probably, what, about 24? 24. 2404? Yeah, right around there. Hey, so you know, that, that's what they broke it at. They yeah, yeah they, 24 they was the record. Yeah, 2408, they made the record, 2404. Yeah. I think they beat the record by quite a bit, too. It was a, it was no, it's just... Oh, was it? Hundreds. Oh, it was four hundreds? Yeah. All right, what's on the line here? You're talking 68, right? I can, yeah. yeah. I can look that up. Uh-oh, I'm getting fact-checked. Yeah. I know. It's scary now, right? What's Hempstead's team record, 747, just run by Pat Cloud and shot that shot before. Yeah, okay. That was at the shootout in 2006. 06 stayed yeah. here, the second half of this tournament here. 24.05 was the state record that day. Best shot ever day. Good call. Guys, just so you know, uh, Baldwin's going to get a rerun yeah, based off the uh, the target issue we, we spoke about. Yeah, that's probably the right call. They, they gave it to him without the protest. That's a smart move there. Keep the tournament moving along. I had a question for you, Pat. So back in 48, <laughs> did you light the fire in, in Rome that burned down Rome? 75 years ago today? No, and I did not throw the uh, soap suds in the fountain in Watertown. <laughs> but you were home for 6 o'clock stovetop. <laughs> I had to be home when the street lights came on. That's right. West Hampton gets the white flag here. What's their best one? Yeah, the Westerners have put, they haven't put in the sevens this year. Yeah. Exactly, 823, and that was back at the Hunter Drill. They take that today. Yeah, yeah exactly. True. It'd be well, like said, right now. Like, you got to remember the last couple tournaments. He's got to be able to bring it in right here. Here's the break. He's going to be back. With speed. 280. Yep. Just a little low. Yeah, it's, it's, it's These are clean shots, but it's the state yeah. tournament. I'm hearing picture frozen. No audio right now. A lot of... Time for West I don't know. 
Eight, Getting a lot of text four, about seven, that, but four, we'll keep it going. Eight, 874 seven, was the time for the yep. Westerners as they stepped on Chris. Sorry about that. Wow, 787. That, that, that 787, it shows you how oh, awesome it really is. Yeah. Well, you know, you, they were talking 2-1, two, 2-2. Two, two. It's a half a second faster than everybody else here other no. day so far. What I'm seeing here is that this is good, consistent water here. We've been clocking it on the side, yep. but it doesn't have the push. It's not going to help. A, a slower hydrant hit. It's not going to zip through. Right. It's got to be the fast hit, the perfect lay, and a good and, hit. And on a the good target. target, yeah. All the things that uh, West Evil had. Yep. <clears throat> and I think Bayshore had a Bayshore had a great target hit, a good hose lay, and the difference is was the water on. Strictly, mm -hmm. there it was, straight up. All right, so I'm, so I'm getting reports. Well, we're good. Looks like we're back. They got West Hampstead on the screen right now. They're catching up on the, on the visual, but the audio I'm hearing is still good. Thanks, Artie, for chiming in with that. I, I love this picture go. they have at the, it's, at the yeah, it's, it's, it's really looks, But it's cool. not supposed to be a still shot. Yeah. No, I know. <laughs> I know. That's true. Wow, if I was running hydrant like that, I mean, look at how ugly Danny, Danny's face looks. Would you say when you were, you were running hydrant? You'd, you'd probably give me like... Cue, cue hydro, the video! Hydro, <laughs> hydro planning on my belly. Cue the video. I'm sure Stan has it on auto punch. It, he has like a, it's on his screen saver. Just pushes a button and there it it's is. It's on mine too. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I right, Lindhurst Snails. Big sexy. The big red truck. Here it comes. Making Wham the approach. Let's see if he brings him a little. No. <laughs> He's running a little card hose, it looks like. All right. Brett puts it down. Good stop. Slap. Yeah, they're yeah, deep right there. Him. You know, he didn't give him He didn't give him the off. You know how you got to tap that brake and throw the guy's momentum off the back of the truck? Yeah. He didn't he give it to him. that they stay on. Yep. 270 on the handle, guys. And uh, listen, they, they got off, but they needed to throw the anchor out. Yep. Was, uh, they had a lot of momentum up top here. Looking forward to this next shot. I want to see if... Time for 14-13. I'd like to see if Miller Place can throw a hammer down here. Why not, right? Let's get some points. They got their first point ever in the history of a state drill today. 95th team in history. Yeah. Breaking the longest streak of a new team getting a point ever. There wasn't any for the longest time period ever. And Scott really likes it. I looked it up the other day. How long was it? It was like, yeah, about, yeah six right or now. seven years, I, I believe. The, the, the longest was three or four up to this one. No way. Maybe three. Yeah, between was, between a new team getting a point. Yeah. Another team. Oh, yeah, it's got to be, yeah. yeah. Pat, like, Pat, you have ties to Miller Place, right? Don't, don't you know some of those guys over there? You said like you were working with some. I thought, yeah, I thought that was a thing. No? Yeah. Just Am I making it up? Yeah. But getting back to them, they almost made it as an old-fashioned team coming to the state drill. Do you count that against them, you know, when they're here? Eight events, and they finally got their point, and they're real happy about going yeah. to the Joe. That is tremendous. Mm -hmm. but, that is true. Uh, you know, it, it's they, really I think it's seventh place in efficiency back in the Hempstead State Drill. Right. And come that close. I would count that, but they didn't get it, right? Yeah, running, no, I would have counted it. Running three events. Look at, well, Hageman. Remember Hageman was at 66 or something? They ran three events, and they came in, what, second in the drill? 14 points? All right, All right guys. I think Miller Place Bill here is, uh, uh, you know, yep. these numbers are definitely in their wheelhouse. I agree. I, I, this is one I'm waiting to see, right? He's running the tight line. He's going to mow a little grass. Scott Latiza loves bringing it in. Eight eight. Let's hope we go sub 2-4 and see if they hit the target. That's what they got to do. 818 at the CI invite. Heavy number for there. There he comes. They're there. Water on. Here we go. 56. Yeah, I got 61. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Damn, you don't see Justin usually do that, right? Breaker wasn't there. I'll tell you, he, he used a backhand break on the first shot. See, hose. He wasn't there for that one either. Really? Yeah, they, uh, yeah, the, the break, break went too far. 14, 51. Yeah, the, the, to the lights, number 19, the great Ben Cobra. We just see there, I mean, Justin took a look. He wasn't there. He had to break it himself, and that's what caused him the, uh, caused him the uh, algebra up top. I, I understand there's no uh, audio at all. I have a visual right now. So uh, CI flashbacks. So we have uh, first place right now, West Sable with the 787. Then we dropped down to 833 for Bayshore, 836 Westbury. And then I think we have CI with the 842. That's your top four right now. Uh, 841 for, sorry, Point Pleasant, 842 for Central Iceland. If Bayshore can finagle their way out with four points right here, going to the last three contests, hey. I think they're going to be thrilled. Get it on the track. Get back to that Hagerman comment, Paul. 1965, fourth 65. place with 11. Yeah, that it is. And yeah. they ran only the three old-fashioned races. true? Yeah. Really? That's unreal. Yeah, they didn't have trucks that day. They ran three-man fishy buckets. Wow. That's the real hard way. Wow. And and I think the winner that day was not a lot of points. Like, they were within five of winning. I still blows. Yeah. 
20, uh, it, 21. Oh, they did? Okay. They lost by 10. Yeah. All right, so it was. The one thing that I can bring to that, the, the favor, the favorite that they was. Claimed you? Great bend. Great bend. Now that's how you stop. Hey, by the way, you're giving a while right behind you right there. Oh, big loop. Mark Parmelo puts it on up top. Didn't get a chance to see his hands in action. At least they went aggressive. I love him with the evil, evil helmet up top there. I think that's great. Yep. <laughs> Pat, who was the favorite at the 60? Plainview Plainsman, he's saying, and how come? Yes. The year they had? Uh, the year they had, brand new sea truck, was screaming fast. Built by, for great bend, overtime. built by Speedwin Automotive, which I think they were in Huntington. Uh, had the, uh, the, the latest uh, Dodge 426 uh, Stage 3 Ram engine. Up and, to uh, number 29, the Port Washington Roadrunners. They scored three points that day. Just a terrible day. Six, <laughs> one point in B-Rata, two day. points in C-Hoes. Wow. I mean, listen, you think about that. Those days happen, right? The, the odds on favorite for the day. What years is come down top five. There's a group what of years. Know? I was looking at the – oh, maybe you can answer this. So I was looking – when we went to the Hempstead invite, I was on the on the thing looking at it. Plainview for a lot of years was really good in, in scoring top five at Hempstead. But they were – timing truck immediately. The what? Team captain from Baldwin. There was a, a period where uh, – it's maybe 50s – where Suffolk County was always at the Hempstead tournament and they were doing really well. Then there was a period that looked like nobody from Suffolk was going. Right. And then a period where they came back and they were going again. And it was when the Islip Town drill was held, so it took out. Right. So that's what it was. St. James always made it. River had made it a great deal of time. But when they uh, What's the Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, we got to fix that. So they looked at the ice of town drill. Well, that makes sense because Bayshore had done well in a couple of them, and then you didn't see them going there at all after that. And so the ice of town drill was then on the 4th of July. Yeah. Or close, right. All right, it was Port Washington on the line right here. I think we have uh, Billy Clark on the hydrant. This one, I don't think Danny runs B-Hose anymore. Is that true? No, no, yeah, yeah, it's just he only runs C-Hose, so. Okay. At the hydrant. Just goes over the top a little bit. In fact, Danny's driving this event. Here we go. Yeah, and they finish it up. Got a text from Johnny Walters the other day. So I get you one too. Yeah, that was nice. Nice text. That was nice. One point one five eleven fifteen. He's out there watching. Who should he? Baldwin will be getting a rerun due to interference. Hmm. Baldwin will be getting a rerun. Did we ever talk about this? All of a sudden, they're handing out stuff. Yeah, I thought so, too. <laughs> but Riverhead got one. Uh, to those of you watching at home, we yeah, do realize that there's an the issue with the feed right now. Oh, we did announce that one. Yet. Okay. The guys in the truck are working on it. So we're, we're being told the audio still works, so we'll keep, All right. on, we'll keep on yapping. We're going to go 08 style, Pat. You were yeah. there for the 08 we're broadcast, just... right, the first time we did this. You Back and Artie, yeah. Artie Suskind and Patrick Bears doing the, the talk all day in 2008, the first time we ever broadcasted the state drill, right? Back to our radio roots. Don't forget, yeah. Sean. Oh, oh that's yeah. He guy, just guy. Oh, he what's just up, been... Spinelli? <laughs> so are we going to go a little play-by-play -play then? A little more detail? Yeah, I guess we kind of have to, right? You and me, Paulie. All right, call place right here. You got it? Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. Call place comes to the line. Just setting the hydrant, waiting for Port to roll it up. I was thinking about uh, Chucky retiring after seal. Yeah. This would be two years ago we had a hydrant man retire. They what? This would be two years ago we had a hydrant man retire at the state tournament. Oh, yeah? Who? Who? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, here we go. Call place I, on the line. I see ice up down there in the staging area. Warming up the tires. We're waiting for that one because that's going to be the next real big shot we see on the track. And they need to get right to the ship here and get it done. Somebody got to. Wes Sable just did. Somebody hit me. Let's go. Maybe a little monkey wrench action here. I bless the rains down in Africa. We've seen some monkey wrenches so far, right? So you'll, you'll, hear, you'll get that reference soon. I got it. 877, the best shot of the year. All right, here comes Call Place. Get it, him in. He's going to be back a little bit. The water's in the hose. Coming up to the top, they're creeping in on top of it. Oh, there's trouble breaking it. The water beats them there. Wow, all those flowers for Skeletor, not a good thing. Yep. Uh, they were 263, so they might have been in the neighborhood. Probably Junior's best hydrant of the season, right? Let it up right there a little bit. I know. 
Oh. Two sixes. Overtime for call plays. Overtime. Guys, give me second through fifth, please. All right, here we go. So we have uh, West Sable 787, Bay Shore 833, Westbury 836, Point Pleasant 841, and then Central Islip 842 is your top five right now. 842 is fifth? Yep. yep. Correct. So it's 833 to 842, Rob. It's a 9-100 to the second spread between second and fifth. And yeah, here comes Patro. That's, that's a tight four places right there. Yep. We said if Patro can score, this might be one of the races they can score in. Yeah, 853, they ran the Central Islip tournament. And, uh, See if they get it done here. Yeah, good call right there, Billy. Dave Morehouse up front, running the hydrant. Vinny Legera, the climber. He's also the anchor man here. CJ up top, breaking for Alex Kramer today. Had to change a couple things around, uh, you know, school starting and whatnot. I love how you handwrite every single note that you have. Yep. Look at that. If they only invented this thing that would make letters. But you know what? It makes, it, it, makes it easier for him to make it up. <laughs> Nobody's checking his. <laughs> Nobody's checking this. I just throw names. They post this. You don't know who he's talking about. Yeah, it's Jimmy Smith. <laughs> we know Jimmy Smith. It's Paul Suskind. Exactly. It's Paul Suskind. <laughs> so do we have, oh, so I guess we, we have. Obviously, we haven't gotten to the immaculate grid yet because it's. There's no video. Yeah, we don't no, even we have, have a picture. Yeah, we wanted a grid. Chris can't open it. Whatever. It's all good. We'll save it. Right, we're still waiting on Patrick. It looks like they're going to give him the flags. Are we ready to go? All right. K Mac isn't a flag. And we're ready. Yeah. Kudos to the officials today. Yeah. I think the officials have done a good job moving this drill. There's been really no issues. Probably put the whammy on it, but so far, so good. Good job, Exactly. Paul. Here comes Patrick. That was a tight job. He's got water in it. Up at the top, they're creeping in. They're going to have to hustle. Uh, you know, he gets a hustle on just at the last second. How about that, Rob? What do we got? We 261 got? on the handle. Something close? <clears throat> uh, I don't think it's going to get it. No. Time for Batchog. 8.65. Just outside. Water past the plate was there. Yep. So you needed a lap on that one. Looked like he was struggling with the nozzle a little bit. In the last second, he just got it on. The main transit. If he sets clean and has a little better, uh, you know, initial hit at the target, it's probably uh, in the points. Next up, man, oh. transit. You didn't notice that I, I, I actually upgraded the book, uh, Twan? That looks nice, man. Now I use this stuff called whiteout. <laughs> it's, it's instead of crossing it out, and it's just like, you know. Do you use the whiteout that has the brush or the one that leaves no, the little I, thing on it? I got this guy. Oh, that's what I was talking this about. This guy's the best. Yeah, that's like cheating. I know. It's, it's awesome. cheating whiteout. Well, I, I, I don't have, you know, at least I don't have to wait for it to dry out. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Whiteout tape. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's a cheater. Exactly what it is. Hey, a little shout out to Manny Liscom up there in Copenhagen. Manny couldn't make it here today, but we're thinking about him and hope he's watching. He said he'd be joining, watching this today. Pat, you know Manny, right? We Very were, well. Uh, spoke Very to well. him. Gave him uh, a little text from the meeting yesterday with the panoramic shot. Oh, great. Explaining to him that this was my class reunion. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go to the high school one, but I get one every year when I come here. How Manny, much, Manny climbed sea ladder from 70 to 75 oh, there you go. for the Copenhagen Cubs there. Oh, cool. Yeah. Three and man. Then what? And, then and yep, yep. And he did three man well, 60s and 70s. All right, here comes main transit here. Jim, Lo uh, my, I'm sorry, Mark Hall bringing them in. Rick Bennett. Nice. Yeah, fast on the yeah Ricky. Ah. Having trouble at the hydrant. Alan Hess. Hits you know, target. one thing about Ricky Bennett, he's really progressed. He used to have the Zumba pants that the, the Dansville. I know, I didn't recognize him without those on. That Dansville used yeah. to wear, right? The Tiger Stripe pants. Yep. 9.99. Wow, slowest nine, nine ever. Those, those pants are distracting. You like trying to watch the hydrant. You're just looking at those. <laughs> what was yeah, I don't think he can find them anymore, right? I think he went to the Bass Pro Shop for those. That, that's about to say. Now he's in the uh, camouflage. It's the closest thing to the Zumbas. I think he went to Bed, Bed Bath & Beyond for the uh, going out of business sale. Got a couple of pairs there. That was a sneaky, funny comment, Billy. The slowest nine in the history of racing right there. Uh, it's a regular. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Um, Pat, when's the last time you missed the state drill? 1960. 1968. You have been to every single stage drill from 68, 69 on. Yes, sir. He was, he was, was, was playing that year. I, I had, I had, I, Mike, 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 I had three before that. that right. I missed 68, right. Right, right. but I had 64, missed 65 here in Utica, uh, 66, Oyster Bay, 67. When the arch went down, I was able to get to Lindenhurst in September. Unbelievable. Oh. All right, so now is there anybody who has a longer streak of attending there is uh there is a longer streak but not current because he passed away okay 
Well, and uh, from East Dyson, in no. all seriousness. He yeah, had yeah. made every single state drill until a couple of years ago. No, no way. There yeah. we go. Here come the Hicksville Hicks. At the hydrant, a little deep. Let's go back and get it. Now he finally gets water in the hose. The yeah. Guys up top are struggling. They are fighting. They don't know which way to turn. Yeah, we got water. I thought they were going to yeah. thumb wrestle for a second. <laughs> you do it. No, you do it. That water shoots out of that target for, uh, hydro hose pretty good, though. What happened in 68, Pat? Where were you? Yeah, what's the problem? Couldn't get a lift. In. What? Couldn't Where get a lift to Syracuse. Uh -huh. Needed an Uber. Your catch, please, coming up to the lights, forming a rerun. Number one, the Riverhead, Ironman. We're in a little bit of a stretch right now, ladies and yep. gentlemen. I know we have all the all the heavy teams run run early. Back, and back, it's, back, it's, back. it's the reverse backpack this year. It's back, kinda, back, back, uh, you know, back. I know, man. Bring it back, bro. You know, because personally, I, I expect, I, I prefer it the opposite because you know, the anticipation's there. 100%. You know, we're still broadcasting for teams that yeah. potentially might make it into that top five. Right. But and now it's the opposite. You got the times already up right. there. Is anyone going to even come close? Or and, is it an afterthought? And with the backpack, you give the opportunity to the teams that haven't been on the scoring side all year long. They get a couple of yeah, good hey, times. Yep. And now all of a sudden, yep. they're looking at the scoreboard saying, hey, look at me. I'm I in know. second place. I wonder how many people are just kind of like, yeah, I'll come back for Iceland. And we're back right. in, uh, yeah. uh, a lot. Yeah. Well, no, people. not too many people live in the stands, but they right. Maybe their attention isn't focused. Yeah, yeah, oh, right, definitely right, home, yeah, right. Right, right, right. A lot of opportunities for sports. Hicks, Hicksville got an overtime. Yep. You couldn't thumb your way up there, Pat? I mean, wasn't hitchhiking big back in the 60s? I remember watching those exactly. old movies. <laughs> I was 16, okay? Let's see. Oh. I needed the money. Oh, wait, so if you were 16 in 1968, <laughs> Billy, give me, picks, up, give me Billy picks up 16 year olds all the time. Give me a minute. I'll figure out, I'll figure out what year you were born. You're a math go, teacher. We're going to take away 10, and we're going to go to 1958. And then we're going to take away six. Eight, oh, nine, you six, are common two. core in the hell out of this. Man, I like it. Right. You are common core in the hell out of that. <laughs> right. Get a piece of paper and write it down. It's done. The <laughs> correct answer matters. Here we go. Riverhead. At the hydrant. Uh, Polish Pete pulls it up a little bit. He's got to go back to it. A little bit. Counterbalance. He would have got the uh, crash DQ looking over his shoulder. He really does a nice job of breaking by himself up here every time. Yeah, well, he doesn't have a choice. Happy 70th, <laughs> happy 70th birthday last year, Pat. I hope it was good. Riverhead, 11-10. Riverhead, 11-10. I appreciate it, Tuan. The card's a little late, but what, what's uh, what's new? Uh, what's new in the life of Patrick Affairs? What are you? What are you in California now? Up to the lights. Yes. Uh, Thirty-four. Uh, Temporarily. Go ahead, Pat. No, Temporarily in uh, California, uh, learning how to retire, and uh, <laughs> my wife <laughs> taking care of a great opportunities. But uh, we're going to wrap that up, and hopefully uh, next year be back. Back in Florida? Back um, in New I want York. To be a snowbird up and down, uh, man. This go, is the place to be during the summer. That's it, man. Right, good stuff. Good to have you out here. Utica? Bad, man. Utica? Utica? <laughs> <laughs> All over the state. <laughs> oh, gotcha. They got some nice op opportunities in town here. Yeah. <laughs> play, uh, play your rental some openings. <laughs> Lots of real estate in this town. I, I, I noticed this morning when I got up, you don't even have to pay to stay at my hotel. You can just fall asleep in the lobby by the where the carport is. <laughs> I was paying for the covers. He just used the jacket. <laughs> there is East Farmerdale here. Blew off at the nozzle before. Yeah, you don't see it too much with East Farm, right? No. Boy, oh. Looks like the audio is back. Uh, the video is, is it back? back? Going. Yeah, yeah, we have the live feed right in front of us. Uh, maybe a still shot right now of East Farm. Yeah, if you're East Farm and you're on the line and you see all these numbers, and this is another thing with the backpack, but yeah. don't you get online and say, let's just go for it. Tap the brakes at the hydrant. Let's be stars. 9-12, fastest right, here we season. Go. Um, They're doing it! Nah, it's a running way. Sounded like it. All right, water in the hose. Going to have to get busy. Nozzle on. Hey, they finish it up. Clean shot. Good shot. Yeah, 364 on the handle. But think if you would have brought it in a little, right? Go for it. Yeah. Go for the stardom. Yep. Try to win a trophy. Time for East Farmingdale. Nine point seven seven. We're getting ready for the uh, Babylon Marathon coming up in, in September. <laughs> Always a good show. That was the longest day ever. To the lights, number 35, wanna, the North Merrick Stump Jumper. The one at Tanner Park, we started at like 6.30 uh, at night. We didn't get done until after 12. Mm -mm. There was only like four teams running. Mm -mm. The yeah, lady and I, it was like the town of Babylon Marathon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our scoreboard is looking the same. It hasn't been a change in a while.
This Last time we had a change was team number 11. Yep. The fanny pack. We are on team number 35. Here's <laughs> the text for an explanation of the backpack, please. Yeah. That's an out. Hey, it feels we like should have to go into the building at the end of the tournament and vote on it. Yeah. Well, it's fresh in everybody's mind. Pat, say that again. What'd you ask? An you bring it back. An explanation of the backpack. Okay. So last, oh. last year, no. there, there was this rule put in place that stated, I believe it was the top 10 in the state. Yeah. So I right? put the I put a rule five in, in each area. that passed. Oh, right where there was a certain percentage in each area, the top 33% got put at the state drill and under the under the post entries. Still randomly chosen, but that group of teams was gonna be at the end. And it worked, and then this year, they, I'll tell you the rest in a second, here comes North Merrick. Not a break there. Creeping in at the top, they fall right on it. He's got the nozzle on. Hey, North Merrick. 284 on the handle, guys. Yeah, that's not going to uh, help their course to score, but clean shot. Clip the target pretty well. Time for North Merrick. 8.87. 8.87. Yeah, nice job by Nick Morris over there. Yeah. Father raced for uh, West Hepstead okay, back in the day with the All-Star team. 36. Uh, Freeport, Red Devil. Freeport, and then we got some teams that we've been waiting for for a while. So anyway, so somebody puts a rule in, Pat, that says... Uh, we want to change it back to the way it was. We'll just randomly the whole thing because we don't like that we had to be in the back. Maybe we want to be in the front. Okay. That passed by one vote. So it went back to the way it always was, which is today. Fast forward to today, all the teams get picked in the front. There's no rubber on the track. Everybody's like, yeah. we go? we got? we're up in the front. It's no good. <laughs> well, you should have planned in the backpack. There we go. So good yeah. explanation. I know that's appreciated. And, that, and it yeah. was really done for the viewers at home. Yeah, it really mind. was. So that was the thing. Like, if you're an old yeah. school racing guy, you like the random draw. It might have been a tough transition for you to go from that old mindset to the newer mindset that, you know, as much as we're out here competing, yeah. we're also putting on a show. And you want the drama. And, and to have, the, to have the, be the, you know, the better teams, quote, unquote, whatever you want to call it, at the back of the pack, you know, you stick around for that viewership. And look, it's a motivation for the teams in the front of the pack. Right. If you want to get to that backpack, yeah. you know, work hard. Hard practice, exactly. hard try to get there, and then you could get that spot 100. on that bottom third of the score sheet. And Paul, so, like you said, if, if you're one of the you know, lesser teams, you see your name on the scoreboard. Yeah, so that you know, <laughs> you, you're running number five. You're Riverhead. I remember last year Riverhead ran some good times, and they were in the top five all the way getting down to the end, and they were fired up about it. Do now, you foresee uh, a, a potential rule being submitted to go back to that? Yeah, I'm going to yes, put one in, no doubt. But I'm, I'm going to clean it up. Ourselves. I'm going to clean up the things that people didn't like, which I understood. Yeah. So what did they not like? Uh, some of the things were that. It was the top 33% of all the areas. Okay. So one was you were putting in teams that barely raced there. into the bottom. That was one. Uh, there was a couple others. Okay. Some people just didn't like that they were had to be grouped down there with everybody else. Oh, you know. but, but it was still random pick. If it wasn't random pick, I could understand. Yes. The Red Devils. Look a little late on the stick, right, Rob? Yeah, 334. And they finish it up. They ran an eight last year, the CG, yeah. which was kind of fun. Not going to get it here today, though. But So who comes to the line? I know. So now we have a, the highlight of the backpack coming up. It feels like it's been two hours since North Lindy ran, right? It's one of those dog day contests, man. It's like that middle of the day, sun at its peak type of contest where we it was fireworks at the beginning, and then we've just been waiting and waiting. And Hurry waiting. up, folks. But right. now, listen, let's reset here. Back to the, the television. The have seven points on the day. Can they beat? I don't know about beating the 787. That's always possible with this team for sure. But can they beat the 833 and grab four huge points? There, there is that's half a second. Yeah. There's a half a that's second in saying. there. That's what I'm saying. Somebody grab it. That's a right. big window. There Nobody sure is. So going into this, right now, I mean, at home you don't have the, the numbers up. So CI has 12, North Lindy 9, Islip 7, 6 each for West Sable and Farmingville and 5 for Spessport. That's going into the contest. Right now, 787 for West Sable in the front right now. That's the time that Islip needs to beat to take over, uh, to tie for the lead going into the next event. And here's the other thing I'll throw into this. All time in the... 10, 6, 7. Sorry. All time, no. All time in the history of the state drill. Patchogue has won this contest nine times. The Isop Wolves have also won it nine times. Listen, if Isop runs, Isop runs their regular run, they're going to fall right in that spot. Yeah, right. But they got to do, you know, they're coming off that shot where they lifted the wheels there. That was a funky run. Uh, it, right. They do that with the beach rock. Something's weird. Yeah, they, <laughs> yeah it is. <laughs> All right, here we go. Watson smacks on the back deck, and here we go. Big kick from heavy Kevin Jansen. Remember, CI still has a point right here, too. Yeah. 
big moment. We've been calling this the pivotal contest. Here we go. He's there for it. It's water in the hose. What is it? Smasher creeping. They're there. Sazalon. Target. That's going to be the. That might be second. It's going to be close. We'll see. It's close. It's definitely in the money. I think it's eight twos. That's my guess. Let's see. Time for Iceland. Eight point two. Four points. Two, two, two. Listen, eight. Second place right now. That's a huge potential four points for yep. those Iceland Wolves to go to 11. Right. If, they, if they stay with four points. Number 38. 12, 11, 11. Still got, still got the gunslinger out there. Right, they got the gunslinger. If they stay with four points, that's tremendous. And they only had to do an 822 to get it. You that's are crazy. looking right now. Right. The hobos. They didn't knock the hobos point out. Right, so hobos staying at 12. Wes Sable's going to go to 11. The Wolves are going to go to 11. Looking at 12, 11, 11, 9 going into efficiency. With one, two, three. And efficiency goes. was fun of the Hempstead last week. Islip pulls it out with an 861, beating 866 from Central Islip. So. Keep that in I, mind for next, I'm next, telling next you, this, this, the water's not going to push here like it did there. Obviously, know, we're just, not going to see the saying, times. Yeah. I but, agree. Yeah, well, I, it, that's going to put even more pressure. The hose is going to have to be out today. Okay. Can East Islip be a spoiler? That's a great. Oh, I, well, oh, they, they got Nick, Nick Motter running hydrant right here. Not sandbag. Two four sticky out a few weeks ago, and that was a, he lit it up. But uh, Robbie Sharf had came up. Backwards on him, he was able to get it on. Just like I was saying before, if you're East Islip right here, we got to try to get it to two four water on. Like Nick Mata said, hopefully Rob Scharf doesn't have a bad day. Like He's he hoping he doesn't. Lindenhurst. <laughs> <laughs> the real spoiler uh, would be if they beat Islip right now, right? If well, they, that would that, be that interesting. That's the point between the right. Flying Dutchman and the West. And Wolves, once again, right? it's wide open. So if they beat that 822 but not the 787, that would be the old, you know, that would be the biggest potential spoiler they could throw into this. Just go back a couple hours. Just remember, yeah. if Central Islip oh, man. gets the call, oh, my God. I think it's a blowout at this point. I really do. Do you think he grabbed uh, the run tour? Well, <laughs> I didn't see Stysler. Tom brings him in. He's there. He's There's no there. water in it. These guys got to get busy. Robbie's on it. The water's there. Hey, East Stysler. I don't know if it's going to be 22. I had 244. Yeah, Ooh, maybe it will. I had the same thing, Rob. Yeah, but I, I got an 8.5. 8.6. Did he have a kink or something behind him? I'm curious if he kinked it by himself yep. when he went past the hydrant. Mm. I, I, that's exactly what I was going like to say. He had a little something in his lap there. Yep, exactly what I was going to say. He's got to learn to flip over the hose. Exactly. That's out of the way. Important thing. Can't have the kink there. Yeah. I think my guy does that once a while. I think Kevin does that, but he's gotten a lot better. We talked to him about early in the season. He's gotten a lot better at it. It's really important not to get the kink right there. Yeah. It takes away that, that first burst that you're going to get, you know? But I agree. That's the first thing that came into my mind as well. All right, here comes Ellesmere. The Wanderers. They call me the Wanderers. First time out this year. Ellesmere, how far is that? That's near Albany, right? Albany. What, north of it a little bit? Uh, south. South? You know, going into the final three oh, right contests, there. guys, the Wolves, Flying Dutchman, and Hobos will have all missed each in two contests. Well, that's what we were five. talking well, about. It's the Piston Knockers who have missed in three. But they're still going to be within the mix, but they're going to be a couple points behind. So that's kind of the story. Do they all do they all go three for three on the way on. out? Come on, well, how many times? Dude. All right, not including the races they didn't run. How many times did the hobos and the wolves miss three contests this year? Jeez. It might be none. Might be it might be none. I'll get you that in a moment. Jeff Openness to the Hydra Man, Jake Meester, the anchor man, Pat Wicken up front with Mike Boone. Hope. Mike Moon hitting the target. Yeah, the Hobos guys. have missed three times more than you think. I'll get back to that in a moment. They got to tug at the hydrant. Left-handed nozzle, man. Look at that. Well, that's interesting. He's got both hands on the nozzle. I think he had both hands on the hydrant. Uh, St. James would love St. James. Oh, I was going to do a little Mike there. <laughs> Who's that kit back that they used to run with the uh, two hand? Bam, bam. Yeah, kit. And then, and then Mike well, that was the that was the St. James yeah. way. Yeah. So the hobos miss three in Selden. They come in fourth with 14 points. All Whatever. Right. That's that 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 makes sense. All they right. miss in three at the county, but the county's it's not a fully staffed type of tournament. It's still coming second. This is the biggest one. They miss in three in CI. They actually didn't run B hose. All right. So the truck was so, broken. Right. Okay. Right. So they miss in two technically. So we'll cross that one off. Um, and they won that one though, right? Yeah, they win the they win the day. Let's see, the Wolves miss two in Lindy. They score, they only miss one in Merrick. You, Paul, you're right, only twice in Selden. I don't think they ran buckets that day. Right, took buckets off. 
They missed three times at the county, but again, that's an anomaly because you don't have every team represented. Um, and it looks like they missed three in CI and still came in second. So, okay, so missed two or three. That kind of seems to be okay. I mean, that's kind of what's been happening now. You know, we've seen that teams no, missing in two. Maybe that maybe the team will win the state row only scoring in five today. It might change a little bit. But a couple of those misses you're talking about are after the, the tournament's already decided. Right. Like, see, I missed in buckets, but it didn't matter because they already had locked up yeah. a, a couple times. True. Fair enough. And say they would like some done running. All right, here comes the yellow hornets on the line. Yeah, the rascals. <laughs> the rascals. Their... Let's see if Spats can stay on his feet and get a good shot on this yeah. hydrant. Yeah, Spats been lighting it up, obviously, all year. I don't yeah. know if he uh, you know, took a little spill and yeah. see but the party champion well, himself mike spats the key here is going to be ryan maher out of this matt spinelli nozzle school it in. He water in the hose gotta get busy up top here comes the water yes, oh. Oh. 234 guys it was there that's what you love about spats man he's gonna throw it down every time hottest drop of the day right there but this is <laughs> i say this a lot you know, Spats is going to go out. How many sevens does, does Spats have? But this yeah. is this is the point I make often. It's it always looks like maybe it was the Hydra man. Oh, he didn't run enough sevens. The Hydra man didn't get. It's a lot of times it's not the Hydra man's fault. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Anybody can miss on the target. That's right. You know. And there's like I said, a lot of eight O's and eight ones that were sevens if he hits the target. That's right. Well, that. <laughs> So, Pat, I'll, I'll, I'll mention this one to you. You know, we were, we were giving Chris Connell some love earlier today, and, and, and this goes to Paulie's point. Um, today is the 43rd and 44th motorized hose shot with Chris Connell running hydrant. And of those 44 shots, he's taken points as a hydrant man in 22 out of the 44, exactly 50% of the time. So you wonder... Uh -huh. How many of those was not on him, but rather was right. on the top end? And that's yeah. kind of the difference, I guess, between... Juan, we'd ladder, have to get, like, you know? video or something, but I'd look yeah. out of those 44, how many times did he hit? I bet you yeah. 40 or more. I, yeah, it's got to be something, like, crazy, ridiculous. Yeah. Like if that, that was right? Paul Eatsy, then I was going to miss 22 times. More than that. <laughs> more than that. But that's that's an awful lot of scoring. 22. <laughs> he probably missed another one. You had seven fives too. Yeah. What? Huh? <laughs> seven fives. Go ahead with the nozzle man with I'd have six seven twos. And Antoine with <laughs> many <laughs> different nozzle men. And I'll too. tell you. And the other thing, you know, he's got 57s under his belt, according to what we found on New York right. Central teams. Right. We we haven't found anyone yet with more okay. sevens as a hydro. Hey, 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 right hey, hey now. They got hey a seven now. under the belt this year. They're going to hey at now. Rockville Center. Here we go. Where's the bay? Billy drives him in. Let's him go. Let's got water in. A lot of stuff. Creeping, creeping, creeping. Oh, does he? Oh, he holds the nozzle on. He's holding it on. Don't yes, take it is. off. That's, that's, good, you, uh, that's, a, that's, that's a snap gun. 260 on a stick, guys. Uh, Time for Oyster Bay. 8.81. So here comes the gunslinger. Right. And we said this in the happy hour. You can't 18, yeah. think you got your points yep. until the gunslinger goes. 787, first place right now. 841, the lucky dog. 841. And 736. Seven, uh, 836, 833. 822. 70. This turned into a beautiful afternoon. That wind would just die down a little bit. Yep. Compared, That'd be too hot. compared to what we were looking at at 9 o'clock this morning. The sky is beautiful. It's cleared up. It, it's, it's a really gorgeous day up here. Yeah. Lovely deer field just outside of Utica. And the place is packed. I thought we'd be done by 7, and there is no way that's happening. Yeah, well, 12 o'clock start, What's obviously. 507 right? Five hours in. Where did an hour, we, hour of contest right Where now. did yeah. we lose it? Because this contest seemed to go slow. Yeah, it, Behos took a little time today. Yep. And then you know motor pump's going to take a little while. Well, That's how that goes. From yeah. here on out, it's... <sighs> well, efficiency, listen. At least for half of it. Efficiency plus no backpack. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> In other words, are you saying bring back the backpack? You won't need melatonin to go to sleep next <laughs> in the next two hours. <laughs> ah, here we go. Here comes the gunslinger. Tosh brings him in. Got it again. This boy's got to get busy. Aaron Allen, he holds it on. Oh, oh he was. he's holding it on. Now, look, he did the right thing. There's sure a veteran move. 59 on the handle. Veteran move getting it off right there, boys. So getting the money. What was it, Rob? 259. Okay. 8.95. 8. 
95. Wow, that's 787, a half a second. Six tenths faster than anybody on the track. Half a second. Yep. Let me know. Someone's got to get me. Rob's not up here, though. I'll go front. Baldwin on the line right now for their rerun. 14, the Baldwin Tomcat. All right. Get this thing going on. Westbury's going to hit the board here. So another team is scoring. That's, that's a bunch of scoring teams today. I mean, do not go anywhere. I mean, this this track, it, it, you know, I'm just, I, I know I'm skipping efficiency, but the motor pump, you know, I think of 06, you had five fives that day. Did we get anything like that? Did we get a heavy kind of motor pump day with potentially the state drill on the line? Going into efficiency, however, before I, you know, I'm getting a little ahead of myself because I know obviously we have a full contest to run. It's going to look like this. We're going to have, you know, depending on what happens right here, but we're going to have the hobos with 12. The Wolves with 11, the Flying Dutchman with 11, and the Piston Ockers with 9. Tomcats roll out. Here they come. Break it to Hydrant. Oh, Went past, put it on. What a run. Oh. Nazaman breaks by himself. And Cannot beat the water. That'll be an overtime for a Baldwin. Flowing a lot of water. No one taking control of this tournament, Juan. I'm telling you, we have 15, I tell you. <laughs> 15 teams have scored points today. 15. And again, I, I heard overtime it. Overtime for Baldwin, overtime. I heard you guys talk about it on that on that special broadcast that you did Thursday that, that displayed on the website on Friday, the happy hour broadcast. Chris Murphy said he's gonna he's got that 2015 vibe. And I got to tell you, I was listening to the show on the way up on Friday night, uh, you know, about 24 hours ago, and I, I, I disagreed with him. I, I thought it was going to be a runaway two-dog show. I slip CI is what I had in mind, I visualized. So I, I digress. I'm wrong. It's exactly what you guys, where Chris Murphy specifically said it was going to be. It's 12, 11, 11, 9, 6, 5. Then we got a bunch of threes. But that's at the top four teams uh, at statewide all year are neck and neck. They're literally three points apart for four teams going into efficiency, motor pump, and buckets. I know Paulie Suskind's waiting oh, in the wings right now to do an interview with the West Sable Flying they're Dutchman, down, down. the team right, who has won B-Hose at the state drill. Yeah, they're not here yet. Fifteen teams have I, yeah. I thought for sure maybe, maybe top ten teams could have scored today. Yeah. This is... Wow. For West Sable, this is their seventh overall victory in the Behos contest in the history of this sport. That puts them into sole place of third. Patchogs won it nine times. The Wolves have won it nine times. West Sable now in third. They break the tie with the North Londoners Piston Knockers, who have won it six times. And, and based on their history, you don't automatically think of West Sable as a Behos team. It's always ladders, ladders, yeah, ladders. I know. I know what yeah. you mean. But they sure are. But yep. they're finally getting it back together, which is good to see. Ready? All right, so Rob Noonan and Paulie Suskind's down there. Looks like Michael Mara. We're just waiting for the go-ahead. Ready when you guys are. What'd you say? Oh, they're waiting for Chris Perry to do the results. Okay. Yeah, yeah we got we to move quick. That would probably be helpful. So right now we have CI with 12, <laughs> West Sable and Ice up each with 11, 9 for West Sable. Farmerville with 6. And behind them we have the, the Onions with 5. We have... Then a couple teams of four, and I, I tell you, it's so, so who are those? So that's interesting because the Bandits have six, right? And that's fifth yep, place. Six is fifth. So, so what's the race for fifth place? Assuming that the top four oh, yeah. and the top four, right? Obviously, that anything can happen. But what's the race for fifth? All right, six Bandits, five for the Red Onions, three East for North Belmore and West Hempstead. They can they can run some shots later on here, and three for Hagerman at the bottom. They they can run a good efficiency shot. So. This is going to do a lot to determine uh, our, our top five of the day right that, here, this that, efficiency contest. So that's that's a fun thing. Right now, it's uh, you know it's it's wide open. It's for, wide open. It's wide open place. for the state yeah. championship, right? The hobos, they're, they're they're all right there. It's any of those four could win it. Who's coming in fifth? That's another storyline we got going on. You got ten teams with a shot at fifth place right now. Number <laughs> six. Number 10, Bayshore. Fourth place, two points. Number seven, Westbury. Fifth place, one point. Number four, Point Pleasant. 
All right, and those are the official announcements. Paulie Suskind is waiting in the wings, and he's uh, got Michael Mara over for a, a quick interview. Paulie, take it away. Anywhere. When we come back, we're going to head into those special teams contests, heading into the final three. It's anyone's game. Stay tuned. Live on top of the arch, 2023 New York State Championship Drill. We'll be back in a couple. instantaneous on-scene electronic personnel accountability system used by FDNY, New Rochelle, East Chester, and many other fire zones software. Instantaneous on scene electronic personnel accountability system used by FDNY, New Rochelle, East Chester, and many other fire departments nationwide is now available from Systems Definition Incorporated or your local Motorola dealer. SDI is a well known software application developer for FDNY and is the company behind this game changing patented technology. SDI has paired with New York fire departments, including Central Islip, to solve the challenge for accounting for members who respond after the tones go off. And new this year, SDI has integrated SCBA data from your Scott SCBA systems. This new capability will further improve fire ground safety by providing pass alarm and air remaining directly to the command post in an easy to view format. Track your members and organize your fire ground activities with a proven solution designed with the New York State Volunteer Fire Department in mind. For more information, visit systemsdefinition.com. With over 30 years of service in the fire industry, High Tech Fire and Safety is proud to be the longest running sponsor of the New York State Fire Department Drill Team's live broadcast. High Tech has been honored to serve as master distributor for Morning Pride products, including state-of-the-art bumper gear, USAR gear, EMS gear, helmets, gloves, hoods, and boots. In addition to Morning Pride gear by Honeywell, High Tech also provides quality products, including Genesis extrication equipment, CMC rescue products, and Mercedes hose, providing your fire department with the highest level of support and service for all your personal protection equipment needs. For a personalized demo or to speak to a certified sales specialist, call 
888-500-5170 or visit hightechfireny.com. Carabas and Central Isolp is now owned by a member of the New York State Fire Department Drill Team's family. Billy Etzel Jr. has spent his summers on and around the track for his entire life, helping to bring you the Wildcat Survivor Pool at the New York State Drill each August. This summer, Billy welcomes fans and firefighters alike to take a break from the grill and stop by Carabas for some of their new summer flavors and recipes. Carabas is also a Yeah, Adam Kalen. 13 seconds. Yikes. They're working on it. 14, 15. When he comes back on, we should go, hi! <laughs> All right. Dear Puck, late duck, turns it on himself. Uh, Turn on person, didn't get there. <laughs> oh, he's close to that line, boy. He is close to that line. This year. All right. Uh, no. They said close, too, but uh -huh. not close enough. Uh huh. All right, okay. Is it time for the Immaculate Grid? I'm going home. We have, yeah, I quit. I quit. All right, I, uh, we, we basically had to re engineer the whole setup up here, okay? We had a big catastrophic fail of a uh, computer that's not working out for us right now. So we uh, came up with a new plan here. Everybody, we're really sorry for the sloppiness of B Hose. Uh, but we think we're going to be able to give you a nice look for efficiency. I think, guys, you can see it up top, too, right? Yep. Okay. And uh, we should be able to give you the top five and everything as it goes as well. Um, but going forward from here, it looks like we'll have nice, crisp cameras. Again, I'm sorry, everybody. It just uh, 
we sometimes we can't predict this stuff. So yeah, um, uh, we're we're doing our best. So, uh, but let's let's enjoy the last three. The shaky camera is due to wind. That would be the only other thing. I guess that's the least of our problems here today, right? Yeah, yeah. Just uh, every, everybody at home, take a little uh, Motrin yeah. and uh, and and Maybe buckle up. <laughs> Again, the you know the issues that that you guys are dealing with in the truck, they're unprecedented. You know, you're not having the best Verizon service, and I don't know all the ins and outs that goes into it, but you guys have been doing a good job trying so to get. The truth is this. Here, here's the truth for everybody at home. The truth is, is that. We worked uh, five years ago. We had no service at all. We got up here. Verizon still had no service five years later. We're like, what the heck? Big <laughs> shot here for Farmville, guys. Farm six, uh, six points around fifth place. Yeah, this is a big race in a day. And they're off. Race for fifth in the state drill. they've run well. And they're, what are in the, oh, what are in the lap? Man, that's so deflating when you're doing it. It really is. Uh, you know, right before we gave it, uh, did, went to commercial for Behose. We were saying the race for the fifth place finish today yeah, is wide with, open. With that miss, <laughs> you, know, you, ha you have. Oh, there's so many people there's in so there. Many, now. I mean, Spencer was, Ford's the closest uh, with five. That feels good. And then you <laughs> got, you know, Hagerman, West Hempstead, North Belmore, all threes. Did Point Pleasant get a one in the last contest? I'm sorry. They short threes. Point Pleasant did. They got one with an 841, right. so they got on, on the board. Yep. Number four on your program, okay. the Peep Pickers. What was the uh, 1298? I missed, uh, so 1058 for North Babylon, and then after that we had the Bandits run a 1298. Secondary story, the, the race for the state championship, it, 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 it's a four-dog race right now, especially with that miss from the Farmingville Bandits. I mean, look, I'm not going to count them out yet because mathematically they're only six behind. But, uh, you know, they, 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 yeah. did, they just blew efficiency. That's a tough miss there for those bandits. Yeah. Point yeah, th that's one of the they were probably counting on here towards the end. Yeah. Yeah, Point Pleasant on the line right now. They ran a nice 962 with Central Ice Slip when they were struggling to get some points to get down the track at the end of the day. And they uh, ended up getting the motor pump up there at, at CI and finishing off for their first major motorized placing ever. Yeah. It, since 1935, they've been on the track. And a uh, bunch of good guys over there in Point Pleasant. They have... Near to one of next week up in Point Pleasant. So it's on uh, Saturday. I believe it's a 12 noon start over in uh, Rondecoy, New York. So if you're upstate here, you just want to see some racing, take a shot over there and check it out Saturday. Yeah. I, unfortunately, I will be at the Turtles 70th reunion party at the Water Division. Oh, I got to get well, those tickets. I got to buy I the free tickets right here. And you, always, you always keep digging. No, I, I, you never give I it to me. I have to sell tickets. So if you need a ticket, come find Uncle Billy. All right, so Point Pleasant, they're trying to sneak into that top five. I think it's going to be kind of difficult for them. They'd have to have a really good bucket shot, but they got to hit efficiency. All right, Kyle McCarroll. Hey, what's got water in? Oh, a little no, he, late on his side. Yeah, yeah, something right. Did he cross it, man? Oh, now it's on him. It. He definitely crossed it. Yeah, that wasn't coming. Oh, he blew off at the hydrant. Yeah, yeah, he had to cross the thread. That's why they were probably hesitant, but yeah. you, you know what? There's, you got to throw it. It's a state tournament. There's no, you're not going to score if you don't. Right. Looks like, looks like they're walking off and accepting in no time here, boys. Hey, it looks like some of the guys are arguing, like, let's finish the shot. You at least get the uh, overtime. They, you know? Oh. See you later, Pat. Thanks a lot, Pat. Pat's affairs. Later, Pat. Uh, good Thanks to do. joining us, Pat. They have to be so, frustrated. Have to be. This is, this is two years in a row where they came into high hopes for this uh, for this tournament. It's just not worked out, especially after that nice job at Central Ice Slip. They came down, laid down some heavy numbers. They went to Spencerport uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, six, you know, didn't, didn't have the day they wanted. They've been the B team there and uh, just not getting it done. Farmville was a 1298. Labor is local. <laughs> Yeah, plus, plus tail draggers. Tail draggers, 10.58. And no time for the Ironman. Gotcha. All right. So All right. You, you Belmore on the line. Yeah, you, you know, Belmore, oh, yeah, I meant to do this earlier. There's a, uh, <clears throat> I know that, um, you know, Belmore has the Roosevelt B truck. Uh, Jay Podaski texted me earlier today um, just to give a shout out. There is a watch party going on by the Roosevelt exempts. Yeah. So shout out to those guys. I hope you guys are having a good day watching the show. Hopefully you stay tuned all day. Here we go there, all the except all over there, Roosevelt. What'd you say? Did you ever go in there, Roosevelt exempt all they have? I don't believe I have. Yeah. yeah. Me neither. Oh, okay. People I know have, but <laughs> it's not me. I figured maybe you did. You, you kind of, you're over that away. All right. Yeah, it does look like we got some stuff going on here. Nice. All right. A lot of watch parties going on. A lot of people, you know, checking out the TV. I know efficiency just, you know, it, it's, it's anyone can run this contest, right? right. I mean, it's, it's, you can get lucky. it's the purest contest we have. Maybe three men's a little All more right. pure. All right. Danny Schmidt on the hydrant. Jay's turning on for him. 
Bam, water's, oh, water's in his lap. Hydrogen not getting it We didn't see, we didn't see obviously, running to the hydrant is much more difficult than taking the truck because we're getting water all over the street. Yeah, this, yeah. this, this, this is a... You don't look a wet spot when you run an efficiency, that's for sure. I personally used to hate it. <laughs> it's, like, ball it's too far. 12.72. All right, here's 72. your big shot for the tournament right here. Second place by one point with 11. Here's a West Save of Flying the Dutchman. The will be number six on your program. The Dutchman, Flying Dutchman from West Seville. That's D. Wicks on the call right there, taking over Chris Perry, giving him one event off. This is a huge shot for the fortunes, this right? state drill right now. They are one point down. They have 11. When you think about West Seville's state tournament run, Right, they've always seemed to grab heavy points in efficiency. Obviously, uh -huh. it doesn't matter, but efficiency's always been that sneaky, Listen, heavy contest. This is well, wait a second, Twan, Twan, hey. Twan, yep. Twan, tell me somebody who didn't grab big numbers in efficiency yeah. and win and a state win. tournament. Yeah, efficiency point. is huge to win in state yeah. drills. Oh, two yellow hornets. North Linderhurst? <laughs> <laughs> oh, six yellow hornets. <laughs> no, but I hear you, man. Listen, the, 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 you know, some of the shots that come to mind from West Haven, that 8.52 they run in 01 state to yeah. seal it. Um, and there's a lot of other ones there. Listen, as far as this year is concerned, Good they've, contest, they've, been, they've been 9.24 or better about six times. That's pretty impressive. Year. So 884 to Hunter. A good efficiency year, yeah. Pretty impressive. But like you just said, yeah. boy, this is a big one. Yep. They are down by one, three to go. And the three that are playing, the four that are playing are all real good at it. All right. Not to mention the state record holders in buckets. So Joey Quinn's running the hydrant. I mean, Mandy Mayer up top with Billy Hoffman. They have a lead going into buckets. So let's see. All right, they're off. Making the approach. Baby is watering the hose. Baby. Step one, everybody. Here comes Baby. step two. Billy's running on it, dragging it out. Oh, he goes Baby. low. This is goes low. Get that. It's a tough miss. Man, I t you know what's so crazy? It was right on the flap, dead center. Just below Just it. Just below it. You have on a head fake any time. Time for the no. flying Dutch. 315 on the handle. Point Wait. One, seven, ten, seventeen. Rob, Rob, it's funny. I had the same exact number. I'm afraid to say it because I feel like my thumb's broken. Sometimes. To the line will be number seven on your programs. The Turtles from Westbury. This is uh, the Turtles, probably their best event. They would, they would like to score in today. 901, they ran at Hempstead a couple weeks ago. 939, 47. So they, they're been all over the place, but they run it clean. Uh, Let's see what happens. I know, man. I, like, we just witnessed a miss in efficiency when you had the state drill. Not on the line, but, you know. You it's put, on, you oh, know, it's on the line. line. I know it is. <laughs> okay, I hear you. There's still two contests to go is my point, but I'm just looking at body language of the guys right now walking off, and, you know, you, they got to be just thinking that one just got away, man. That was uh, – that's the game. There's two to play. They have 11. The they racing can, gods they, give it. The racing they, gods uh, take it away. They, they can still get the 21, <laughs> right, mathematically. Well, so, these other teams have to hit it too, you that's know. That's right. That's exactly what I'm saying. So – Westbury Turtles have an outside chance to come down top five. They have two points, and the reason I'm saying this is fifth place is six points right now. They're only six, four if, points if, away. As you come to the line, fifth place is missed already. So. As you come to the line, think about the butterflies. So the team that you're competing with already misses. So you can think about it two ways. Oh, we have a bonus shot here, or is it like, man, we better not miss now? I know. Right? Yep. Do we get? Oh, now we're okay. I'm calm. Or man, go for it. If we miss it here, this is the state. This was our chance. Put your shot up. All right, here come the Turtles right now. Big Dan calling him off. Kevin McGowan on the hydrant. Sully turning off for him up top. We have Double D, Dan Driscoll up top. The little bird behind him, backing him. You were saying before, how many teams have scored? I was listening down 15. there. 15. It's pretty unbelievable. And off. McGowan comes in. At the hydrant. Water's in. Pulling it out. 334. Oh. Yeah, watch at the target, guys. I have it's going to be a tough miss right there. Back-to-back -back yep. tough misses on that end. Oh. The fortunes are going to be with the person that can that hit it. wasn't even close. I mean, it's play. always like that, but today. Time for the Turtles. 1-1. One, one, no, point three, one, 11, 31. Little ed a little edit right, right to it. the top, and he just did. It's like he slowed the down too much. Number eight on your programs, the Red Onions from Spencerport. Hey, guys, I got an update on our survivor pool, Wildcat survivor pool. Ooh. Going into the efficiency contest, we have nine entries left, so we are under double digits. In nine. efficiency, huh? For the most amount ever, they're down to nine. Ooh. They put out some cool stats on group me the other day about how many sheets they've had all the time, how many perfect sheets. It's pretty cool. I'm into the stats. 
In case I, you haven't noticed. I, I, they, <laughs> and they do such a nice job. They, they get the money out there. They pick a, tr a charity every year. It's just going to the uh, the fund for the Billy Moon. Uh, for, who's going to the... Uh, Fasny. What's that? Going to Fasny in the name of Billy Moon. Oh, to the, uh, the home upstate. Yes. Right? Yeah, the firefighter's home. So there it is. Uh, yeah. Fasny Fireman's home. Billy, what's, what's Spence Board's deal this year in, in efficiency? Can they put a nine up, a solid nine? I think they can. What do I have for I have 830. Oh, 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 right. Blah, 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 blah. right. 10, 10 they have. They haven't. But they're, they're, having, they're having a good day today, and I think things like that well, translate into you. Listen, that's what I was going to lead into. You things when you're having a good Agreed. day. Agreed. The Red Onions haven't placed top five since 2003. It's less than an off-state team placed top five. This shot right now, they have five points on the day. They're the only, they need it right they're the only Western team ever, correct? Yeah, correct. Ah, here we go at the approach. Hydrant. Scott by himself. Bang, and what was hit? There we go. 355. Josh up top. All about the target shot. Got to keep going. Oh, you guys oh. the top end miss. Yeah, I think he's got to run that out a little more. I was going to say, like, I think Westbury's a little bit further back from the line than they normally are. You, you don't see too many people that are stopping that short that end up with a good time. Run you run it, it right to the end, and you got to hit it on the run. Yeah, 361 on the stick. Time for the Red Onion. No. 1, 1. 57. Yeah, your, your hotel pen. I, I remember we were the lottery number and, uh, nine on your programs, the Yellowbirds from get, uh, Copic. You get the ice of winds up there in buckets with Pat Cook, and there's nothing else coming up to uh, and, and the light trips. Yeah. We need two points to get on the track. Spence Sports never run a 21 8 that year. Uh, they right, run, right. run better than 23. They right. run a 21 7 and yeah. beat us and knock us off. Oh, it's just. Between that and ice ups, getting that last drop of water, and Pat, Pat, Pat using his hips to make that bucket move, <laughs> I think that's illegal. <laughs> Did you they protest? Were, oh, man. He, got, he was such a cheater. <laughs> there I mean, you go. He should have had stripes on his shirt. You guys are unbelievable. <laughs> you're, got, you're having a day, you guys. Do the Copec Yellowbirds have it in them, the run and efficiency shot? I'll right tell now? you what, With I hope. Three points on a day to put themselves in the mix for potential it's, first top five finish ever. It's unbelievable how right. many people are in this little boat. I know. Yeah, they, they've been in six. They, like I said, they've, they've, they've got three or four six places under their belt as well. Yeah. The race for fifth place in the drill is it's, Listen, it's fun right if now. Listen, yeah, if you run a nine right now, you got a chance. Yeah, that's right. I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so we, eight and, and listen, we have a, we're, and we're in 17. The six point team being the bandits they missed, the five point team in the running. And, and we're in the fanny back. I know, that we are. <laughs> we're, we're about to get to the big swingers. All right, Copig's best, best year so far, 9.99. And they're off. Here comes Charlie. I don't, know, I don't know if Charlie was off first. Bang, hey, he's got bang, bang, though. No. Boy, you hooked that up nice. Here comes Chris Brandt. Pat Rendon behind him. Why are they not running full speed at the top? Uh, hey. I it. it looked like a job uh -huh. to me. 357 on a stick, guys. Might have our first nine of the day. Mm, it's not going to be a pretty nine. I, I just oh, felt like it dropped down early. Time though. for the Yellowbird. Nonetheless. 9.909. 990. All right, so that's first place right now. <laughs> there it is. And it's our fastest shot of the year by 9 100. Well, so once again. That'll be number 10 on your programs, the Redskins. From this falls right into the laps of Bayshore. Now, Monk Bayshore has not. Is this Monk Oh, my God. No, this is a slow Monk. It's, Bayshore has not had the best efficiency yet. There's been guys in and out of the lineup a little bit. But this is a great opportunity for them because sure you is. know they can put it in the water in the hose. And you know he can hit the target. And with that being said, 929 at Central Isop didn't yeah, score a point. Exactly. But that's a good number. For it's them, a good right? number. You know, it's well, they run that today. I think it's a whole uh, different yeah, world. That's what I'm saying. Right? You're figuring that you're running a 9-2 here. You're getting something done. I mean, there's only been a couple of eights run here. And uh, a lot of, like, nine ones right. uh, uh, for first place shots, I'm saying, over, over yeah. the years we've been here. Yeah, there's only been, I think, four eights here. And they go back to the 90s and maybe 0-2. Yeah, I'm looking, I'm, looking, looking, I'm looking at your sheet yeah. here. 80, 89 by the Yellow Hornets in the first state drill here. I mean, that's who knows what kind of. No, the water was kicking. The, yeah, exactly. I remember those first couple state tournaments here. How about, the water was insane. How about this one? Who won 06 efficiency? The West Islip Raiders. Oh, yeah. 894. You forget about that little sneaky early yep. 2000s West Islip. Running an 8, right? too. Yep. Was that back with Darren and those guys? Yeah. I, no, he was gone could, by You could have said any was name. It? I don't know. Who was the name? What was the name of that climber that they had in that early 2000s? Pretty decent. Sorry. Jim. Nonetheless, yeah, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Nonetheless, the track. broke the record that day, and then uh, I, was, I said, go. you guys are there. He goes, yeah, don't worry. Track is clear. It's one day only. <laughs> Redskins got this guy track. moved to Boston. That guy's gone. <laughs> yep, yep, over. Call off going on, boys. All right. Three points. All right, Bayshore, Bayshore, let's go. Again, fifth place in the drill is six points right now. And they're off. On the approach. Water is in the hose. Skippy up top with the nozzle. Let's see what he can do. Oh, my 
You God. never see the top length break like that. That oh. is a rare sighting, especially oh. for 319 on the handle, and yeah, that's uh, painful. Wow. Mm. Because you think, how many attempts do you have running that far down the street, right? You missed the first click. You have two, three, four, five more attempts, right? Yeah, you can just stop if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> I will stop, sit down, and put it together so it doesn't blow off. The Redskins, overtime. Right Man. Now. That's right through their fingers Jeez. right there. To the line will be number 11 on your programs, the Hobo oh, we go. from can Central I, Islip. What is going on in efficiency today? Uh, it's not the good. The drill is on the line, ladies and gentlemen. I know. What is going on right I now? know. We, we haven't had that event yet that we've had all season Who long. wants to? You're right. It's going to be the uh, event. I, I mean, it's so far. You don't ever want to see it. Who wants to be a hero? I need a hero. Yeah, because you're hungry. <laughs> hungry, thirsty. <laughs> I'm with you. I could use a burger. I feel like I'm in Central Ice. They're going to go to the dumpster and get some hamburgers for us. I could use a burger. I could use a glass of water. Not going to lie. I mean, I can't wait I can't wait till next Saturday or two Saturdays from now when Hagerman. Oh, they, they feed us French like fries. Hams, French fries. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Dude, the state tournament's on like the French fries. And the hobos are up here. The hobos are up here. Hagerman French fries because I have no food in my belly up here. That's right. We had that hot yeah, sausage yeah. before. And that's Antoine, it. he can't concentrate right Billy, now. Billy, why don't you eat a carrot? I feel like I'm, I'm like that Snickers <laughs> commercial right now, you know? You, you, you need a Snickers, you know? <laughs> yeah. Billy, you need a Snickers. <laughs> yeah, I got Betty White next to me right there right now. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get this guy some protein? Oh, Jesus. man. No, I don't uh, want those protein. Central want those. Bobo's boys come to the line. I don't want one. They have four eights on today. <laughs> Credit, they got 12 points. They're in the lead, potentially 17. All right, here we go. Central Ice Slip. Big shot here. We have big shot. Listen, we're I don't saying know. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Paul. it's cliche at this point. These I big know. shots. No, we haven't seen enough to, of them come to fruition, though. Yeah. That's the problem. One, two, three, four eights on the year so far. A nine zero and a nine one. Just in case anyone's chiming in to the to the to the video later on in the day, and you haven't watched earlier, the hobos got called on a failed to grasp and hold and see ladder. It what would have been a first place you, shot. Of course, five big points. Uh, I, I don't know how many of you state record. didn't know that already, but just you think in case he held you didn't. It? Oh, yeah, we talked about it earlier. Yeah, yeah we covered it earlier. I'm not going to go back down there. It, it is absolutely 100% a great. You got Patrick Swayze up here next to me. So, anyway. I'm waiting for a song. All right, here we go. Si since that call, the Hobos have right. scored two. Ryan and Jake on the Hydra. Let's see what they can do. They're going to have to do something here. Can the Hobos take efficiency? Maybe their best contest historically and to off. put them over the Malcolm top. Malcolm in the middle, way out in front. There it is. Got water in. 302. 316. Okay. Off the light. That my, my thumb's broken. Here we go. Slight wash, uh, but I still think it's going to salvage a decent number. Yeah, I yeah, think that's actually still a pretty good number. It could here. stay for points, but boy, what if he hits it on the fly? Looks like he no. slipped a little bit there when he's playing his last foot. Yep. Time for the Hobos, 9.33. Nine, oh, 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 oh. Still going to take a shot to beat it. Because you know why? His water on was so much Lions faster than anybody right now. The piston knockers from North Linderhurst. They've won through their hose in 5.03, guys. So water at 8.19. Eight one's a pretty decent uh, yeah, water route through, yeah. anywhere except up, Hempstead. The, the, the top dragger, Malcolm. You see how far out he was? He is yeah. fast. Oh, and my God. Wow. And I have to say, that's the first team I've seen this year that looks like, excuse me, today, that looks like they had some pop coming out of the yeah. nozzle end, right? Yeah. It's been like a dead stream. All right, well, we're going to see if they have it here because back to back now, North Lindy. If North Lindy has, they can't blow this contest. They're nope. they're down three. Yep. They need and I, this, you know, the last couple of years North Lindy's been pretty good in efficiency. This year right. it's been I've well, been okay this year. Okay, okay. 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 but it's not as good as it was. One, two, three, four, five, six events, six tournaments in a row they placed in this contest. All right. They missed at Hempstead, but the rest of the year, not a bad slash line. Well, it's going to need the heavy eights, but they, they, I, they pointed away all year. I think he's got to chip away at that 12 if he's down three right now. And their back-to-back -back wins in 19 and 21. They won this contest. Yes, it was huge. Nine, this was the one. Nine, oh, three. Huge. All right. Yeah. Chris on the hydrant here. We got Ducky up top. Kevin Kenley backing him up. Big Smed's going to turn on here. In nice the, hydrant team over here. In the history of the streak, they've only scored an efficiency 12 of 43. Times. Here we go. Here we go. At the hydrant. Water in. Oh, it's across the track. Oh, my God. 314, Rob, on the, on the head face. Wow. 325. Okay, so we're about a tenth off. Is that? It's because no, I'm it's, using a light one? No. You're, no, I'm not saying yeah, I'm that I'm better the, than you. You're, you're, you're I'm more accurate. Light. Yep, yep. It's a, it's a moot point anyway, and a lot of hanging heads right now. Oh, that, the, all Lord. that does is bode well for the whole Over time. Sure does. Knockers. Over it really, wow. it really then becomes down to the wolves oh, again. It's, it's the two teams that have been punch for punch program. all year. 
the Raiders from West Islip. Was that overtime? Four, that's four good. Uh, t oh, sorry, yeah. Four really good efficiency teams did not put anything. I up. know. Now, who's going to jump into that fifth place conversation? Well, right listen, now? Hagerman's a good efficiency team. Okay. They, they got three points. points. Good point. They got three points. South Hempstead could run efficiency. They have two on a day. What about West Hempstead? West Hempstead could run efficiency. They had three on a day. Mm -hmm. North Belmore. They yeah. got three on a day. And they, they, they can run buckets. It is yeah. wide open it's right 10 now. 10 teams with a shot at the day. At the day is first. 11 teams you know, in California. When, when, we were, when we were forecasting this day, and it has not turned out anything like we were not saying, but when we were forecasting it, Chris knew, though. Chris one one, it one of the things that we said is it's coming fifth. You needed, a, like, 11 points. No. <laughs> 11 points right now is almost winning the no. drill. Yeah. A few years ago, if you remember, six points got you on the track. That oh, was, I that remember. Was park. So was, we were talking to dinner last night. Mike's, Mike's with me. We were talking about the whole thing. He goes, yeah, we own two records. The the lowest amount of points to place in the top fifth, and we have the most second places yeah. ever. Two great ones. And, and, and the most points to lose. <laughs> two great ones. <laughs> that six and a half points by New York Park was here at the 2014 yeah, right here. State. I, I tell you, some of the most frustrating times leaving a state tournament are when it was like a six points or an eight point fifth place, and you do, you weren't able to get it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what really got you angry a lot of those times right. when you knew you had the, the team. Raiders on the line. That was the second fewest. That was the fewest fifth place. It was six points by the snails. Steve Bedell on the hydrant. Nineteen seventy. He's got to put it down. Oh, oh you put it in his lap. Yeah, this is. Uh, get out of the hose, that middle guy. There you go. Yeah, two or three people tangled in. Yeah, you saw that right on the red link. All right, they're gonna finish it up. I tell you, Justin's having a rough day down there, Justin Deakey. Yeah. Nice, nice, really nice kid down there, and uh, <laughs> this is a long day. Not working out. Overtime uh, for the Raiders. They haven't Overtime. had one set of numbers yet today. That's, that's, they, mm. they go for the complete no, set they here. Scored, uh, they scored in Seahose, <laughs> didn't they? No. 1996? To the line, Overtime. it'll be number 14 on your oh, program. Oh, it's 1996? Okay. Tomcats if that counts. From Baldwin. I must have just rolled my nose in. I jumped the gun. Is there a question about 96? Did you say no, mate? No, no, no. Uh, West Islip ran a 1996. Oh. Oh. Right? Oh, yeah, they did. I, th I thought it was overtime. 400s. <laughs> All right, here they are. The Baldwin Tomcats, fresh off their double shot. Of you know, I, I, uh, another thing I don't really want to see is so someone backing into winning the state drill, right? That's what's, like, going on right now. Everyone's backing into it. I mean, uh, if I was North Belmore... I'd have someone sitting in a C truck right now, a B truck. And I'd fire that thing up as soon as I call my guys off. <laughs> Just to put that rule to the test. Oh, someone hired the B truck up. <laughs> of course, a B truck cannot be turned on during efficiency shots. No, no, we had that whole discussion earlier this year at the uh, North Belmore invite. Oh, it's still a discussion. Oh, yeah. What's the discussion? The officials won't let it go. They don't believe it should be a rerun. Oh. Because it's not in the book. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's, a, it's a courtesy. All right, here we go, John. But it's always been the precedent forever. Didn't know that. And they're off. And they are off. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. He's going to trip in that. They leave the Hydra man in the dust. Oh, it's got some water. Oh, he's going to need some backup. How much? How much? Okay. Okay. Can we go back to B-Ladder? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I kind of feel like it's some things are just a dud right now. That's sometimes it happens. You get these. overtime for the Tomcats. So overtime. it's like you know you go to like a concert and like you go to like see the Who or whatever, and yeah. they have they have the brand new album. Out, you don't know any songs. Right. And they don't yeah, and they're playing it. This is, this is when you go to the bathroom and, and you get a beer at the, at the beer stand. Right. I'm surprised these people are still in the stands here. <laughs> This exactly. should be when you when you go to the, go to the camp, say hello, have a have a you know something to eat or maybe some drink, which we don't have. Somebody, yet. somebody, please play pinball wizard. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, hopefully it picks up right now, guys. We have got North Belmore, we got West Hempstead back to back. They both have three points on the day. Miller's can run a nice efficient time. Miller plays can run. We, yeah, yep. we do a four 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 contest. Maybe the backpack's going to surprise us. Uh, that would be nice. North Belmore's put in the nine twos this year. West Hempstead's also put in the nine twos. So back to back potential. Now, can they beat that hobo shot? You know, they left the door a little bit open at hobos, but not flapping the target, right? right? But so the, you're, you're running out of teams here, so. Yeah. Literally, even though we're not even halfway through the scorecard, you're running out of teams that can beat a 933. Well, this fits right into Islip's uh, thing. I would tell you, Hagerman ran a really heavy shot earlier this year. They, they got their stuff together. They, they can run that. They can run a need on this track. They no, have that they can do it. Uh, I think, obviously, Islip can do it. East Islip can do it. Yep. Overtime. Overtime. I should have let him guess. Yeah. What do you think it was? It starts with an O and it ends with a T. 
<laughs> North Belmore Rankies. Two letters long. Three points on the day. Nine nineteen C ladder. Hot. They had a two. Yeah. Dyslexic. I was like, dyslexic. Two. I was just gonna say if I was dyslexic, they got a two. <laughs> Missing B ladder. All right, Mike Bowen calling them off here. All right, Pat Ryan. Young Mike Bowen. On the approach. Oh, no. Bang, water's in. And he's got Good it. Look up right there. 309, probably the best we've seen today. All right, this could be out. something. Little kink behind him. Oh, no nope. wash. Nope. Wow. And that, that, that to me showed the contest right there. There was a kink between the top coupling and the nozzle band. Water did not get there. So you went from a 3-1 to a 10-10. Time ten, for the rookie dinks. 1-0.13-10-13. So. We have... Listen, two third, nines right now. Third, a nine thirty three to nine ninety. This is third place right now. So that'll be number <laughs> yeah, sixteen on your programs, the Westner. Somebody from like West Hempstead. West Hempstead. If they can nail this contest, it catapults them into the top five. How many points? Come on, get fired up. How many no. points does South Hempstead have? They, they, three. Two, three, two, two, and three in ladder. No, three. Where'd they get another point? Oh, not South, South Hempstead. I was Hempstead. Oh, the bottom. South, South Hempstead. Hempstead. South Hempstead's run. Oh, I thought you said West Hempstead. Hempstead. South Hempstead's run one of the best efficiency right. shots of the year. I know yeah. it was in Hempstead, but I thought you meant West Hempstead. I'm going to ask those guys for a not quite a team record, but I, it was like if an they come down to track top yeah. five, I might ask for a B truck ride. Oh boy! You guys, can I come on the truck with you? No. <laughs> come on, I'm honorary coach. Let's fire up some music here. Yeah, get something going. Let's try and liven this place up over I'm there. I'll tell stuff. you right. There's no. something just it's that, quiet about it. I know. Maybe if, maybe if they brought us food, it would liven up. The contest that wasn't. If only Everybody we, here needs a Snickers. If only we had yeah. an immaculate grid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If my immaculate grid came on the screen, we'd have some of the fun. I'm seeing some about. phenomenal food walk by into All the stands. All the work you put into labor, see wings the of your labor. And fingers and... Wow. But back to the West Hempstead Westerners. 6.57, they take three points and three. Anyway, the West Bear, Westbury can't pass some uh, food. If you run it over here, it'd be nice. Steve McCarroll said he'd run some over to us, but... I think it's a hollow promise. <laughs> That's going to be something. The first points in three-man ladder for Joey Martin. All right, here we go. Third man. So, you know, they got. They're off. They're off. Good-looking start. Here we go. Juan Spurrow. Ah, Cross man. Down. Come on, somebody. John Poirot, you don't ever see him do that much. Yeah, oh, I, boy. I know, like, man. He's angry. He's punching I the hose. I know. He's angry. You, you know, talking to him he's before the game, you know, he's looking forward to his passing the torch to these young kids, but he knew he had a big spot to run an efficiency today, and you know, that's... that's, that's Overtime for the Westerners. Overtime. He's, he's a good racing guy, man. That's going to that's gonna bother him. It's going to eat him up for a little bit. Seven sets of numbers so far. To the line will be number Even. 17 Dang. on your programs, the Snails from Lindenhurst. 933, 990. There we go. Yikes. 1013, 10, 1017, and 1058. Oh, boy. Still a nice capacity crowd sitting right. in here right now. Here come the Snails. And the Snails, can the Snails put it up? Do I have to start looking in the archives about the last time a 10 scored oh. in efficiency? No, in please don't do it. Early. Please don't do it All right. yet. All right, I'll hold off. Christian Brody on the uh, Hydra today. Whammo turning on. Whammo. You got a lot of good nicknames. How do you know name, man? I tell you, so, so Whammo, I, I misspoke at, at the county tournament. I thought he was 65. Yes. It turns out he's really 50. I was off oh. by 10 years. Oh, oh. So, yeah, he was happy with he, that. He, he does look great, doesn't he? I mean, he, he looks great phenomenal. Shape. I mean, Kind of makes you look puny there, Paul. Yeah, well, you know what? I can, if I can offer him one thing, I think he's got to get close to shaving the hair. All right, here he's we go. He's trying to keep it around. He's got to maybe shave it. All right. Snails on the line, and Brody stops in the middle. I don't know what that was about. He's standing right in front of the nozzle. He's he is. Speak. He's I think he's going right to block. He's blocking him. He's blocking him. He's got to trip him. Oh, my God. He, he almost, almost hit him. He tripped him. He almost hit him. Water's in. All right, big shot coming up here. Here comes Brendan. Keith Kirby behind him. Oh, oh, I know a target hit. Oh, ho, ho. I don't know what came out of that hose. My boy hit the target. And it was red. <laughs> Reddish brown water. Nine for the snails. 9.71. Oh, oh, my Lord. All right. Three, 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 guys, second guys, place. guys, 348 on the stick. That's they it. had water through their hose at 540. Oh. Not a good combo. Miller, three, four, five, four. Hey, it's second place. <laughs> I know, but I thought it was going to be like nine flat. And hey, and you know what? It's double thing. It cleaned out that hose from whatever that, that, that dirt that was in Looked there. like a red squirrel was living in there. <laughs> <laughs> Miller Place comes to Some the line. Red was in there. One point on the day. Miller Place. <laughs> whatever was in there didn't make the water go through fast. That's for sure. <laughs> I think it hit the target, whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, how about the Extinguishers making a bit of a top five for the day? They got it. They would need a. They would need a heavy shot right here. Score. Miller Place, 927. They ran at Lindenhurst. All right. Now listen, I think the Lindenhurst water is very similar to this right now. So yeah, that, That's exactly what we talked about before, during the uh, you know, in-between events. It's shape of being a Lindenhurst-type track for efficiency. It's not going to push it through like the Hempstead does, that's for sure. All right. Scott Latiza on the hydrant. Handled by a mustache. And, and water in. See if right. Justin can knock it down. Justin running it out. Come on, running out, running out. No, he stopped. Big, big kink behind Hey, it. not a bad shot. Real big kink behind it. Yeah, because he ain't running it out. Yep. 334 on the handle still, so we've seen, uh, you know, no, no real heavy handles today. Time for the extinguishers, 9.77. Nine Third place. We need we need somebody to run to the hydrant. When you want to see a heavy handle, you got Port Washington on deck. You get, there's a heavy handle. That's a heavy, right? That's a heavy handle. The Cobras from Great Big, Big Pete Wickham Jr. Over oh yeah. Rob, give that. When he walks, the earth trembles. Rob, what do you think about giving a split during the shot? If you guys will uh, yeah. want it, sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it to uh, right, right on the handle. So yeah. What's, right. what's we're, we're hoping for uh, you know like three one or better. You know, we've, we've seen I would love a 3-1. Three, three, three fours. What did you know, we've only seen three or four. Um, okay. CI was like 309. West Sable was 315. We have a uh, great bend on the line right now. They're the, the closest Western team to this track. I'm yawning. Boy, I, I missed it. So they're the closest Western team to this track. Yeah, they are. <laughs> the closest Western team. All right, and they're on the line right now. Cobra Kai. The Cobra Kai. Steve Campney going to run the hydrant all by himself. Yep. Palmerville up top. Adam Flynn backing him up. El the, 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 the coupling man is Turns on by the himself. 5'10", uh, so. Pull it out. He's set. He's ready to go. He's got the uh, Evil Knievel headband on there. Let's do it all. He looks like the guy from Freedom Rock. Uh, for the Cobras, 12.17. Cobra Kai. 12, 17. Is that Freedom Rock? Well, turn it up. Remember that the line from? will be number yeah. 29 on your programs. The Roadrunners from Port Washington. All right, Port Washington. Yeah, right. Perfect. I just want to slide this away. As we go to the bottom, he, here's that heavy hydrant hit you wanted to hear about there, uh, Newton. This is, this is turning into the race where tournaments went to die. We had such high hopes for this contest, right? Yeah, this yeah. was going to be the turning point. This is it. H higher hopes, but yeah, it's. it's you know, you got to gut it out. This is, this is the grind, you know? It's like people say they're the long season. For us. The dog days of August. <laughs> this we're, is the dog days of the tournament right here. Yeah, you're right about it. We're now, racing. We turn around and see a bunch of fives, hopefully, and we haven't seen a bunch of fives all season, so I'm not feeling warm and fuzzy about that. Oh, no. right. A bunch. We've seen one. Dan Solano out here hitting the hydrate. He nice job in Seahose. He hooked up very well there. Fortunately, he got the guys up top wet. Yeah, this is a veteran group. Veteran group at the hydrant. <laughs> you never like get guys wet. <laughs> Unless you're from San Francisco. Doc's going to call him off. Yeah, Doc, Doc used to be a big dude. He, lost, he looks he good. He lost about 80 pounds. He looks phenomenal. Doesn't he look great? You, see the, you ever see the mitts picture? on him? Oh, my gosh. Holy cow. All right. And they're off. Uh, I think the guy in the middle broke the light. Oh, he's got 355. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, he hit his head. He got to keep running. He got clotheslined. Oh. Fucking oh. hit of the day, though. How about First that? A lot going on in that run. A lot. First blap of the day. Jeez Louise. And I'll tell you that. That first dragger, that he got level. Oh my God! What was that? He was hurting a little bit. Whammy! I thought there was a sniper. The Red Runners, nine point six seven. Where's the love there, Wicks? Second place, Wicks. Second place. Halfway through the trail. Give a little love, right? At this point, a nine should get a little bit of something because yeah, today he went far between. Thirty on your program. Second place right now, Wicks. From Car Place. Twelve teams are going in second place. You got to give a little love. Boy, where's Perry when you need him? Oh, Jesus. You know, he needed a break. I mean, I, oh, has he got a wrestling thing to do or something? I mean, come on. <laughs> He's watching ECW. Yeah, yeah, this is how the big boys do it. <laughs> you know, you know, I have five guys in ECW. 
So I asked him, I said, I said, how much do you get out of that? He goes, well, nothing. I go, then what's the point? That's right. He didn't tell you they were the janitor, should the guy get, sweeping after. The guy. You, I, I'm serious. Should, should you get a cut on that if you're the one that put them in there? Yo, he take, no, he doesn't pay them when they wrestle. He takes all the cut. How funny was that? He you takes the entire cut. You don't pay them. You think they're going to give money when they leave? <laughs> yeah, you didn't pay me when I was here. I got to pay you when I leave. Just Guys, uh, the stream is choppy again. You're going to have to give people a little more play-by-play. -play, right? right. I'm sorry, everybody. Working on it real, real hard. He's the Vince McMahon of uh, Long Island. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he wishes. All right, here we go. Carl Place is going to be on the line right now. Right now, not, not a whole lot to talk to you. If you have people are you 933% nope. eye slip. They are uh, adorned in... Uh, Green and purple. And purple. Here's Skeletor right again. We talk about him right uh, Every time you mention his name, though, be careful. Every time we talk about him, he messes up. So That's let's talk about uh, the middle coupling man. He's, he's ready to go. He's going he's over his it. shoulder. And like they're all. One, two, three. Yeah. At the high approach. What are we going to 325. That's a good number. Through the first length to see if he can all put right, it on the fly. Pretty good hose lay. Set. Ah, uh, he 